Daily Blast Live. We are an online and broadcast TV show that actually reacts with you in real time. It's like there's 3D. It's a choose your own adventure. And uh, we're excited to get your comments on some major topics. Yeah, oh, I know. We're, we're, all, we're sick. all a little sick. We're all sick. It's the last uh, DBL before the Super Bowl. Super Bowl! So we have a question for all of you guys. We want to know uh, what are you most excited for? Is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, gotta turn that off. Okay, hold on. We have the, the actual game? game. Now remember, this is the main part of the Super Bowl. And it is most, actually the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is actually this, in case the viewers, including me or Jason, didn't remember. This is the part, the point of the, the Super Bowl. Thing. The whole thing. Or the commercials, because although a lot of this is, there's also a lot of this. And we love this. We love that, especially because they're super special, and when like people like Betty White are in it, how can you go wrong? It kills me. Uh, or, I, I love, this is my part yeah, of, uh, is this your favorite? The snacks. The snacks. I think there is a feeling of let yourself go. Yes. Almost to an impressive degree. Mm -hmm. Also, I have um, elastic pants I wear yearly. For Thanksgiving and the Super Bowl. Well, that's the thing. It, it, it lets your stomach remember the fond holiday weeks of of uh, Christmas and, and New Year's. It just which I have not let go of. Brings it all back. No. Or JT halftime show. There's been a lot of fantastic halftime shows over the years, including um, Gaga yesterday. Yes, Gaga, Michael Jackson, Prince, Prince. the Rolling Stones, Ooh, Aerosmith. Aerosmith again, Aerosmith a third time. Aerosmith one more time. Aerosmith has performed a lot of halftime shows. And let me also tell you something I'm excited for that isn't up here. I sing the national anthem every day in the shower, and I listen to Whitney Houston doing it all the time. However, I'm not joking, uh, Pink is singing the national anthem, and I'm telling you to watch it. She is going to bring down the house. She will. Bring it down. And she has the range, the grit, and she will get Sharon Newtill very excited because she'll be watching the Super Bowl. And Sharon is a huge Pink fan. Is that Mama? Yeah, my mom loves Pink. Whose mom doesn't love Pink? I don't know. My mom. I mean, as soon as you hear How her, I feel about um, it. she has a kind of gritty. Her dad taught her how to play guitar. Was a veteran, mm -hmm. and they sing war songs. That's how she learned to play the guitar. She's great. And she's got a voice that's gonna say like, when the red rockets, red glare, and those things, those yeah. planes. I'm gonna. It's gonna, she's gonna sound like, what about us? Oh, I'm gonna lose it. What about us? What about us? So, what are you guys most excited for? We wanna hear individually, if you could put where you're writing us from, because I love to find out. We had someone from Mozambique, we had someone from you guys Tahiti and all Fiji. Over the world. So, we wanna know, um, Patrick, do you have an iPad? Connor, do you have an iPad? So, uh, we. I'm just trying to get this out of Basically, uh, I, I gotta be honest, I think a lot of people here are mostly excited for these, this Venn diagram here. Right, there's no right? overlap on the right. upper quadrant. Now, here's the other thing, no one's that excited, no one's yeah. that Connor. heavily, thank you, Connor, for um, the Eagles or the Patriots, there's no one here that's like a- Go Patriots. Go Patriots, but there's, I'm not, like, there's no one like die hard, like loving this. Now, Rena Pop, our, uh, one of our producers, loves, is, Philadelphia, everything. So she's gung ho for it. But the teams, I'm like, they both are good. Yeah, no, I'm all Patriots. I'm Tom Brady. The he Patriots went to Michigan. have kind of just been there so many times. It's kind of like I know. It's their but house. that's you know what? Maybe that's a good thing. All right. Oh, yeah. um, Lori Price Miller says on Super Bowl, not watching. Carol Vincent says go Eagles. Hello, Carol. Rodney Kiana Wheeler says Eagles, 35 to 24. I'm gonna hold you to that. Um, Tammy Joe, hi from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Hello, go Patriots. Um, guys, we want to know your favorite part that you're most looking forward and, to. And you know, Tori and I are um, somewhat of experts on um, things you should do on Super Bowl Sunday rather than watching the Super Bowl because, well, the masses are inside eating nachos. No one's You outside. could have the whole world to yourself. So, just so you guys know, Super Bowl is also a huge day for Disneyland and Disney World. No any one's there. Park. Oh any God, amusement so park, any museum. Yep. The number one spot I'll tell you about Disneyland, day after Halloween. The parents are in, the kids are in, and I'm out riding yep. Indiana Jones for nine times in a row. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Who dun, needs dun, dun. a fast pass when the Super Bowl's on? I can go no Space one. Mountain thrice. Thrice, right. I say. Right. Thrice. So you, amusement parks is your first. The second thing, plain and simple, Target. 
You know why? Because oh, nobody's in Target. That's so, so this true. is the time to go to Target. That's a good point. Now, these guys say, uh, Tammy Jo, me neither, got better things to do, but if anyone should win, I'm here for the Patriots because she likes the colors. I appreciate that. She's honest. That's good. That she just honest. likes the design. I think um, that's that's fun. Yeah. Tom Brady winning another Super Bowl. Annie Bloom, this person does not watch American football. Do you say, do, are you meaning that Annie Bloom, do you watch another type of football? European football? Your parent? Are you Soccer? more into that Italian football? league? Football? The, football? Foot, the football? The football? That's right. Um, football, right. Ed Sharon Nuccio says, I too love pink. We know, Sharon. Everybody I knows. I love Sharon so much. Um, yeah. I don't know. Because Pink's got a mom cut. Yeah, she does have the mom cut. Too. And she wore mom jeans at the Grammys. All moms love well, you. I'm not going to comment on mom jeans. I no, I love, that. I wear mom jeans. They're yeah. very high uh -huh. rise and my butt doesn't show. I'm a big fan of that. My parents um, are very sensitive. Sierra McKenzie, Tori, too much info. The anthem in the shower. Why? I don't think um, that's too much info. I, I think just you think you need to take a listen to the uh, Whitney Houston version. Uh, and right yeah. when she goes, free, free, free. And then you tell me if you don't have goosebumps every morning and it's a great way to start your day. I also think the more Tori shares personal information about herself, the more you get a full picture of, of where oh all this is coming oh from. Oh dear. So. That's the board opens live today. Oh, oh fun. Cool. Thank you. Live. Whoa, oh, Rena. So now Rena. Do a little recap. That was the woman we were saying who loves Philadelphia Eagles. So yes. she's hardcore Eagles. She's Philadelphia Freedom. She's our producer that's very into um, uh, the Eagles here. Uh, Tamara mm -hmm. Gibson, I love when Whitney sang it. She did an awesome job. I mean, come on. Did that I think Pink's gonna do it just as well. So you might be wondering, hey, Tori and Jason, you two aren't the only one in the pre-show. That's right, because we got two special guests, and they are the new DBL fish. And uh, you might be asking, uh, where's the second one? Well, one is vibrantly swimming around on the left. Oh wait, he's coming up. Oh, and this one's coming he back to life. He just came to life. Okay, so Phew. you might be asking yourself, why Jason and Tori are there fish here? Well, we'll tell you. Uh, we at DBL love to participate in the Super Bowl activities that everybody else is doing. We're at Puppy Bowl, Cat Bowl. We didn't have a very big budget, so we are having a goldfish fish bowl. bowl. Get it? The bowl. Get it's it? a goldfish bowl. I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it as I'm much as we're enjoying this. it. Kimberly so, Ballantyne says, watching all day, I'm sure she's referring to Daily Blast Live, but also about... No, uh, I'm sure it's about us. It's just about us. Um, Kimberly, let me know what your favorite part is. The game, the yeah, snacks. Yeah, this is what we really want to hear, guys. Or the halftime. I want to know, what are you secretly really looking for? And if it's, to? for instance, if it's the commercials, we want to know what your favorite commercials of your... You like that? That's your, a your. Of your. Uh, yonder? Of oh, yesterday. there. Of yesteryear. Or your. your favorite halftime shows of your. And I gotta say, Gaga was one of my absolute favorites. When she jumped oh, yeah. from the stadium, I was like, oh, no, she did. Oh, how about when Michael Jackson came up and then popped over and he was on the other side of the stadium? That was so awesome. All Copperfield. No, I didn't love the Black Eyed Peas. I thought that was a little boring. I also didn't love The Who. Did you like Madonna? Yeah. The Who came right after uh, Gate war Wardrobe Malfunction. Yeah, they went. They it really simple. Same. They're like, let's just pick somebody that everybody yeah. knows, including grandpa. Yeah, and everyone's comfortable and happy. So we got the who. So that's what happens. When you show a little chest, you get a little who. <laughs> that's so, a like, bumper sticker. That's that is, so that's weird. That's great. That's Tammy so Joe said, oh, Annie Bloom. She responded in real time. I love when this happens. Um, yes, I do prefer soccer, but if I had to pick an NFL team, it'd be the Seahawks. Oh, I like Seattle. The Seattle. Is that Seattle? Yes. I think that's, yep, that is okay. Seattle. Way to go, Tor. Um, Sport. Neil Wesley says food. Now, Nia, I need to know specifically the type of snacks you like. Jason, your favorite snacks for Super Bowl? Um, in order. Uh, you have an order? Yeah, an I'm order. so sorry. What's yeah. so funny about that? I'm sorry, I didn't know. So sorry. Can I continue? You can continue. <clears throat> Number one, spinach dip in a bread bowl. Yes. Number two, Rotel. Number th Wait, what's Rotel queso. cheese? It's oh, queso. Okay. queso. That's queso. queso, which is a cheese. I'm on board. And number three, little weenies wrapped in bacon. Ooh. Oh, Thank you. so on board. Bravo! Bacon. Bravo, Ooh, sir! Yeah. Bravo! It doesn't seem so funny now. No, bravo. No, it doesn't seem so far. Okay. Uh, Sierra McKenzie says, I just want snacks. Kimberly says, commercials. She's looking for, forward to the commercials. Um, what's your favorite commercial? Yeah, I um, loved, I like when Nike does something inspiring and they show like, it was a long time ago, but they did it with Oscar Pistorius before the whole murder situation. He was on his blades, and they were like, you can do it, just oh, do yeah. it. When, and right. they go through all these athletes that like, ugh, yeah. that yeah. is my favorite. Those yeah. are my Remember sports Remember the um, Dan and Dan? Remember the oh, Dan and yes. Dan Reebok commercials? Yes. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. And that can be an, on, honestly, this, um, I read up on uh, 
commercials at about $5 million for 30 seconds, it can boost, it boosted Febreze over 200%. Wow. For two weeks following the um, the Super Bowl, every brand that goes on there sees a boost a of at least boost. of like 100%. That's really interesting. So it, they do work. It's the, and someone wrote, it's the last great place to show a commercial that works. Well, it's the last communal event, I think, yeah. almost. And, really. you're, and you're ready to believe, man. You're ready to believe. Yeah, everybody's in a rah-rah <laughs> spirit. It's like a giant national pep rally. Yeah. And uh, if you can get your product mentioned in the middle of it, Ooh, you're going to leave with that's good. good sentiment. Although, good. there have been some controversial ones, like last year's Clint Eastwood. Was it last year or the year before? People get, you know, people have opinions. There was a controversial wall one. There was a wall one of the people building the wall. And the idea, I read a whole thing on this in the Wall Street Journal, and I'd love it if you guys took a look at it. And they said they don't want controversy or empowerment. They're trying to go middle of the road. Yeah, they want witty. Witty was the word of this year's Super Bowl commercials, that including way. Febreze which hit the number one most liked when they did a preview. Know that every single Super Bowl commercial had to go through testers because of how sensitive everyone is right now with the Me Too movement and several female empowerment ones were told that it pissed off the men. Is this, so that you know what's out. interesting? Uh, Febreze, uh, you know, this was... I think this shows how uh, both sexes are so into the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. I mean, it used to be car com in the early days, it was car commercials, beer commercials, That's right. hamburger commercials. Right. And now the number one commercial is for a fabrics, an air freshener. It's true. 55% so of the audience are definitely who they're of the NFL about. is women. Yeah. And I will always say this. Women hold the wallet a lot in the family. Yep. They decide household where to, decisions. they make the household decisions. Yep. And if you're going to do a cleaning product and it's going to be in the Super Bowl, a lot of women are watching. Yeah, no, no doubt. And you know, just for uh, today on the show, we're going to do everything from hot teen males fashion. Oh, you should see which Jeff's is going to be crazy. Fabulous. Plus uh, the DBL oh, puppy prediction and uh, affordable party party. So we're going to. I have to go to the hub. We're going to send Tori <laughs> up to the hub. There's a bowl of water and some I bread. I can't up there. wait. So just make use of it. Um, so, uh, oh, see, Kimberly Ballantyne on Facebook is with me. Cheese dip with Rotel. Hey, yeah, that's right. That's the best. Cheese dip, that's Rotel, and just uh, some plain chips. That would make a Super Bowl Sunday for me. Me uh, Brandy yeah. Stevens, snacks. I have a toddler, and he probably won't let me watch anything else but the snacks. Just keep your eyes on the plates, because toddlers love to pull down the Super Bowl tablecloth. Um, Phil Cohen, you know what I'm most excited for? The show after the Super Bowl, This Is Us. Oh, that's right, too. We didn't even talk about that. Phil, <coughs> excuse one, Phil. me. <coughs> Vampire cough. Yeah, it's the uh, big network show that they run after the Super Bowl. That's always great. This is a long tradition. Uh, you know, whichever network is running the Super Bowl, they take their best show, uh, and then they run a very special episode. And we didn't even talk about that. What is your favorite post-Super Bowl very special episode? Um, uh, I remember way back in the day, uh, they actually premiered uh, The Wonder Years after the Super Bowl. And I stuck around to see the premiere of The Wonder Years that year. And then uh, uh, New Girl had Prince on after the Super Bowl uh, where Prince performed when it was on Fox. And uh, this year it's a very special This Is Us. So uh, do you have any memorable post-Super Bowl episodes that you want to talk about? Because that was a, that's a huge part of it too. A lot of people watch just to uh, see the big show after. So that's interesting. Um, uh, Ken Austin is guessing, uh, suspecting that the Super Bowl will have record low ratings. Now, Ken, I want you to write back and let me know, is this because you think uh, people protesting the NFL or just that less and less people are engaging in, in network television of any kind? Let me know what your, what your point is to that, Ken, because I, I tend to agree with you. It'll be interesting to see uh, how that pans out. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if the, the ratings are low. I suspect you are saying it's uh, on because of uh, people protesting the NFL, so we shall see. Uh, it would be a shame, uh, you know, if we miss uh, Janet Jackson getting a second chance to uh, come back uh, if it was the lowest, because I think she deserves a second chance. I think she got a raw deal the first time around, so that's just my own two cents on that. Uh, John Venturini on YouTube, wings, wings, more wings. Well, I think John likes the snacks. I'm pretty sure that's what, what that means. Um, <coughs> Um, John Carrera, I love the commercials and halftime. It's like a tie. Well, you know, I want to know which uh, which fish you're rooting for here. Um, we have uh, nine seconds. We have the New England Patriots here, I think, and the Vikings. I don't really know. Five seconds. I, I don't Three, really know, but I wouldn't two. gamble on these. We'll see you in a bit. Welcome to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday. Show to 
end the week. This just in, Grammy's backlash. Female record executives are standing up and speaking out. Plus, ladies, we're getting you pumped up for the big game from Hot Team Nails to our DBL puppy prediction to affordable party planning tips. We've got you covered. So let's get started with the top five trending news starting right now. I'm going to toss it down to my girl, Sam Shocker. Take it away, girl. Yes, Tori Shulman getting us all pumped up on this Friday. Erica Cobb is also here. Yeah, yeah Erica yeah, Cobb, girl. radio girl. Everyone's favorite big brother, Jeff Schroeder. Comedian Al Jackson looking dapper with that hat. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate that. Oh, and look at his whole swag. Oh, yeah. Something about it when you get a hat as an older man. I'm like, I like it. I guess so. <laughs> Settling into my 40s. And I'm Sam Chalker. <laughs> What's we, up, Sammy? Hey, we are doing? a trending news and entertainment show that is live and covers what is happening right now. Check out our entire DBL team. They are in our studio ready to cover news the moment it breaks. And we are live in this just in. A group of female record executives are calling for Recording Academy President Neil Portnow to step down. It stems from the Male Centric Grammy Awards and his comments saying it is the responsibility of women to step up. Now, over a dozen women executives sent a letter saying, quote, we step up, we step up every single day and have been doing so for a long time. The fact that you don't realize this means it's time for you to step down. Mm. Uh, ooh, Al? Oh. Like, I'm so sick of this. Like, this is, like, what what is going on right now? So now we're at the point where when somebody says something you don't like, they lose their job? Like, what kind of state are we living in now? So if, Jeff, you say one thing on this panel, I'm like, I'll call for your firing, too. Right. So, yeah, that's where we are. Enjoy I, it, guys. I think what she's really, or what they're really saying is that, you are just completely oblivious to the plight or the successes of women in the industry. And I think that that's 100% spot on. The fact that the Grammys went on with Alessia Cara being the only televised award of the night, which was a female award winner, is pretty ludicrous, especially considering how much female talent there was out there. And it starts with the artists, it goes into the actual recording studios, it goes to the record labels, and even in radio. Women are underserved, they are demanding diminished in every capacity and it's the women or it's the men who are actually being celebrated while the women are doing most of the work so I think it's absolutely I, I, before, reasonable I, I do want to say one thing I don't like that we're pinning each other like against each other men and women you know what I mean he did he needed to take women out of that conversation say people need to step up their game if they want to perform but it's I don't not like about people it's very specific there's yeah. proof that it's but, I mean I, just because one Lord didn't get to perform now there's all this uproar that's not what it's about I can understand I I've no a million times in my life, and, and I, I had to climb too. Just because I'm a woman doesn't make my struggle more difficult than the next because person. I understand what you're saying, Jeff, but I think what the issue is, is that we have a situation where there are a lot of really great talents. I can understand if you can say, if you say, all right, well, this woman didn't win and the man won instead. My response would be like, well, maybe the man deserved to win. But when you're telling an entire gender to step up as if we've just been sitting back, I'm coming from radio. I'm very very clear on how the system works, okay? I can work myself 10 times harder, and I generally do, next to a male, and he'll still get the credit, his name will still be on top of it. So when you're saying step up, who are you saying step up to? To everybody, to everybody who right. wants and it. And I'm not I saying, I'm not saying it wasn't it. tone deaf, I just start to get worried when your language can ha uh, have caused you to lose your job. And I don't want us to lose sight of the fact this has been an incredible year for women, and things are changing it, 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 over the course of time, from where we were 50 years ago to last year, to, to right now, today, things have changed immensely so let's not like lose focus of the things okay. that things are changing rapidly this is a great discussion this is why we're daily Boss Live it. because we have all these unfiltered points of views and responses and we also want yours you are our fifth host so please DBL Nation chime in thank you guys uh, let's move on Exhale, Super Bowl 52, we're counting down to Sunday's big game. Yeah. Only two more days before the Philadelphia Eagles face off against the New England Patriots in Minneapolis. And for the latest, we're joined now by reporter Pat Evans from our sister yeah. station, who Pat is brave in the bitter cold in the Super Bowl backyard. <laughs> hey, Pat, how are you? Well, I'm doing great. You know, it's kind of cold, <laughs> crazy. It looks like Sunday morning is going to be 10 below zero. It's not a meteorological term, but they're calling it crazy cold uh, by game. <laughs> Game time, it looks like it's going to be right a big goose egg, zero. Oh, my yeah. goodness. And look, it looks like you're standing in front, of, in front of a fireplace, Pat, but there's no flames. What's the story with that? It's so friggin' cold, they can't get it to go. <laughs> it's a propane <laughs> fireplace. <laughs> now, <laughs> they, they, they were out here trying to make it work. It wouldn't go. 
<laughs> Pat, if you just don't want me to come, just tell me. You don't have to say negative. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can hold me back. And uh, Pat, I'll be there tonight. But uh, tell me, I'm, I'm hearing there's a ton of celebrity sighting go, uh, going on. Like, what's the buzz? Well, yeah, this is funny because, you know, we're kind of celebrity star being where we are unless you're passing through our airport. Uh, this week, though, everybody has become an entertainment reporter. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you pretty unequivocally, they are all full of crap. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what they don't know is a lot right now. Uh, big things that have happened. You know, Snoop Dogg uh, did something at a gospel uh, mission uh, yesterday, and that went over really well. And he met with the mayors of the two cities. You know, we're Minneapolis and St. Paul. There's a really cute picture of all of them together. These are two young mayors and all that kind of thing. And then I've heard about Justin Timberlake. He's rented out this entire hotel in this real rich area that's on one of the beautiful lakes around here. We are all about those lakes. And then I heard that Queen Bee has bought out a restaurant uh, for the entire yeah. night. It's one of our it's one of our toniest restaurants. So some of that may be true, but like like these people are they're very protected here, so I, I, I doubt. I, I doubt any of it's true. We <laughs> love you, Pat. Thank you so much. And Pat, for, get a hat. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. It's Speaking coming. of hats, uh, Stumagoo, Stumagoo, movie reviews, Stumagoo. Now, our very own Al Jackson will be attending Super Bowl 52, and we just heard from Pat Evans that it's going to be freezing. So may I, yes. Al? And I know you love this hat, but. This is this is big time. We got this made specifically oh. for you. Oh. Got to keep you warm, buddy. Much better than my custom made hat. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Ready to rob a liquor store. You know <laughs> We're also counting down to Sunday's other big show, the halftime show. Justin Timberlake has been hard at work preparing for Sunday's big performance, and he's also out with a brand new music video called Man of the Woods. Let's check it out. Just like yours. Yeah. There you are. There you go. As long as me and JT got something in common. See, right. there you go. Well, all right. And what, we know. What'd you guys think of that song? I liked it. You, I know you're not a I fan. I don't know why I'm not a big JT fan. I like oh, it. Oh, at all. Not really. What's no. your favorite song you had to pick one? Do you know? Uh. Super I guy? liked him in the Brit Brit days, so I guess like Cry Me a River, and I loved him in the NSYNC days, and I just got to be honest, I, I met him in a few times at a club, I waited on him, and he wasn't the kindest, so mm. therefore I think it's tainted, it's tainted my view of him and his artistry, and perhaps that's not fair, it probably isn't. No, it's, it, it's true, because I have the same experiences, not with Justin, but other people, and I'm yeah. like, I don't like you anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All you got right. Finger. Uh -uh. The song wasn't a first listen record. Let's just say it. <laughs> and generally his songs are because they're very catchy. But it wasn't to me. It's something that might grow on me, but not. Right. He definitely seems like he's going a different direction as an artist. So yes. we'll, see, we'll see where it goes. All right. And we are celebrating the big game with an entire show filled with coming in hots. Super Bowl edition, of course. So let's go to Fitness Pro Jen Newstrom. What do you have for us first, Jen? Yeah, Jen. Coming in hot. <laughs> I don't know. People are celebrating the Super Bowl in all kinds of weird ways, obviously. And the University of Massachusetts, uh, for starters, have banned, banned Philadelphia cream cheese till Sunday. Well, because nothing says go Pats like a plain bagel. Ew. Hormone Foods has also developed, uh, or in, I should say invented, this 52-ingredient sandwich. From everything to eggplant to almond butter, both great, not together. It's perfect if you have a lot of time and a huge appetite. And finally, Montaleo's Bakery in Massachusetts baked, get this, a 500 pound cake made of 32 sheet cakes and, this is the worst part, or oh, the best part, depends who you're asking, 200 pounds of sugar. It's flying to Minneapolis today to feed about 2,000 very happy fans. <laughs> DBL Nation, how are you accelerating? Uh, make sure you drop us a comment and you may even hear it on the air today. Ooh, yeah, thank I just, you I just so want to ask Jen a question. Is 200 pounds of sugar bad for you? Oh, <laughs> you know what? Space it out. Okay. Space not it all. out. All right, uh, and you. of course, you know, we were supposed to do this next story. We don't have time, but cute little, sweet little Punxsutawney Phil, he saw a shadow. Six more weeks of winter, folks. Six more weeks. Okay? Oh. That's right. Daily Boss <laughs> Live covers trending stories and breaking news as it happens. Tori Shulman, what's coming up? It's the, vi it's the video that's going viral right now. Check it out, guys. Courtroom drama in the sentencing of Larry Nassar when a victim's father rushes towards the sexual abuser. You'll hear from that distraught dad. Plus, a Super Bowl 52 party for under $52. We'll show you how it can be done. And you, the viewer, are our fifth host. 
So what part of the Super Bowl are you most excited for? The game, the food, JT? We share your comments live on air coming up next. Stepping down and so much fun. Um, uh, Thank you, Rena. Uh, let, let me just throw this out here. Thanks. This is not my opinion. Thanks. That statement yes. would have been. Uh, Lexi, can you take this? Here, put it on. The statement was uh, completely yeah, put it appropriate. On. I just feel like the threat at the end became. When he, well, what when he singled when out women? women? No, when the women were like, yeah. we're going we're gonna to knock gotcha. you out as a result of it. I think the, it's, think the statement would have been more powerful if, she, if they didn't have to resort to the I'm going to make you disappear threat at the end. Why don't they try and educate him and sit down and have a, do a, a weekend retreat with him and be like, like that's, I think a yeah. lot of guys just don't know. If they came up in a certain era, and I, I've, I've said this before, there was one time when thank I was you. on stage and I was searching for the name of a city and, so, and a woman yelled it out and I said, thank you, sweetheart. And one of my female uh, friends at the comic was like, when you said that the hair on the back of my neck stood up, it was, to, to, it seemed very condescending. But when I grew up, my dad used to call my sister sweetheart. And so I always thought it was a term of endearment. Right. But when she said it, I was like, oh, I can see how like calling a 35 year old woman that could be right. condescending. But like, instead of like me being, never being able to right. do stand up again, Tell me, right. I'll take in new information, and I'll, and I'll right. I've Change never done that. That's right. one point of view, and then also you need to know this person's history. I don't know enough about Neil Portman. I'm curious to see if there's been other incidents where the Academy have felt that he uh, has been misogynistic. I don't know, but yeah. I'm curious about I that. I would have loved I to have heard that. Yeah. That's the issue, is the fact that he is the president, right, so it's that? representing everyone yep. as mm -hmm. a whole. He represents all of them, so it's like, I mean, we know how we feel when someone who represents everyone as a whole says something that's out of pocket and it's offensive to us. I mean, on a regular basis, we've experienced what are that. What you talking about, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> no, you no, know no, how no, that no, can no, go. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's really where the issue lies. Right. And you expect a president of a company not to make statements like well, that it, at all. Using you know? that example, it's interesting because I think uh, when you disagree with a powerful position, like, say, the president, I think you get more recognition when you just make the statement what I find is when I say I disagree with the president and I think he should be impeached, everyone jumps on me and is like, you can't impeach him just because of this. All these other people have done it where the, the main point was I disagreed with what he did at that moment in time, but it gets lost because I'm calling for his impeachment right. where I just feel like they should have spoke, they should have retorted and I think they, it would have been more powerful without the threat of All right. the job. Let everyone else decide if that's going to happen. Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers trending stories live no matter where you're watching. And we're listening to you. Now it's time now for the fifth host where your comments are part of the discussion. Take it away, Sam Shugger. Thank you so much, Tori. If you can't tell, here at DBL, we are really, really excited for the Super Bowl, and there are so many reasons why. Some <laughs> of us can't wait to watch the game. Can I get some claps? Okay. Others are watching only for the commercials. Clap if that's what you're doing. Okay, not too many of us. And also the halftime show. Who's excited for the halftime show? And let's be honest, some of us are just in it for, well, the Super Bowl party. For yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to know what you, as our fifth host, are more uh, or most excited for. We'll get to your comments, but you can also weigh in live right now by heading over to dailyblastlive.com. And also, please continue to share your comments. Let's get right to the fifth host comments. Billy Elliott says, definitely excited about the game. Lifelong Pats fan here, and I predict Tom Brady will retire right after. Ooh, mm. that's your boy. That's my boy. It, he's my boy now. You know what he's I mean? I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. Yeah, but I think the Patriots are going to win. I, I adopted the Patriots as my team because everyone's Eagles here. It's weird. My, my, I switch. I'm usually an underdog guy, but so many people are going for the Eagles. Now I kind of underdog are the Pats. Right. And also, you know what I mean? I, when I think about uh, Tom Brady, I think you like classy and you like a winner, and he's both of those things. So I can see why you like him. You should answer for me, Al. That was a better answer than mine. <laughs> and Brandy Steven Strong is excited for Pink to sing the national anthem, and she writes, "Do you think Pink's hair will be green since she's from Philly?" Ooh. I do. I, I believe so too. And I think that it's going to be different tones of green, kind of like I'm sporting today. Mm. But you know, like pink is Philly through and through. Like she represents. So the fact that she tweeted and uh, her excitement is such a big deal. I'm really excited for her. God, I can't uh -huh. wait. I love me some pink. Uh, Jordan Baldwin says, I used I used to watch for the commercials, but there are no surprises anymore. It seems like they release all the ads early. I am mm. right there with you, Jordan. We've seen all these teaser ads. There's no surprise and I live for the surprise. Wow. 
Uh, I, I think cool. the teachers I, are I, good. I, you yeah. lose it a little bit when you're at a uh, at a show, or excuse me at a party because there's so much going on. So it's like you're almost anticipating what it is and you're paying a little bit more. Well, attention. maybe these companies they spend so much money they don't want you to get up and go to the bathroom during the commercial break. So they're like, hey, stick around because this really cool Honda ads coming up. So maybe they've invested so much money they're like, keep these eyeballs glued. You have to, yeah. Fitness Pro, Jen Wiederstrom with the Super Bowl story. Another one coming in hot. All day, Sammy. So listen, everybody has predictions on who's going to win this big game, right? I mean, everybody. Starting off with Fiona, the baby hippo. <laughs> She's captured our hearts and has weighed in. Let's take a look. There you go. Oh, okay. So, and, 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 let's, we have more. April, the giraffe, picked her team to win as well. Let's check it out. This is so much fun. Okay, now, unfortunately, that leaves the score tied. So, it's up to Daily Bass Live to break the tie. So, here's what we're going to do. We have Davis here. Woo, Davis! Davis. Yep, if you might remember, Davis is the puppy that was recently adopted by our very own DBL producer, Elise. We love her. And they, uh, Davis will be deciding the vinyl vote. Let's see who Davis thinks is going to win. Thank God for the instant replay because you thought we would have been, you know, messing around. So the Eagles are obviously going to take down the Patriots based on these very three scientific uh, choices. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> that was so exciting. Yeah. That was very exciting. That was very exciting. <laughs> Daily Blast Live is all about news as it's happening. Tori Shulman, what's coming up? Compassion all around for Saturday Night Live star Leslie Jones. After she posts this gym selfie, it's the dating struggle that links her to millions of American women out there. And next, comedian Al Jackson rates this week's viral videos the cute, the silly, the ones that'll make you smile. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, it's Connor Ashley. So we're talking about the trending stories right now. So this story is actually trending on Twitter. The US Drought Monitor has just come out and said that 44% of California is currently in moderate drought conditions. Um, as you can see from this map here, it ranges from no drought to abnormally dry, um, all the way up to exceptional drought. Right now, the um, areas that are most affected are Los Angeles and San Diego. Um, experts are saying that this rainy season has been the driest yet um, so they're worried that there's no end in sight for this drought so um, let me know if you're gonna be affected by this what are you doing um, to help what are you doing to you know prepare all that stuff so let me know your DBL take hey guys it's Kelly we're gonna switch gears a little bit so we remember when Panera was calling out other brands for having their eggs partially not really be eggs and so Chrissy TV tweeted yes I agree only actual eggs should be called eggs and their broccoli cheddar soup should be called delicious cream times Obviously just a classic Chrissy Teigen thing, but look what Panera has decided to call their soups. They've actually taken after Chrissy Teigen's Stop. given name for soup, so it's no longer broccoli cheddar soup. It is delicious cream time soup. So give us your DBL take on this. Obviously she's a social influencer. It's a funny, lighthearted story, and as always, we want to hear your feedback on today's show. She has too much power. I, People bit. call Beyonce queen. I think she is queen. I really yeah. do. To Panera. She has so Panera. Much well, I think Panera's been having so much issues with um, the Listeria outbreak and everything like that. So I think this is a great PR move on yeah, their part. Totally. Um, if you can get someone like Chrissy who's beloved by everyone and actually go along with them, you're going to get these. Yeah, do you well, think they actually changed it or do you think they just made one for her specifically? She looks like she's. Well, it, she's I mean, it looks official. Home. Yeah, it looks very official. It so does. we'll, we'll maybe, keep investigating. Yeah. I love Panera, so I'll go and investigate. Yeah, yeah. I'll investigate. <laughs> All right, guys. All right see All you right. in the next break.
You're watching Daily Blast Live, your unique mix of news, entertainment, and fun. Now on Fridays, we rate this video. Comedian Al Jackson scores the best and worst viral clips of the week with a little help from Jeff Schroeder. Take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Tori. It being Friday, you thought that was enough. No, no, no. Now it's time for Rate This Video with everyone's favorite comedian, Mr. Al Jackson. Yes, Friday Happy just Friday. got a little yeah. better, huh? Happy Super Bowl Friday. I know. Ooh. This feels good, man. It's like a Al. national holiday. You upped your game, buddy. I look yeah. terrible oh, next to you. All right, old. let's get going. Our first video leaves this guy in a snow lot of trouble. I like right, it. Check it out. Now, Jeff, I just love this guy because you know, like, at the end of this video, he's not Claustra Snowbick. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Out with it. Uh, I, and I just think it's cool. Not only was he on a snowmobile, which is cool enough, he buried himself in snow. He's not claustrophobic. He's a real man. And because of that, he gets four sunglasses. Al emojis. Let's go to Pretty good. One. Pretty good. All right, Al. This Frenchie bathing in the sink is sure to make you smile. All right. Happy Friday. Oh, and I love this because, yes, and it turns my, and yeah, you can see that his face changes. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> and because of this adorable dog, you get three out of hard eyes emojis. Let's go again. Like All right. For basketball players, ball is life, yes. right? For athletes, hoop is life. But check this out. Uh, now, Jeff, there is nothing cooler. Like our own Jen Wiedersham, she can hula hoop, but this girl is the Michael Jordan of hula hoops. She's so cool. She's doing it in the snow. She's combining a couple different things, a lot of skill level, and she demonstrates it every single time on this video. And because of that, she definitely gets three and a half Al emojis. Well done, my dear. Pretty good. Let's Al, go to the last you're one. tough today. All right, up next, Superman's younger brother, whose slogan is up, up, and stay. Hmm. Enjoy. Now, Jeff. I just love this video because this is God's way of saying what you're doing is stupid. Uh, I'm going to take this away, take your toy from you. Uh, I do like that he attempted it, and I do like that he lost the parachute before he was over the cliff. So because of that, and because my man is still alive to tell the story, he gets four and a half. Al, star as a movie. Well done. That's and today's Super winner. Bowl. Look, Go Eagles. he thought he lost, and now he's the big winner on Rate This Video. That's right, brother. That's right, right, buddy. That's everyone's favorite comedian, Al Sounds Off. We are live. Digital producer Brett Forrest has news at the moment. Kendrick Lamar just dropped his new song, Pray For Me, from the upcoming Black album, Black Panther album featuring The Weeknd. Let's listen. It's all prophecy, and if I gotta be sacrificed for the greater good, then that's what it gotta you be. Pray to me. Take my pain for me. Save my soul for me. All right, I'm digging it. The album comes out next Friday, a week before the movie hits theaters. Back to you. Mm, I dig it, buddy. I dig it. All right. Have people run amok with their emotional support animals? United Airlines seems to think so. The policy changes they're making after a peacock ruffled their feathers. And get your nails did before the Super Bowl in style. It's the nail art trend that's coming in hot. So uh, we're going to go up to the hub here, and the air is a little thinner up here. So I got to take the stairs slower. You're way up high. Oh. Oh, Tori. We have oxygen masks for anyone they, that needs them. Drop, they them drop from the ceiling. How are we doing? We're doing well. I'm taking a look and watching what you guys are all saying. A lot of people are actually boycotting a lot of the, uh, the Super Bowl, and I kind of wanted to dive deep into this. DBL doesn't stay away from controversy. No. Let me know why, specifically. I'd love to hear your points. Um, someone said, um, Will says, I'm looking forward to you taking a knee and protesting the prima donnas who don't respect the country that allows them to become millionaires. They have the right to protest, and so do I. So I'm not watching this game this year for the first time in a long time. So obviously some people upset with the Kaepernick taking a knee has really yeah. upset some people. Um, are you guys just sick of the game? Are you sick of the Kaepernick situation? I'd love more specifics because I didn't realize so many people were this upset. Well, this is, you know, this this is what makes America great. And this is, uh, this part of this conversation I think is perfectly healthy and fine. If you don't want to, uh, if you want to protest by not watching the game. That is your that choice. Is, that is your sacrifice to uh, your enjoyment of the game. And I respect that you are willing to give that up because you believe that uh, what they are doing is disrespectful to veterans. Uh, that is the right way to behave. That's exactly uh, right. And, I don't, and I don't agree with, with you, but right. I completely respect uh, You're you, right to share that with us. That's the healthy way to do that. So, Will, I really appreciate that. Jim Vanover says, boycott the NFL. Is there something specific about the NFL that sort of bothers you, or is it the Kaepernick well, situation? I, mean, I think I, it's mostly I think, this, right? I think it's safe to say that most mostly. people are Got it. it. Although it could be over the brain trauma. There's a lot of CTE, uh, concussion situations, a lot of moms the, who are upset about it. Many, uh, domestic violence cases. There's um, a lot of different reasons, Actually, people. now that I bring it up. There's a lot of reasons. There's probably a lot of reasons why you shouldn't be watching the Super Bowl. 
with your family. <coughs> no, I'm All right, 10 but, seconds. Uh, um, go get acclimated down there. I, it it's will take me here. a little while, but um, we'll see you on the next. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to get a Sherpa. Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday before the Super Bowl. Yay. Fitness pro Jim Wiederstrom with some Super Bowl saving ideas. Huh. Yeah, you're going to want to listen up, you guys, because the average American spends $207 throwing a Super Bowl party. Well, my girl, pop culture guru, Tori Shulman, shows you how to throw a party at a Super Bowl, throw a Super Bowl party for $52 or less. Do you have champagne taste, but you're living on a beer budget? Don't worry, I got you covered. Today, I'm going to show you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for only $52. We're going with shredded chicken tacos. Go ahead and grab yourself some chicken thighs. You're down to $1.99 a pound. Who's the chicken now? Taco seasoning for 49 cents. Wee! Cheese. Ah. Uh. Home sweet home. Let's see what drinks I can come up with to get this party started. I have $5 for decorations, so I ran to the store and spent five bucks on brown cups and yellow napkins. Glue white stripes, not the band, onto the cups and voila, football cups. Yellow napkins as penalty flags for any unruly guests cheering against your team. For the Super Bowl shredded tacos, first, brown chicken in instant pot on saute. Remove and set aside. Add onion and saute, add in seasoning, tomatoes, peppers, chicken, and top with lime juice. Cook for eight minutes, remove the chicken, and set aside. Shred chicken and put in pot to coat in sauce and turn off. Here's how you make the kickoff cocktail. Add four cups of cranberry juice into a container. Three cups of vodka, two cups of triple sec, half a cup of lime juice. Now, who's ready for some football? <laughs> wow! You can do it. You I nailed it. Some really great ideas in there. Get chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts. Get taco seasoning instead of a whole lot of spices. Yeah. So help you out, guys. Say stay frugal, but stay football. <laughs> By the way, here we go. Cheers. Little cheers and a little toast. There you go. Go Pats. This is for Al. Al, you might want to bring this on your way, buddy. Oh. oh that's throwing the flag on. Uh, oh. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Mm. $52, okay. not bad. Well yeah. done, Tori. How well do you tart. know your Super Bowl trivia? Can you stump our co host We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our DBL trivia showdown. So have your DBL app ready to go online to daily and go to dailyboss5.com. Fair that we can expect at the Super Bowl party this weekend? Even cheaper. Oh, great. <laughs> just so you know. Even cheaper. She's literally just taking the carcasses of the turkeys and skimming them for whatever I'm just writing are. chicken tacos on a napkin and pretending that they're chicken real. Tacos. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up with her. So, uh, wait, slow your roll. Mm. You keep eating and I'm just gonna talk. Okay, good. Uh, you know, Mia Wesley on Facebook said, I'm excited and honored that protesters against police brutality will stand for what is right when a group of people is being wronged. I love that, Nia. Nia, yeah, great It probably point. makes it, you know, for you, probably one of the more patriotic years for Super Bowl. So I can see how you would be even more uh, encouraged to watch. This is what makes America so wonderful. And I'm not going to turn in my mouth, though, but... No, don't. I will keep reading. Bobby I... Clary on Facebook. Um, I don't watch unless there is free food where it is on. And I am there to get free food. But to answer the guy that says he is protesting people becoming millionaires, I totally plan to become a millionaire, and no political oppression is going to stop me from my goals. And no, I don't plan on giving any to anyone else. I will work for it. I will keep it. Bobby Clary. Well, Bobby Clary, you've got a game plan. Do you have a vision board? Own. Because we would like does. to see that vision board. I think, I think he does. What's interesting is that football is the American sport and we have a microcosm of the American movement yeah. within American football. So the idea of protesting is such... It's all American. The first uh, And then you have the Patriots playing, yeah. I mean, versus it's, the Eagles. It's all so America. It's a good thing. I mean, really, if you want to look at it, it's a positive thing. It is. So we'll talk Keep about writing, this more guys. on the break, guys.
It's Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers breaking news and top trending stories that are happening right now. We are live in the DBL studios where our team is busy tracking trending topics and breaking news. Let's get right to digital producer Kelly Schuberth with news at this moment. Kelly? Yeah, Tori, you have to watch this dramatic moment from Larry Nasser's sentencing today. A father of three daughters sexually assaulted by Nasser asked for five minutes alone with a disgraced doctor before he goes to jail. The judge said no, but watch what happened next. Would you give me one minute? <laughs> I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system works. One minute. Oh. 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 The judge told the courtroom she understands the anger, but that people can't react with physical violence. The father was briefly detained, but has been released and will not be punished. Tori, back to you. Wow, that was incredible. Thanks, Kelly. Now let's go to Erica Cobb, Jeff Schroeder, Al Jackson, and Sam Shocker for your top trending stories. Thank you so much, Erica Cobb. I feel like we need to take a moment and comment on that. Uh, uh, stunning. I mean, you two are both fathers. I know that three of his daughters were sexually right. abused by Nasser. I, I'm saying what would you do I, if you were in that position would, in that courtroom? It's I'm ashamed to say it. I would do the same thing, maybe worse, and but you should not do that. But I would do the exact same thing. I, I don't know. It just it, it already think, boils my blood. I agree Three daughters you. and he did that to all of them. Yeah. I, I would want to put my hands my, on him. My only issue I, and that's is not like, the right answer. But how, do you think, how do you think his daughters felt in the courtroom seeing their daddy detained? They probably loved it. They probably they, they, he, they, their dad went down for them. Believe me, I, I, I'm telling you. Listen, I yeah. would do the same as well. Yeah, everything, everything isn't isn't uh, you, you know grit on paper. Yeah. Is, let's be honest. Like at that point, the rules are out the window. If yeah, you that think point. that was a scary moment for his daughters, imagine what his daughters went through. I yeah. agree. Believe yeah. me, I'm not. I don't want for any second here to be misconstrued that I think what this dad did is not justified. I know. If that I know, was my course. Sophie, I I can't even. I couldn't even communicate imagine. what I would want to do to that person. But right. however. What if the dad did get locked up? What if the dad did act out violently and the dad I'm had to go to jail? That's not going to help I'm sure he the did. daughters. I'm sure he got no, charged. The dad, the dad charged. did not. The dad you did know, not. I don't think it helps if the dad gets prosecuted, but I think at the end of the day, I'm just imagining the father and the guilt. Like, it's the father's responsibility to protect his daughters. Oh, yeah. And now he's the situation where this has happened and he didn't know. Like, what type of guilt and how is he sleeping at night? for something that he may not have had right. any control over. And he must over be going over every day. single day right. where he picked them up. Should I have noticed? Was so, she being strange? Was she being, you know, did, did she right. seem not herself? So, I mean, we, I really feel for this father because he'll walk around with this for the rest of his life, but it's not his fault. If it's that's not. his therapy, then so be it. Yeah. Yeah. DBL Nation, please, 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 just please weigh in. My heart is jumping and through my chest. Those officers did a terrific job of separating him and, you know what I mean, they did a ter terrific job I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to say this. If I was one of those officers, I'd be like, whoops, he got away from me. Did you see that little weasel go underneath the officer's armpit like all like what, what really now yeah. you're gonna get all scared? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. All right, uh, we're going to move on. Enjoy and, jail, buddy. And switch gears. Yes, I'm sure jail won't be too kind to him. Reese Witherspoon is dropping some knowledge in the latest edition of Vanity Fair's Secret Town Theater. Watch as she teaches us Southern slang. Tour slap up. That just means that you just you made a mess of it, you just did a great job, and you tore it slap up. Goobers, those are peanuts. You're welcome. Bless your heart, how we feel about everybody. This is what we say about literally everybody we know. Bless their heart. <laughs> so cute. So that, this got us talking about some regional words from our necks of the woods. That's right. We're going to try and stump each other. So we'll start with my word. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. It's a surf skate town. And a word that is often used, at least when I was in high school, is nugget or nug. Do you guys know what nugget or nug means? No. Any idea? Can you guess? I, nugget? Like a piece of information? Okay. I, I would think, does it have anything to do with 420? No. Has that, <laughs> that's another definition. I'm just being honest. a little honest. kid? That's a grom. That means like a little surfer. But no, nug, a nug is a wave or like a, a Betty, a hot chick. Oh, huh. okay. a wave. A wave, like a good, a good wave. Oh. Like a nug. A or a hot nugget. chick. Or a hot chick. So you say there's a bunch of nuggets over there? A bunch of nugs. A yeah. bunch of nugs. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on to Jeff's word. All Jeff's right. word is? It's toboggan. Okay, so I'm from the north. My, my wife is from the south. So this, I don't know what definition they have, but I have two definitions okay. of what they mean because apparently they're both different. A toboggan to well, me can is a... Can you guess first? Yes. Is a toboggan <laughs> when you go down in a toboggan? 
What do you think? <laughs> that's, that's, no, no, that's, that's, that's the way I've heard it. Yeah. Right. That's how I think a toboggan Can you is. Use the word in the definition. A toboggan's a sled. Let's get yeah. to it. A toboggan's a sled. Not to Jordan. A toboggan is a winter hat. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, there's some claps that's here. That's weird. Like a toque. Okay. Okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna move on with Al. Al's your yours is red bone. Tell yes. us about what it what my, is it? My family's from Mississippi. I went to college <laughs> in Mississippi. Is that like and a piece of meat? It, it's not a piece of meat. Usually uh, light skinned African Americans yeah. are referred to as red bones. Oh. So they say, look at that little red bone girl over there. Yeah, that's, it, it, yeah. it's not sexual, it's just like this is skin this way to describe skin color. Okay, all right. And then we of course we got Erica. Erica Trixie. Tell us about Trixie Girl. Yes, I'm from Chicago. I went to school at DePaul, which is in Lincoln Park, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a yuppie community. Oh, what well, you want to guess? Okay, Trixie, like uh, cereal, like a girl that wears pearls. She can wear pearls. Um, a Trixie is basically a yuppie in training. She basically has come from Iowa to the big city so that she can be live fancy. Her Real Housewives of Chicago dreams. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right, that was fun. Okay, and please, Bell Nation, share your uh, yes, words from words. your areas. We'll, we we'll use around. them on the show as long as we can. We should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saturday Night Live star Leslie Jones has Instagram talking after she posted a tweet from the gym writing confession. Quote, confession. I feel like I'm working out for nothing. I know I'm healthy and I look good, but I feel like what's it all for if the people you want to notice don't? Wow. wow. And I, I don't know, this broke my heart hearing right. this from her. Yeah, and I mean, I think it just goes to show that like celebrity, I think people think once you're a celebrity, like life is perfect and everything's great. I'm rich. She really, I, I appreciate how, how honest we, she was about saying like, I'm still looking for somebody. I'm still looking for a partner and she feels lonely and she was able, she, she reached out. So I'm sure, first of all, I'm sure there's a ton of guys that would love to, get with Leslie, so I'm sure she'll find a problem. And on the other side, I think there's a ton of people probably saying, oh, poor Leslie, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. a celebrity, I'm a star, I'm rich. You know, but she just, Les I mean, it doesn't mean she has to stop living her people, life because she's a celebrity, but I'm right. just saying I know. for the other side. People have attacked Leslie Jones to the point where she helped encourage Twitter to actually uh, block and have a protocol to deal with trolls, internet trolls. Because I think she got it worse than anybody she in the history of Twitter. She went 100%. Erica, and then you know, I'll read some tweets. When it comes down to it, for Leslie or anyone out there that's feeling this way, if the people who you want to notice you aren't, then those are the wrong people you should want to notice you. Because as with anything, I think that you should go and be with someone who's going to celebrate you and not tolerate you. And there are people, I think there's someone out there for everyone, but when women or men get on social media and say that they don't feel like they're good enough, you have to love yourself first before anyone else is going to love you. And if you don't have that unapologetically, then it becomes harder for anyone else to come into your life. Hmm. Embrace yourself. Okay. All right, we're going to leave it on that note. Uh, moving on, this conversation is going viral on Twitter after Casey Fiesler posted this little game. Go to Amazon, find the first thing you ever ordered and tweet it out. Watch what happened when we at DBL played. 2007 apparently was my very first Amazon order. I just aged myself. <gasps> this is pretty cool. It was the World Food Program Feed Bag. My first order ever on the Amazon. Boring. It's digestive enzymes. It's a health thing. You want to know what my first one is? Deal or, oh no, <laughs> deal or no deal DVD video game ordered on December 10th, 2007. That was a gift from my parents. It was a pretty popular game back then. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I just asked Al to look up his. No joke, I'm not lying. It says male onesie. Male onesie. <laughs> And I bought it because Cobb and her husband both have matching male onesies. Wait, that's uh, not male house? onesies, matching onesies. That's how long have you known Erica Cobb? I, I just got Amazon. I just got Amazon. <laughs> I'm old school. I'm like our producer, Rena Pop. I go to stores still. Okay. So like, that's, I just that's got it. admirable. So, yeah. That's admirable. It's D a cool onesie. Yeah. <laughs> DBL Nation, we want to hear from you. Tell us your first Amazon purchase in the comments. So funny. Um, okay, football fans are gearing up for the big game in a glitzy way. Erica Cobb, you tried it out. Let's take a look. A few years ago, my nail guru, Melly from Mainstream Nails, introduced me to nail art, and it's caught on fire. In fact, so much so, it's Super Bowl 52, and that is the trend that's coming in super hot. I'm not really cheering for either team this year. I think we should go with some neutral Super Bowl 52 nails. I've got my Super Bowl nails, but I'm not the only one who did it. I got it done too. Put it in there. Uh -huh. Go Patriots. I don't care about a guy getting his nails done, but he got the pets. He's smart. Go Eagles.
That's amazing. Really cool. Can you they see are, I mean, the artwork is phenomenal. She I don't did that freehand. You'd see. Yeah, she did that freehand. That's ridiculous. It, it, yeah. it almost it oh, look looks it looks so good that it almost looks like a kit that she just pressed it on. It's like no, she did this freehand. I mean, sitting and having this done to me. Did you guys think like you were in the presence of greatness? Like how oh, many she people? Was yeah. I was like honored to like have her do this. And Seriously. to piggyback on yeah. that, I, I we all wanted to get her nails done, and she's not taking new clients because that's how booked up she is. <laughs> <laughs> Very exclusive. Melly's Lots awesome. more Daily Blast live ahead. Tori Shulman, what's coming up? Coming up on Daily Blast live, a musical prodigy you've got to hear to believe. Listen to this. You'll be shocked to learn he's never had a single lesson. He joins us in studio, still ahead. But first, open your Daily Blast Live app or go online. We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our DBL Trivia Showdown. Play along live with us coming up next. segment we were talking about the dad of the three daughters who launched at uh, Nasser and uh, sparked a wave in the uh, DBL Nation. People had lots of things to say. Uh, Kim Larson on Facebook regarding the cops who stopped the father. They did their job, probably didn't want to stop them, yet it is their job. Right. Uh, Sierra McKenzie, I know how the father feels even though I don't have kids. Uh, Oh, uh, oh, and uh, Tamara Gibson said there's already a GoFundMe page for the father, which already has seven thousand dollars in case he was going to be charged with something. Oh. I, I, this is also this quick. Okay, so now there's a GoFundMe page, and they already raised seven thousand. We move so fast, guys. Yeah. We are knee-jerk reactions to everything. I mean, as as great as that is, don't you think it's a little weird that they already gathered $7,000 before he even went to jail. Well, it could also, if, if, he, if nothing happens, then they can also donate the money to uh, the victim. Or the, that would, that would right, be great. A, a yeah, fund that would be great. to support victims. So I think, yes, I agree. Like, we don't even know if there are any charges right. and you're already raising money. But right. I think that there's, it really just shows the sentiment that people feel for the father. And I got to say, when you watch that father, it puts you in a really tough spot because I unequivocally would have done the same exact thing. Oh, yeah. And it makes me not feel good. Uh, it takes away, kind of, it goes to like the base uh, in our species, the animalistic urge. But, you know, when someone is such a monster like that, it's like, it, it actually drags everything about you down into a dark place, too. Yeah. And, and, you know, even violence. So, you know, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure any dad in that situation probably would have wanted to do the same thing. So, it's interesting. We always want to get your take on that. Um, <clears throat> uh, so uh, the Amazon first orders, uh, Carrie Hill said it, uh, her first order was in 2003 and it was for books. And Kim Larson, much like our friend Rena Pop, ha has never bought anything. I still go to the store, want to touch things before I buy them. So we were, yeah, we were talking with Rena Pop, uh, our executive producer in the booth, uh, earlier during the uh, production meeting. And I, she says it every time and I kind of am like, you must be the only person in the country, but you're clearly not. See, certain things, I have to figure out what my sizes Clothes, are. Clothes, right. Yeah. Clothes are tough. And then I'll order it online. Right. Once I know for Isn't a that fact. weird? I go into the brick and mortars to use it as like a sampling station yeah. where I like write things down that I will then go to online and buy. All right, guys, we'll talk more in the next you're watching Daily Blast Live. Super Bowl is around the corner. So to celebrate, we're testing your knowledge of the big game. That's right. It's our DBL Trivia Showdown. We were inspired by this moment on Jeopardy that is trending everywhere. Take a look. I can tell you guys are big football fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom Landry perfected the shotgun formation with this team. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. Uh, do you think we should go to commercial? <laughs> I would have fit right in there. Okay, let's see if our competitors can do better in our trivia showdown Super Bowl edition. Today's showdown is between Jeff and Al. And of course, all of you, the viewers, go to dailyblastlive.com and, and tap vote now. Questions will appear on your device. Okay. I'm very excited for Super Bowl. I'm Clearly. Sorry. All right, hands. Okay, the winning viewer will win a DBL hashtag genius t-shirt. And can um, I just say this? Uh, Phil Cohen on, uh, chimed in and said he's wearing his genius t-shirt today because he, he's sweet. won the contest. Love so. you, Phil Cohen. What's up? Thank you. Okay, right. Keep your hands down. Right, Here we right. go. Question number one. What team has the most Super Bowl wins? Steelers, Patriots, or Cowboys? That was a tie. Do it again. Go. That's how. That would be the Steelers. And the answer is... Steelers with six wins. Boom, Al Jackson, take a bow. Okay, which superstar brought down the house with the national anthem in 1991? Whitney Houston, Diana Ross, or Patti LaBelle? That will be Jeff. Whitney Houston.
Correct. Take a bow. That's not even a football, and I still okay. got it. Okay. It was so popular that it became a top 20 hit, making her the only singer to turn the Star Spangled Banner into a pop hit. Wow. Wow. Looking straight ahead. I know this Jeez one already. Knees. Okay. Uh, question number three. Which quarterback made a tipsy statement guaranteeing his team was going to win? John Elway, Brett Favre, or Joe Namath? Joe Namath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is correct. And, he, and, and the, the Jets beat the Colts in a 16-7 victory. Yes. I believe he said it to Susie Colbert. What? Okay. That was the, the person interviewing. Okay. Question number four. Who performed at the Super Bowl's first halftime show? Was it Ray Charles, L.A. Philharmonic, or Marching Band? Marching Band. That will be Al. Al is bands. correct. Take a big bow, Al. Take a big bow. Al's quick on the draw. Question number five. Here it is, guys. Which Super Bowl winning Bears, uh, winning Bears player was nicknamed the Fridge? Walter Payton, Jim Covert, or William Perry? That I gotta take this oh, one. The, you be, okay, you yeah. gotta give me this one. Okay, that's William good. Perry. Come yeah. on. And he got the nickname oh, due to one. his size. So that means the winner is <laughs> Al. Tip it, Al. Why don't you give them a little touchdown dance? <laughs> <laughs> And the, viewer, the viewers 4109, congrats 4109. You win a hashtag junior genius t-shirt. And you just won that for Mal. Yeah, good job, good job. All right, we are live. Digital producer Raquel being away, but she's got news at this moment. Well, right now, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. It's Ooh. this Spice Girls reunion. <laughs> Victoria Beckham just posted this photo with all the Spice Girls, proving once and for all that friendship never ends. And while we're on the subject, let's cue the song. Yes. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. Reports say they are planning a project, but it's all very hush hush. But don't worry, I'll monitor this closely. Now let's all get back to singing. Back to you. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna sing? <laughs> we were ready. Wow. Spice. Yeah. Which spice. spice girl are you? I think I would be which one? Really? Just because I'm blonde? Really? I want to be scary spice. I'm scary. We can be both be scary spice. <laughs> Daily Boss Live covers trending topics in entertainment. Tori Shulman, what's ahead on DBL? Coming up, a piano prodigy unlike you've ever heard. Listen to this. That was 20-year-old Dion Fisher, and get this, he's never had a single lesson. The remarkable way he learned to play next. And a Pennsylvania couple celebrated their love for one another and their love for the Eagles with this wedding cake. These diehard Philly fans take the cake. We'll be right back. Hey guys, so Sierra McKenzie, yes, yes Spice, Spice Girls. Girls, and Phil Cohen, Spice Girls, just 20 years old already. Yes, we're all old, Phil, thanks for pointing that yeah, out. Yeah, thanks a lot, genius. <laughs> I know you're wearing your genius t-shirt, which is amazing. Jordan Pete on YouTube used to be in love with Sporty. Really? It's interesting. That's I was different. never a uh, Spice Girls fan. I loved Posh because her name was Victoria. And Beckham, so and so is mine, so I really like this. Did anyone this. nickname you Posh at the time? No, I was hoping for, but they did not. Uh, they nicknamed me Klutz, which was always fun. Not one of the f f original founding members. No, of the Klutzy Spice. Posh girl, Klutzy Klutz Spice. Spice. Um, I wanted to read you guys some of what the first Amazon uh, buys are. Carrie Hill says Amazon first order YR 2003, and it was for books. But this one is crazy. I, I know. Uh, first, The Brave Little Toaster in on 2000. DVD in 2000. That is an early adopter. Eric Wait, there's, there's one that is, um, oh, and I wanted to say this. Beth Johnson Adkins says, my mama always called a car window a window light. We are from southern Kentucky. I've never Roll heard Roll down of that. your window light. Boston, we have, uh, we put jimmies. Yeah, jimmies. Jimmies are sprinkles, yep. if you guys don't know, on ice cream. For and it started cream. with the Jimmy Fund. Uh, the Jimmy Fund was raised, and there was a picture of Jimmy, remember this? And you'd put a dime in, and you'd get sprinkles, and we call them Jimmy's on the northeast part of the country. Yes, yes, I didn't know what was I knew that. Idea. I could tell your eyes. He was like, hmm, I'm learning this something. is new to me. This is new information. Yeah, it was I've for the Jimmy here. Fund, and Jimmy became the name of sprinkles. So we wanted to hear your dialects. Um, someone said, oh, here it is, Charlie Freeman, first Amazon purchase. 
Mine was a little MP3 player and Skull Candy headphones. Best feeling ever. Skull Candy headphones. <laughs> that's such a classic oh, first Amazon. That's awesome. And then April DeWitt, Amazon 2006, Gilmore Girls DVD seasons one through five. Sounds about right. It's a good Amazon 2006 good, good purchase. Good way to ease your, your way in to 2006. Do you want to know what mine was? Yeah, what was yours? The Agoraphobic Workbook. <laughs> <laughs> well, between the Star Spangled <laughs> Banner and the shower and that <laughs> tidbit of information, we're learning so we're much learning about Tori. We're learning so much about me. No, yeah. So check it out. Let us know your first Amazon purchase. I'm going to look mine up right now. We'll okay. Bye, guys. Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, daytime's only live show with the top trending and breaking news happening now. Time now for the extra shot. It's the story that made you say, give me another round since it's so uplifting. Today, it's this guy. Dion Fisher has so much raw talent, it literally stops people in their tracks. Watch this. Despite what your ears hear, you are not at Carnegie Hall. This is the 16th Street Mall in Denver, Colorado, and the man behind the keys has had zero piano lessons. Welcome, Dion, to Daily Blast Live. Now, Dion, you don't even own a keyboard and you've never had a piano lesson a day in your life. How did you end up playing piano? I started in my friend's basement overhearing him play some Harry Potter. That's how it started. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's hear one of your original tunes. Okay. to let us listen to the song that made you insta-famous. <laughs> okay, um, the song that went viral. I know it's not Christmas, but we still need to hear it. guru Steve Gallagher who um, is an avid music lover in fact this is his keyboard oh no nice. um, so he was so gracious to bring this in for you but he would like to tell you something so after hearing you play and hearing your story um, uh, very emotional in there listening to you play and, and knowing uh, your story so you can take this home with you tonight and uh, oh. <laughs> uh, It'll be a little, a little easier for you to practice uh, in Denver in the winter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Guys, uh, that was a great story, wasn't it? Uh, our buddy Steve is a very generous guy, so uh, 
That was very kind of him to give that to you. Charlie Freeman on Facebook, that is so dope to just pick it up so easily and play like that. Hats off to him, a great inspection for musicians and all people. Yeah, he was truly an inspiration. We were really honored to have him in the studio. Yeah, Erica, to to Erica yeah. he played a couple other songs for so us. I will tell and we'll we'll put them on Facebook for you, his uh, other songs. But what a, how cool is that, man? Like. I felt like I was in the presence of greatness yep. because I was. Yeah. Um, after Steve gave him the keyboard, he said, "It was if, if it would have been the show, it would have been nice. But the fact that it was someone who gave it to him, person, his person. possession of his own heart, made it very special. It was and very special. That was great. Oh, man. Yeah. Yes, honey. Great yeah. He, this okay. kid, I mean, man, he's 20, but it's like... The way that he speaks and sees things. So the original song wasn't a song that he wrote a while ago. He picked up on the energy and the vibrations of the people in the room. And as more people gathered in front of him, the... Here? Yeah, here, today. Like, he started to crescendo because the energy got bigger. And that's how, like, it was basically the entire song was the flow of the people of the energy in the room. And he said that if it's something like... A Mozart, that he would take something from Mozart and use something familiar and then add to it. That's insane. Truly really gifted. He's going to go places. We'll track him too. All right, guys, thanks. We'll have more in the next break. Welcome back to DBL. Let's take a look back at one fun moment from earlier in the show. Welcome to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday. Woo! <laughs> and the Eagles won. All right, so we got some viewer comments from John Venturini on YouTube. Brady is definitely a first ballot Hall of Famer. That said, I hope the Eagles win. It's their time now. Go Birds! Justin Kirchner on Facebook. I hope the Eagles can pull it off on Sunday. If not, go Patriots. And Rodney on Facebook, uh, Super Bowl Eagles 35-24. What are your predictions? I was. Cl I, I think I put 31-24 okay. Patriots. I'm gonna. I think the Patriots are gonna pull it out. Do you have a score? No. I, I go <laughs> Eagles 22 to 19. I'm gonna write Al's down because I feel you really good about predicting go sports scores. So Eagles, what is it? 22 19. 22 19. That's gonna be my first time I bet on the and Super Bowl. And let me Bowl. make a disclaimer. I yes. love the Bears. I love the Bears. Dallas. I love the Bears. All right. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah. It's time for the Bears. Bears to love themselves now. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly Schubert. If the stories never stop, we don't either. We're live on YouTube and Facebook. Keep the conversation going. Happy Friday! Yeah! Connor was. Connor uh, wanted to wait for all the credits to roll before we started talking. Which I think is great. Isn't that great? Is there anything to do with you wanting to be seen on the credits there? Connor? Connor? Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. How do I know my Connor Ashley so well? So I looked up uh, my first purchase. And? In 2007. So his first Amazon. Oh. First Prime. Amazon Prime yeah. purchase. Oh, it, it was Prime? Yeah, because you can't tell what your first purchase was. Okay. Uh, my agoraphobic one. Okay. 2007 on. was uh, my Logitech webcam. So a, a oh, webcam wow. attached. That just brings to, me back uh, to that date immediately. 2007. Yes. Well, there you go. So there you go. Who's old? Who's oh, old? Yeah. You guys went crazy for Dion, the amazing, amazing uh, piano, piano player. player. So nice. Um, and uh, people saying, wow, Dion's amazing. Uh, never had a lesson in his life. Um, Phil Cohen, I just want to say, his first Amazon purchase was Introduction to Interpersonal Communications. Well, Seems like a lot of first Amazon purchases were textbooks. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, I mean, my first original Amazon purchase was obviously a book. Yeah, I would think that's, Prime. if you guys don't know, that's sort of where Amazon started, was like a book warehouse. Yeah. Um, Charlie Freeman, that is so dope to just pick it up so easily and play like that. He's talking about Dion. Hats off to him, a great ins inspection for musicians and all people. And we got to be honest, thank you, Steve, for giving him that keyboard. Steve is the best. Steve Gallagher is our audio uh, guru, and I'm so impressed and beyond yeah, Steve um, moved by all what he just super did. Super happy to work here. So, today. so yeah, thanks, so. Steve. That was just unbelievable. We were all crying. We were all crying. Yeah. So thanks a lot for ruining my mascara. Here, all right, guys, we're gonna clear, and uh, we'll be back in the next break. The next. Welcome to Daily Blast Live. It's fr fr Friday, February 2nd. It's a packed show to end the week. This just in, Grammy's backlash. Female record executives are standing up and speaking out. Plus, ladies, we're getting you pumped up for the big game. From hot team nails to our DBL puppy predictions to affordable party planning tips. We got you covered. So let's get started with the top five trending stories happening right now. I'm going to toss it to my favorite girl, Sam Shocker. Take it away, Sam. Yes, I'm Tori Shulman's favorite girl. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. I'm here with radio girl Erica Cobb, everyone's favorite big brother, Jeff Schroeder, comedian Al Jackson, and I'm Sam Shocker. Sammy, what up? Hey, hey, hey. It's Happy Friday, Friday, you guys. Girl, Happy yes. Friday. Oh, we right. here at DBL like are a trendy news and entertainment show that is live. And we cover what is happening right now. Check out our entire DBL team. They are in our studio ready to cover news the moment it breaks. And we are live in this Justin. A group of female record executives are calling for Recording Academy President Neil Portnow to step down. It stems from the male-centric Grammy Awards and his comment saying it is the responsibility of women to, quote, step up. Now, over a dozen women executives sent a letter saying, quote, we step up every single day and have been doing so for a long time. The fact that you don't realize this means it's time for you to step down. Yeah. Tone deaf, but do you lose your job for that? I just really worried about... I, 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 about where we're headed. Where are we going to be in another year if, if we're setting the precedent now? Because if he steps down, now that means you can get fired for something right. that you said he's somebody the, didn't like. He's it, the president right. and he's underscoring the misogyny that we just that we witnessed within the award show. So then let's educate instead I, I, of fire. I think we need to get better on both sides, men and women, black and white, whatever you come from. Both sides need to get better. I don't think this is a man versus woman thing, although I think you know other people would disagree. We all need to get better. We all need to get better. Not women need to get better or men need to get better. We all need to be better. Is this a female think, versus male thing? I think at this point, yes, in some in a lot of capacities it is. It's pouring salt into an open wound because it was already an insult, the fact that women were so underrepresented in the Grammys. And then the person, the president of the Music Academy, who represents everyone, is saying step up, as if the women in these positions haven't worked ten times harder and been ten times faster to get to where they are. It's an insult, and I think that it's completely tone deaf. Yeah. And he has since apologized because yeah. He said that that wasn't well, I don't, the context. I don't know how much time we have, but I'll tell the story, and I told it during the break to you guys. Uh, I was on stage one time, and I, and I was fishing for the name of a city, and a woman yelled out the answer, and I said, thank you, sweetheart. And one of my f uh, female friends that was a comic said, that could be construed as really uh, insulting to call a grown woman sweetheart. But when I was growing up, that's how my father referred to my sister as a term of endearment, so that's how I heard it. So, like, I learned from that, and now I never do it again. But should I have never been able to perform again because I was uh, unknowingly condescending? I, I think there's so many different scales, but thank you for sharing that. And it was a teaching moment to you it, and perhaps it was, yeah, it's a teaching moment to For the rest of my him. life. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're counting down and we're going to switch gears to the Super Bowl. And of course, the big halftime show. Yes, Justin Timberlake has been hard at work preparing for Sunday's big performance. And he's also out with a brand new music video. It is called Man of the Woods. Let's check it out. I'm sorry, baby. Justin is the latest. That bar. Yeah, it does look like a fun <laughs> bar, huh? Justin is the latest in a long line of halftime performers like Katy Perry and her now infamous 
left Shark in 2015, or the Queen herself, Beyonce, when she took the field in 2014. So let's discuss, which was Ooh. in your, oh yeah, Michael They're showing Jackson. it right there. They, they took mine wow. before I could even say it. Okay, so we were going to discuss who our best performance was for Super Bowl halftime shows performers. You say MJ. Michael Jackson just popped in my head in this morning's meeting, and I, and I think that's my most remember memorable moment. Remember when he sang We Are the World, And all we the are kids the came on the field. I yeah, I remember that. Yep, mine too. What about you? Hands down, 2001, Aerosmith, NSYNC, Britney, Mary J. Blige, and Nelly came on for yes. Walk This Way. That was iconic. Uh, that was 2001? Yes, I know. Don't Cobb, you know. I'm sorry. That was a it's, great one. I thought, yes. I thought Cobb was going to say this. It's got to be Beyonce's performance. She literally turned uh, the lights formation? out in the Super Bowl. With formation? Uh, she literally shut the lights off in the yeah. Super Bowl. Like Beyonce's performance was unbelievable. Bruno Mars was awesome as well. So was Gaga last year. I thought yeah. Gaga turned it out. I really liked her Me last too. year. Yes. Good job. All right, we are live, and this video is Justin. Justin Timberlake is shopping at Target this Friday. Yeah, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a special surprise for a few lucky fans. Let's check it out. I do my target run. Got Reese's Pieces. Shout out to ET the movie. Also, what do I have? Target limited edition vinyl of Man of the Woods. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sign five of these, and we're going to give them to the store manager. Find the super target. Come here right now. Find the store manager. The code word is Ardvark. That's, <laughs> That's a good, amazing. That's yes, a good promotion. It's an amazing way to start a riot. Exactly. <laughs> what are exactly. you doing? What are you doing? I, I guess it's great. Aaron Paul was notorious for doing that during Breaking Bad. He's he, not Justin Timberlake. It's, Aaron Paul has millions of followers. I once went to a Walgreens trying to follow one of his tweets because he was there. <laughs> Don't the riot, for that. The riot yeah. thing is real. The Target by us almost or accidentally mislabeled the Prosecco, and I posted it on Instagram, and I started a riot. Oh, it was only $3 a bottle, and it was mislabeled, and everybody was there. It was a really big thing. Sold out. Hilarious. Yeah. All right, celebrities are taking to social media to show their support for the team that they're supporting, obviously, for Sunday's big game. Kevin Hart posted this Super Bowl prediction saying the Eagles will win 83-6. to six. It's a big spread. And Pete tweeted out a very enthusiastic, um... I'm singing the national anthem and the Eagles are playing. Is this for real? That's what's up. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't sound like yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say okay. it's a little bit, you know, more rasp. Yeah, I think she's cooler her. than me, that's for sure. But do you think that she's going to be all decked out? Because she's a Philly girl. Oh, yeah, through and through. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She's going Eagles all the way. She's, I mean, Pink can do no wrong, but she's going to go green. And we're all going to dream, but our very own Al Jackson will yeah. be there. I will. Yeah. I will. It's, uh, I'm really sad I'm going to be missing the commercials. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Al I'm, I'm excited. Oh. Yeah, that, there was, they just showed a picture of me wearing an Eagles jersey. I'm just I'm, uh, mixed emotions. I'm such a diehard Browns fan, but I got to pick a side. So right, I gotta and it's go called green. the side that's going to be there on Sunday. That's right, and my Browns will never be there unless they buy a ticket and like I do. Erica, you posted something. Let's take a look what Erica posted. Who's she supporting? Erica says they make us pick sides, so I'm decked out in all green and cheering for the underdogs. Oh, and she's holding Davis. Go yeah. Eagles. Why does what Erica I thought you were cheering for the puppy She takes such oh, good what? pictures. They're unbelievable. Oh, she's too perfect. Uh, oh Jeff, God. he posted something. Let's see what Jeff posted. <laughs> this is what I'm pulling for in Super Bowl. 52, yeah. 31, 24 pats. Find out why today on Daily Blast Live. Nice. Read the hashtag. And I posted to you guys. Did I'm you see into my the hashtag? Game. No, what was your hashtag? Don't hate the great. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's me. <laughs> Guess who I'm voting for? I'm cheering for. Uh, <laughs> voting for. The birds, even the intergalactic ones, because I have me a porg. You see the porg in there? So I'll be cheering but for that's the, not a bird. the eagles. Ca -ca! It's He's, <laughs> an He's an intergalactic. Bird. He's not a bird. A porg is an he's intergalactic. He's a hybrid he of a, a couple different. That's, that can I not can, call him an intergalactic bird? No, you cannot. What would you call him? First of all, there's a lot of different kinds of birds in the national football. There's seahawks. There's falcons. Oh. You can't just pick. Yeah, the, which one? Ducks. The hawks. Yeah, you oh. can't just you, you know just pick the eagles. Uh, you have to decide which <laughs> bird you're going to support. You just the can't last time birds. I looked out, it doesn't look like there's multiple teams playing that have bird affiliations. I think eagles are the only wow. team with a bird affiliation. What? So therefore, cheering for the birds. Okay. Ooh, All right. Wow. And for the latest, we're joined to you. now by reporter Carla Holt from our sister station, who is braving the bitter cold in the Super Bowl backyard. Hey, Carla. Hi, all of you. Good to see all of you. I have to say it is still very cold here. Yeah, I'm still without gloves. Oh, and there's, no. the fireplace ain't working behind you. I know. I'm without gloves, and there's no fire behind me. And 
To top it off, despite being a native Minnesota, this is a warning for all of our good, friendly visitors. I just slipped on the ice twice <gasps> in my attempt to get here. So it's been a beautiful day. That would be my <laughs> first warning to all of our friends who are planning to come here over this beautiful Super Bowl weekend. Make sure you take it slow and easy on the ice because it can be a little slick at places. Get right? ready, Al. I feel like it's so cold that yeah. the fire was like, now nah, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, it's like, I'm going. Yeah. We're going south. Carla, tell me this really quickly. <laughs> I heard that there's a ton of celebrity sightings going on. Tell me the buzz. Yeah, there is. And in fact, if you really want to see a lot of the celebrities, you need to go to the Mall of America. Apparently, that is where they are going. That's also, of course, where Radio Row is, that Super Bowl tradi tradition of having all of the radio broadcast hosts gathered in one place. Only this year, it's a bit unique in that you can go there and you can engage with those broadcasters and then you can actually see those broadcasters also interviewing the stars. So who we're seeing? Donnie Wahlbar Wahlberg, Ooh. Jenny McCarthy, uh, yeah, Eli Manning was there. So a lot of, of course, football people, Terry Bradshaw. Last night, Snoop Dogg was in town. You gotta love that. Buster Rhymes was in town today. And so a lot nice. of them are coming out, enjoying it. And of course, again, they're going inside into the Mall of America Ooh, because that's the place smart. to be. Very yeah. smart. Carla, stay warm. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks, you. Carla. Thank you. you and bet. look out for our very own Al Jackson this weekend, will you? <laughs> okay, you, I will do that. All I will right. do that. Awesome. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, Carla. Daily Blast Live covers that's trending creepy. stories. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> As it happened, Tori, show me what's coming up. All right, it's a video that's going viral right now. Check it out. Courtroom drama in the sentencing of Larry Nasser when a victim's father rushes towards the sexual abuser. You'll hear from that distraught dad. Plus, a Super Bowl 52 party for under $52. We'll show you how it can be done. And you, the viewer, are our fifth host. So what part of the Super Bowl are you most excited for? The game, the food. JT, we share your comments live on air coming up next. Carlos, you guys will hang out. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, they look really cold. It looks like it's got to. You're gonna have to stick and move when you're there. Like you're just. You're just, you're just, you're just but I'm wondering, like, what's the Uber situation going to be? Because I'm sure it's going to be surge. Yeah, and also I don't know the road, whatever. Once I'm down there, we'll figure it out. Alcohol lowers your body temperature, actually makes you colder, but you feel warmer. Well, your insides terrible, are warm. Terrible, terrible thing. Which your is, insides I think, are warm as your body temperature plummets. Right. It's actually not good to drink a lot in the it, cold. It's not. I, I went to a Bears-Packers game, like, on December something in Chicago. Oh. I got a beer for some reason. By the time I walked from the concession back to my seat, it had frozen to like a three slush? quarters of it had frozen on the top Ooh, of it. Slush. That's yeah. how cold that it was. That sounds like Mother Nature was helping you out. Exactly. Yeah. That sounds More delicious. Yeah. Why would you get something cold on a cold? I don't know. Well, because I had a big turkey leg. And oh, it was okay. like, it, I was supposed like, to have, have it with beer. You can have white wine with the turkey leg. Yeah. When you're nestled after the turkey yeah. leg, that's keeping you warm. Right. So you can drink the beer. Yeah, I got to find, I like that. find that photo. I like Maybe that. Next I want to see that. Exactly. Well, I listen, you're going to have a ball, but we do worry about you. That's why we gave you that high quality hat. And she said she uh, slipped yeah. twice. I was like, oh no, I'm an older gentleman. <laughs> I'm going to crack a hip and come, come back. back in a full body oh, yeah. cast. Come on. Well, Don't, she'll be fine. Isn't it like like right away, the first reaction? It's funny when people fall. Well, it is. Yeah. It, not yeah. when you get older. Yeah, but yeah, not you when you get older. Not when you there's get a old. point where there's a certain age when somebody falls, you just worry about their health. And you're like, yeah. oh, that man fell. <laughs> like, it's I worry not like for hilarious. Him. You're like, <laughs> oh, wait. Well, if he comes back in a full body cast, we'll just put him up in the hub for the next yeah. I just totally feel, I feel, like, corner. I feel like I totally jinxed myself and I'm going to fall and like hurt my arm and be like, yeah. that wasn't so that funny. Wasn't so funny. Dude, that wasn't yeah. so funny. Now who's laughing? No you guys, guys. Do, uh, do you think do Jeff is a horrible person for laughing at old people <laughs> falling? Let us I didn't know. say old people. <laughs> I said my first reaction is to laugh and I'm like, are you okay? Don't tell me you're not like that. Don't tell me you're not like that. When someone falls, is your first reaction kind of I just, can't help oh, it. Even when I fall, I fell down my stairs. Tori and her husband were there and I started falling and then Tori's like, that was pretty bad. Are you okay? And it, I, I got hurt. But did you laugh? Did other people I started laugh? laughing and then it kind of turned to like a <laughs> ow. Like crap? Yeah. What'd you hurt? Be careful. Huh? What'd you hurt?
Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers trending stories live, no matter where you're watching. And we're listening to you, we promise. It's time for Fifth Host, where your comments are part of the discussion. Take it away, Sam Shocker. Thank you so much, Tori. If you can't tell, here at DBL, we are really, 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 mm -hmm. really excited for the Super Bowl. And they're- How excited? Really, 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 really super- Okay. <laughs> super excited for the Super Bowl. <laughs> there are many reasons why. Some of us can't wait to watch the game. Can we get some claps for that? Yeah. Others are watching only for the commercials and halftime show. Oh, there's a lot of us here. And let's be honest, some of us are just in it for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Party. Boom. Ooh. So where we was wanted that? to know what, huh? That looked really good. I was about to say, oh, yeah. where in the studio are those? I know. That's yeah. right. So we want to know uh, what you, our fifth host, are more ex most excited for. We'll get to your comments, but you can also weigh in live right now by heading over to dailyblastlive.com and to vote now. Let's get to our fifth host comment, shall we? Ariana Steinway, so pumped about Justin Timberlake, you think he'll rock the 90s curls. <laughs> you'd have to don a wig. <laughs> you think he'd put a wig on? That'd be amazing. It'd be awesome if NSYNC came out and he did it. That yeah. would be awesome. I mean, I, I'm really. But do you remember when NSYNC performed with him? What I forget what award show it was. Yeah, it was and really brief. Oh, it was not good. Listen, well, we say it over and over. We want one person to come out. I think everyone's yeah, united. Yeah, we want Janet. Yeah. But that was the year that Kevin Hart uh, made fun of Joey Fatone. Yeah. And it didn't go over it so didn't well. Go well. Oh. It didn't go over well. Yeah. No. Charlie Freeman writes, I ain't watching. My Jags got jugged by the refs anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. What era is he from? <laughs> That's like slang from the 40s. I like that. We got <laughs> We got jug. We sent out on a river boat. Charlie, I'm bringing that back. I'm bringing that back later in the show. You're getting a jug somewhere in there. I don't know oh where. Oh, my God. And Barb says, so excited for Pink doing the national anthem. Hey, yeah. What does that mean? Are you excited? I almost said H-E-L-L, -L and I was like, oh, I'm on, I'm on live TV. Daytime, so I said, hey, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for Pink, too. Okay. Okay. What's your All favorite right. part, Sam? Um, you know food, what my favorite part is. Commercials. Commercials. That's it. Yeah. Com well, normally the halftime show. So if J Justin Timberlake has a great halftime guest, I'll be super stoked. So I will be watching to see who he brings in. So you're gonna decide in the moment if Heck that's yeah, the best moment hey, yeah, of I the am. Super Bowl. Hey, yeah. Okay. That's right. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. And let's take a look. We got our viewers' commercials and wow. halftime. DBL, I'm right yeah. there with you. I kind of look like a ref in this top, like a chic ref. I just noticed. You really do. A ref see? for what sport? <laughs> <laughs> Daily Bus Live is all about news as it's happening. Tori Shulman, what's coming up? What's Compassion all around for Saturday Night Live star Leslie Jones. After she posts this gym selfie, it's the dating struggle that links her to millions of American women out there. And next, comedian Al Jackson rates this week's viral videos the cute, the silly, the ones that will make you smile. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, Connor, Ashley. So we're always tracking the top trending stories. This is actually a video an Instagram user named Oliver created. He um, essentially compiled photos of everyone's travel, hashtag Insta travel. And he showed that we're actually taking the exact same photos over and over and over again. And it's actually, you know, stifling our creativity. So our need to be perfect and to take these amazing photos um, you know, it's stifling our creativity because as you can see here, they all look the exact same. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. You know, uh, when you go on Instagram, are you guys striving to take that perfect photo or um, are you trying to incorporate some sort of creativity into that? And I mean, this is pretty crazy. If you guys have any photos like this that mimic what we're seeing here, go ahead and send those in to us um, on our Facebook page. That is crazy. Kelly, what's going on? In yeah, right so speaking of social media, you probably see on your feed today a lot of women and men wearing red, and you're probably wondering why. Well, it is actually National Wear Your Red Day, and a lot of people are wondering what are you dressing up for? Well, let me show you. It is Wear Red Day for Heart Month, and it's to raise awareness about heart disease in women, which a lot of people don't know is actually the number one killer of women. Over 500,000 women a year are diagnosed with heart issues, and so wearing red today, raise awareness about that, because it's usually associated with men, and as much as that is a problem, we need to raise awareness for the number one killer for women. So if you're wearing your red, you can post a photo on social media and hashtag Wear Red Day. Kelly, have you uh, seen anyone on your Facebook wearing more red than normal? Is it? Yeah. Well, I I could keep going through Instagram, Twitter, it's on every social platform that you can hashtag on. 
Have I ever what? Have you seen red today? Oh, I've seen a lot of people around the office wearing red, parts of red, not like a whole red outfit, but like red shoes, red bag. Yeah. And then one more thing about this is they're actually, the American Heart Association will be giving out prizes for if you post a photo of yourself wearing red and hashtag wear red day. It does not disclose what the prizes are, but like that's prizes. always a good surprise, a surprise prize. A prize, prize. Yeah. Everyone likes prizes, right? Everyone likes prizes. I wonder if any of our hosts are wearing red. What? <laughs> yes. And I, 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 I do have a little uh, stripe of red here. You won't get a prize for that. Which picture? No, let's not look at that. <laughs> okay, and that's what Brett's looking at at work. Okay, guys, stay with us. We'll talk more in the next break. You're watching Daily Blast Live, your unique mix of news, entertainment, and fun. Now on Fridays, we rate this video. Comedian Al Jackson scores the best and worst viral clips of the week with a little help from Jeff Schroeder. Take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Tori. It being Friday, you thought that was enough. No, no, no. Now it's mm -hmm. time for Rate This Video with everyone's favorite comedian, Mr. Al Jackson. Yes, Friday, Friday just Friday. got a little yeah. better, huh? Happy Super Bowl Friday. I know. Ooh. This feels good, man. It's like a national Al. holiday. You upped your game, buddy. I look yeah. terrible oh, next to you. All right, let's get going. Our first video leaves this guy in a snow lot of trouble. I like uh, it. Check it out. Now, Jeff, I just love this guy because you know, like, at the end of this video, he's not claustra snobic. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. With it. Uh, I, and I just think it's cool. Not only was he on a snowmobile, which is cool enough, he buried himself in snow. He's not claustrophobic. He's a real man. And because of that, he gets four sunglasses. Al emoji. Let's go. Pretty good. One. Pretty good. All right, Al. This Frenchie bathing in the sink is sure to make you smile. All right. Happy Friday. Oh, and no, I love this because, yes, uh, in terms of Martin, yeah, you can see that his face changes. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> And because of this adorable dog, you get three out of hard eyes emojis. Let's go I like it. Show. All right. For basketball players, ball is life, yes. right? For athletes, hoop is life. But check this out. Uh, now, Jeff, there is nothing cooler. Like our own Jen Wiedersham, she can hula hoop, but this girl is the Michael Jordan of hula hoops. She's so cool. She's doing it in the snow. She's combining a couple different things, a lot of skill level, and she demonstrates it every single time on this video. And because of that, she definitely gets three and a half Al emojis. Well Ooh, done, my dear. Pretty good. Al, to you're one. tough today. All right, up next, Superman's younger brother, whose slogan is up, up, and stay. Mm. Enjoy. Now, Jeff. I just love this video because this is God's way of saying what you're doing is stupid. Uh, I'm going to take this away, from, take your toy from you. Uh, I do like that he attempted it, and I do like that he lost the parachute before he was over the cliff. So because of that, and because my man is still alive to tell the story, he gets four and a half. Al, star has emojis. Well done. That's and today's winner. Look, Go Eagles. He thought he lost. Now he's the big winner on Rate This Video. That's right. Digital producer Raquel Vinaweva has the music news at this moment. That's right, we got a scoop on a superstar hitting the road with a famous friend. Here's a hint. Bruno Mars tweets in part, I, what if I told you I want to do one more U.S. tour and bring my little sister Cardi B? Fans erupted with excitement, and even Cardi B replied, that sounds like a great idea. Details are set to come out any minute today, and I'll keep you posted. Back to you. I think she's on board. All right, have people run amok with their emotional support animals? United Airlines seems to think so. The policy changes they're making after a peacock ruffled their feathers. And get your nails did Super Bowl style. It's the nail art trend that's coming in hot. guys, so we are uh, just chilling and Tori's just maxing, relaxing up at the hub. Why don't we talk a little? What's up, guys? Uh, you should probably put your as we come up the stairs. Hi, guys. <laughs> no, it's nice in the hub. It's like it very is open. It's very chill up here. It's like a modernist, minimalist uh, house. Lots of open spaces. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Thank you so much. Really... I just, I really wanted that ladder to go to nowhere just to make you feel. I really feel like it opened like up the space. The ladder to anywhere is possible. So, um, so don't, yeah, that's just, yeah. So what? Bruno Mars, huh? Yeah, what do you think about with that? With Cardi B. I think that's kind of fun. I love that. The, the whole 90s, like, retro thing that they did, I, like, loved on the Grammys. And I yeah. think it, you loved it. You did. The yawn definitely indicated. Cardi B. Um. Yeah, so uh, but you and I have fallen a little bit in love with her due to her personality. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I can't do it. I'm not. I don't have the RuPaul Drag Race competitor. She's so good. If you guys didn't see her on Jimmy Fallon, she was like out of this world kooky. And then on the Grammys, she was reading Fire and Fury, and she was like, "This man eats this a cheeseburger. What? Is this is his life." Like she's very genuine and just like she, seemingly like really her. silly. We like her. It's part so, of the. Uh, she's got that real Tiffany Haddish like. Uh, yeah, Haddish. Yeah, Haddish. Did I say Haddish? Yeah, but who you cares? say Haddish. I, I say, say Haddish. Haddish. Let's, Let's call, call the, the whole, whole thing, thing funny. Off. Oh, yeah, that's good, too. Know, that's that's that. really funny. No, but uh, great conversation so far. We were talking about Super Bowl. Someone brought up Prince as their favorite Super Bowl halftime. And was, I forgot this, it was literally raining as he uh, sang Purple, Rain. Purple Rain. And I don't think you get much better. No, he's, and it was in Minneapolis. You know how much he paid to have that happen? That was a lot Dear of Dear God, I'm Prince. And God's like, just do it. Do, do it. it. God turns out to be a huge Prince God fan. likes a good halftime show. Oh, loves it. I think it's official. I oh, loves it. Um, well, let us know, guys. We were still, we still want to hear from you like what are you doing for halftime what are you doing for a Super Bowl I just bought a ticket so I'm going skiing tomorrow yeah, yeah so I'm excited and for you're that. a good uh, how good are you one to ten I haven't been in a while okay. so we'll, uh, if I come back in a cast <laughs> you'll know <laughs> Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday before the Super Bowl. Yeah, fitness pro Jen Wiederstrom with some Super Bowl saving ideas. Yeah, you're going to want to listen up, you guys. So the average American spends $207 throwing a Super Bowl party. My girl to pop culture shoot guru Tori Shulman shows you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for under 52 bucks. Take a look. Do you have champagne taste, but you're living on a beer budget? Don't worry, I got you covered. Today I'm gonna show you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for only $52. We're going with shredded chicken tacos. Go ahead and grab yourself some chicken thighs. You're down to $1.99 a pound. Who's the chicken now? Taco seasoning for 49 cents. Whee! Ah, uh, home sweet home. Let's see what drinks I can come up with to get this party started. I have $5 for decorations, so I ran to the store and spent five bucks on brown cups and yellow napkins. Glue white stripes, not the band, onto the cups and voila! football cups, yellow napkins as penalty flags for any unruly guests cheering against your team. For the Super Bowl shredded tacos, first, brown chicken in instant pot on saute. Remove and set aside. Add onion and saute, add in seasoning, tomatoes, peppers, chicken, and top with lime juice. Cook for eight minutes, remove the chicken, and set aside. Shred chicken and put in pot to coat in sauce and turn off. Here's how you make the kickoff cocktail. Add four cups of cranberry juice into a container, three cups of vodka, two cups of triple sec, half a cup of lime juice. Now, who's ready for some football? <laughs> we are, oh my gosh. Tori. Yes. Thank you for bringing us the Anytime. deals. Anytime. Keeping it real, and hey guys, Lace is out. Lace is out, people. Right. Lace is out. Cheers. Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, too much. Woo! Flag on the play. <laughs> Back to you guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's Friday and it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Fake. Cheers, guys. I couldn't even fake yeah, it. Yeah, Can I just say this to the group while you guys are, like, drinking? Can we do something to have Sam say cheer instead of vote? She keeps going, which team are you voting for? <laughs> no. She goes, Erica, which team do you want elected to? <laughs> No, she was gonna say, she goes, she was gonna place a bet, and she goes, I'm gonna vote for them. Like, meaning I'm gonna, I'm gonna place a bet. Okay. All right. Go Burks. Okay, How well do you know your Super Bowl trivia? Can you stump our co host We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our <laughs> DBL trivia showdown. So have your DBL app ready or go online to dailyblastlive.com. And are Kanye West and Solange Knowles rip off artists? Well, one person mm -hmm. seems to think so and is suing. You be the judge, DBL Nation. We'll be right back. Vote Eagles! <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, it's your, speaking of vote, it's your turn to vote, so go to dailyblastlive.com uh, slash vote on your iPhone or on your tablet or on your laptop, and then soon you too can play uh, Super Bowl trivia against these guys. Who's going up? 
in this in this uh, Who, who's playing? Yeah, who's playing? Who's going up? Who's going up? Who's competing? Man, that was as bad as we. <laughs> You're as bad as me. Oh, we, really? I'm gonna vote ten dollars on the Eagles. Really yeah, you can, are. I don't feel like yours was fine too. <laughs> who's campaigning? <laughs> who's campaigning? Who's campaigning against this? <laughs> who's who's? What? But who is who's competing? They, they oh, I thought you, you meant the voting? Super Bowl. No, I meant the trivia. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I was like, what sport do they once again? I come up and then yep. pop the bubble up here, and then now you see. Yes, I was talking about the see, game. See, it's only the second show. Usually, this starts happening around the so third show. So why don't you apologize to me? On oh, I, I told it to let you for really know. using the right terminology. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. For yeah. Like, yeah. I apologize. Like, I was yeah, still in the mode of making fun of Sam for. Are you yeah. Yeah. So Sam, I'm not like you at all. Why is that? So we're talking about the trivia game, not the competition. See, we thought we were talking about the I knew who the bridge was. I did. Yeah. Super Bowl Shuffle. Yeah. Was it we're just yeah. here to I just for, remember the word Raider Perry. Yeah. yeah. You know him too? Yeah. 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 Patriots 86. All right, let's think of a term. Let's think of a term. I love Joe yeah. Montana. All right. Okay, I can sing Which, the 49ers yeah. theme song. We are the 49ers. What we will rock you till we win the fight. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that. It was like yeah. I, turned, I turned my chair into something <laughs> horrific. I was like, oh, no. That's the Niners theme song. Why do you know that? What? Because I grew up in the Bay Area, and my dad's oh, a okay. Niners fan. Yep. So that was your name. Yes, Joe Montana. Wait, she's, wait, she's naming she's Joe Niners. Joe Montana. Chicago Bears. Jerry Rice. Oh, man, I've been out of the game. Young. Steve Steve Young. Young. Joe Montana, Steve Jerry Rice. Steve Steve Rice. Steve you can't say him again. All right, guys, we'll be back in a little bit. So stay tuned, guys. It's Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers breaking news and top trending stories that are happening right now. We are live in the DBL studios where our team is busy tracking trending topics and breaking news. Let's get right to digital producer Kelly Schubert with news at this moment. Kelly? Yeah, Tori, you guys have to check out this dramatic moment from Larry Nasser's sentencing today. A father of three daughters sexually assaulted by Nasser asked for five minutes alone with a disgraced doctor before he goes to jail. The judge said no, but watch what happens next. Would you give me that. one minute? <laughs> I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system works. One minute. Is going to stop. <laughs> The judge told the courtroom she understands the anger, but that people can't react with physical violence. The father, father was briefly detained, but has been released and will not be punished. Tori, back to you. Wow, Kelly, thank you. Now let's go to Erica Cobb, Jeff Schroeder, Al Jackson, and Sh Sam Shocker for your top trending stories. Thank you so much, Tori Shulman. I feel like we need to comment on that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he is a father of three girls, three gymnasts who were sexually abused by Larry Nasser. You two are fathers. Right. As, oh, a, as a father, when I watch this and we're daily last time we're honest I was like he should have brought two friends to create a distraction to like clear the path I we're going right at him so but yeah. he still would have ended up at that point guess what then he ends up in jail and I'm believe me no. I have so much sympathy for it. this dad but then he ends up in, in jail and then what his three girls have to deal with that as well he wouldn't go to jail for that long yeah. I don't know. I mean, I want to. I want to be honest too here. I, I agree with the judge. You can't do that. You know, everyone in every decision you know that's made in the court of law, you can't do that. But to speak f openly, having a child, having three daughters, if I had that. I, I don't know that I wouldn't do the same thing. And I, I can tell you, I, I can't imagine what our fathers would do, right, Erica? Oh, absolutely. I think that this is a very natural reaction, but at the end of the day, victim impact statements are very strong for both the victim as well as the person that they're addressing. That's part of the reason why he asked for it to stop so long ago because it's a psychological thing. It's something that you cannot respond to. I've done a victim impact statement and it was the most cathartic thing that's ever happened. Like I was able to move on and get my power back. Thank you for sharing that. Wow. All right, uh, moving on. Now it's time for a segment we call You Be the Judge. That's right, DBL Nation, you get to be a judge. Kanye West and Solange Knowles are both facing a lawsuit claiming that they ripped off Prince Philip Mitchell's 1970 hit, If We Can't Be Lovers. So, you ready, DBL Nation? Here we go. We're going to play a little of the original. I actually like that song. All right, I Dude. felt it. Now let's play a little of Solange's 2008 song, F the Industry. Hey. 
And now for a little bit of Kanye's 2007 song. So this was before Solange, Everything I Am. Damn. Here we go again. Common passed on this beat. I made it to a jam. Now everything I'm not made me everything I am. <laughs> I just, oh, this, is, this is like if this happened in court, like your lawyer would just start writing like, oh my God, just to settle. This exactly is exactly the same. What Kanye, what, what Kanye West said, Common passed on this beat and I made it to a jam. So he's the fourth one who actually stole that. <laughs> it was wow. sold three times. But that was exactly the same. That was exactly I mean, the same. I mean, it was no Ed Sheeran, but yeah, they might need to write a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that check's in the mail. That check's in the mail. Let's see what our judges at home think. 90% yes, way too similar. We agree, DBL Nation. Yep, you agree with Erica Cobb. Mm. That check better be in the mail. Okay, so uh, where are we moving on now? What's going on now? We got three minutes. Okay, Chrissy, Te Chrissy Teigen and John Legend stopped by Watch What Happens Live last night. And they weighed in on the Real Housewives of Atlanta fight where Kenya <laughs> accused Kim of pimping out her daughter for tickets to one of his shows. Mm -hmm. Hun, the music ain't that great. I listened to it on the iPod. Nene said the music Honestly, was not great. I, I agree with her. <laughs> I think I think she would really enjoy the show, and I think it's worth a few hundred dollars to get it on StubHub. Yes, but um, I don't think it is worth that. Okay. Ooh. He handled she that really with her. Yeah, he try, did. Tr she insinuated she was going to pimp out her daughter to get for John Legend. Wait, right. And then she got the mad. Pimp out, what are you too, saying? Right? Pimp, yeah. She said, Please catch me what Jeff does up. Brielle, which is her 20-year-old daughter, have to do, or who does she have to? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do okay. something to in order to get John Legend tickets. Mm. The mother tweeted that out. Then she had the nerve she to get mad that? at. Ke oh yeah. Then she had the nerve at Kenya to get mad at Kenya for saying that she tried to pimp out her daughter. Honey, don't pimp out your daughter and then get upset when somebody says you pimped out your daughter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. No argument there. Yeah, I have nothing to say. Thank you so much, Erica Cobb. An update on a trending story we've been following all week. Remember Dexter, the peacock? How could we forget? He was turned down by United agents from boarding a plane at Newark Airport, New Jersey. There he is. Now, United Airlines is changing its support animal policy, saying it will require paperwork proving support animals are trained to behave in public and have a vaccination form signed by a vet. Way to go, Dexter, the peacocks owner for ruining it for all the other dogs and cats. Uh, They're not ruining it. They're making, look, everything has to be regulated. Yeah. This, we can't just have people on a plane doing whatever they want. I mean, what if I want to get up and do push-ups in the aisle? Like, you, th we're all I'm sure on Jen Wiederstrom would approve uh, of that. We are all in a confined space, and bringing on an animal that has not been properly vetted, li literally and figuratively, can be dangerous for the uh, for the passenger. It's and, dangerous. If so and if Sophie got bit by some animal, God, God oh, help that, Sophie God help yeah. that you're going to bring animal. Sophie into this. But I'm saying okay. it's going to happen, and it has happened. Well, it, was okay. it was definitely out of control. It wasn't the peacock that ended this for everybody. It was all the people who took advantage of the situation in the first no, place. It was out of control. I don't blame those people that take advantage of the situation, because you know how many dogs and cats die when they are stowed but under under. How many the dogs pie? and cats die when they're boarded while you leave for the weekend and come back? But wait not a minute, wait a minute. Board I think we pet. might be missing a, a big of people point here, that. because That's they're not, not saying problem. you can't travel with your dog or cat. It's the fact that service animals, ESA animals, can travel pretty much unregulated up till now and you can still bring a pet on for $75 each way so it's not that you can't bring your pet on in a carrier it's the pets getting on for free and having ESA oh, right. and, oh so but they're, just, they're just another fee now but cool. yeah but now right. you need to get the shots and the proper you can't just go online and say hey my pet's a service animal here we go now right. you have to go through the proper steps which, right. which right. you have to do great okay all right you're not happy about it yeah I'm okay <laughs> football fans are gearing up for the big game in a glitzy way. That's right. Erica Cobb, you tried it out, so mm -hmm. let's take a look. A few years ago, my nail guru, Melly from Mainstream Nails, introduced me to nail art, and it's caught on fire. In fact, so much so, it's Super Bowl 52, and that is the trend that's coming in super hot. I'm not really cheering for either team this year. I think we should go with some neutral Super Bowl 52 nails. I've got my Super Bowl nails, but I'm not the only one who did it. I got it done too. Put it in there. Uh -huh. Go Patriots. I don't care about a guy getting his nails done, but he got the pets. He's smart. Go Eagles. 
Wow. <laughs> you guys. Do you see mine? Yes. It, look at the detail. Look at the detail. It's unbelievable. It's freehand, folks. That's not a free, sticker. Right. That's freehand. Now, Jeff, are you going to have Super Bowl yours logos. on through the Super Bowl? You guys keeping it on until Sunday night? Considering we filmed that on Wednesday and I had to go the last two days with this on my finger, yeah, why not? Yeah. Definitely. It yeah. is gel. It's gel, so you're going to have to have special measures to take it off, just so you know. And I have custom <laughs> chipped nails. You want to take a look at the chipped? <laughs> it's a true story. They're chipped. All right, now it's time for our top feel-good stories of the day. Tori Shulman has all the videos that are making TV. Real Nation smile. Yes, it's the final day of the official royal tour in Norway. Today, Will and Kate bundle up in their winter woolies to watch the national ski team hit the slopes. Meantime, meantime in London, Meghan Markle had an adorable mishap at an awards ceremony last night. Take a look. The second prize of the evening is awarded to an individual who has endeavored to achieve excellence in their chosen sport or adventurous challenge. <laughs> we, we've got different notes. <laughs> Okay, here. Is this it? Here we go. Uh, I think mean, so. <laughs> Thank you. But at least one thing went right for Megan. She still got to leave the event with a prince. Right now, Rihanna is in Senegal calling on world leaders to raise $3 billion for children's education across the developing world. This morning, she met with French President Macron after challenging him on Twitter to help her efforts. You go re re. And there's a brand new baby sloth at the Denver Zoo. It doesn't have a name yet, but the sleepy newborn has two toes and is spending lots of time snuggling with mom and dad. Coming up on Daily Blast Live, a musical prodigy you've got to hear to believe. Listen to this. be shocked to learn he's never even had a single lesson. Yeah, he joins us in studio still ahead. But first, open your Daily Blast Live app or go online. We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our DBL Trivia Showdown. Play along live with us coming up next. Hey guys, so now is the time you want to go to dailyblastlive.com slash vote, or just go to dailyblastlive.com and tap on vote now. Either way, it'll take you directly to the voting, uh, where you will soon be able to answer questions about the Super Bowl and compete to win your own hashtag genius DBL t-shirt. Now, uh, it's a whole new set of questions and a whole new competition, so now is the time to log on. Um, am I on? Okay, great, awesome. I wasn't, it's just a little blurry. Alex was just coming in to, to fiddle. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you think you know everything there is to know about the Super Bowl or football in general, this is the game for you. Now, Jeff, are you going up? Are you competing? Are you the competing? Eagles and Patriots. Are you competing? <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm competing. Who are you competing? Do you want to see my nails, though? They're fancy, aren't they? That's... I should say my nail. It's just one nail. Yeah. It's one nail. That, would have, how, that one nail took forever. There how long you go. did it take? That Thumb woman more. was here. Thumb this was only like 10 minutes. Oh, was Not it even. only 10 minutes? Yeah. She was she amazing. She painted that by... Like freehand. Yeah. I mean, look at the detail. Like seriously, and That's Al's insane. is even crazier. He's got the eagles. Yeah, right? show yours. Yeah, hers are insane. She's Check not, that she's out. Not flicking you guys off. No. Wow. Well. That. that is some detail. Is look at the stars and the no, football. It's, it's, she was really good. Yeah, it's we crazy. all thought she was just gonna put little dots on there. Yeah, <laughs> she right. Did actual she actually stars. did actual stars. I know. Yeah. She's awesome. She could probably write your name on a grain of rice. It's that detailed. Oh, yeah. Oh. But interestingly enough, she can't draw on, like, canvas. Oh, she can't do large things, only no. miniature? Oh, that's interesting. She only does nails. That's interesting, but it's a whole different yeah. skill set, I would think, really, because these oh, movements are way really different I, from I asked her about because she's got a lot of tattoos, so I asked her, I'm like, are you a tattoo artist? And she's like, oh, no, blood, I'd pass out. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Just for little hamsters. I only yeah. do that's, tattoos yeah. hamsters. Ooh, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd like, be little, cool. Little I'm going to start hamsters? that up, hamster tattoos. It's oh, my own thing. So don't steal it, DBL Nation. Said it first. All right, guys, we're going to compete uh, right now. It's going to be doing Sam against Al. I mean, uh, Al against Jeff. Sam's going to moderate. So. I know, I wouldn't do that. All right, guys, 30 seconds. Let's back. see how you guys do at home. Get ready to play along. Game on, guys. Game on. Steady cam, Stu.
you're watching DBL and it is Super Bowl because it's around the corner. <laughs> I messed that up. So it's it is Super Bowl. <laughs> Singular. So it's Super Bowl trivia. That's what we're going to do. We are here to test their knowledge and your knowledge at home of the big game. It's our DBL trivia showdown. Yeah. Okay, so we were inspired by this moment on Jeopardy that is trending everywhere. Take a look. I can tell you guys are big football fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom Landry perfected the shotgun formation with this team. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. Uh, do you think we should go to commercial? <laughs> yep. Okay. And let's see if our competitors can do better in our trivia showdown Super Bowl edition. Today's showdown Ooh. is between Jeff and Al. Okay. And of course, all you viewers at home. So go to dailyblastlive.com. Tap vote now. Questions will appear on your device. And of course, the winner will win a DBO hashtag Ooh. genius t-shirt. I want that. The real winner. That's right. And I have a little prize for you too. So really? get ready. Right. Yes, I do. Oh, let's yep. do it. Okay. Question number one. Here we go. What year was the very first Super Bowl? 1960, 1965, or 1960? Seven. That is Al. 1960. Eh. Seven. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> Question number two. Don't mark that. Which is not a lyric in the 85 Chicago Bears oh. hit Super Bowl shuffle? I dance a little funky, so watch me, girl. I motivate the cats I like to tease. Or I'm L.A. Mike and I'm no fool. <laughs> oh, Damn. that was a tie. Do it again. That was a tie. Okay, Al. I'm L.A. Mike and I'm no fool. You're right. You gotta right. keep them cool, Take right? It Question number you don't three. Have the How are we doing at home? Okay, question number three. Uh, we got in 1968, who was carried off the field? Vince Lombardi, Bart Starr, or Mike Ditka? That is you. Oh, Vince Lombardi. Yep, who was carried off the field by his team, the Packers, after the victory. Rudy. All right. Yeah. Question number four. Who it's upstaged up. Katy Perry during her halftime show performance? Right Shark, Left Shark, or Lenny Kravitz? That was, that was Jeff. That was Jeff. It's a Left Shark. That's right. Too bad for right shark. Eh? <laughs> Sorry about that, right shark. He's Question drinking at a bar five. somewhere. Question number five. You got to tie it up there, Al. Here I we go. This. Super Bowl six was the coldest Super Bowl ever played. How cold was it? Was it six, twenty-eight, or thirty-nine? That's that's Al. That's for the, tie. The, I, I can see the answer, but I, I was going to say six, so I'll go with six. Way to be honest. That's right. Way to be honest, honest, Al. Yeah. I like that. Honest, oh. Al. Okay, oh, so and the winner is Jeff gets a DBL beanie. What? Yeah. Your beanie. You got my beanie. That's your beanie. Right. That's right. And the viewer is 5186. <laughs> Looking good. Hey, 5186, write in. Let us know your name. Congrats. And you send a, a picture in your hashtag genius shirt. You get a yes. hashtag DBL genius t -shirt. The hat might be a little tight. I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's supposed to be tight. It's not supposed to be loose. We are live. Digital producer Raquel Villanueva with news at this Look moment. At well, right now, I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want is <laughs> this Spice Girls reunion. Victoria yeah. Beckham. She just posted this photo with all of the Spice Girls proving once and for all that friendship never ends. And while we're on the subject, let's cue the song. I wish I, everyone could see the dancing going on right now. <laughs> Reports say all the, they are planning a project, but it's all very hush-hush, but don't worry. I'll monitor this closely and let you know. <laughs> Back to you. Thank Still you so much, jamming. Raquel. I thought that we heard, remember when this was brought up before, that Posh wasn't down? She was kind of like the Kim Cattrall of the Sex mm -hmm. in the City, meaning she didn't want to do it. Yeah. So I wonder if she's doing it. Could they do it without Posh? Listen, if y'all want to be a team player, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. okay. What are you? Who are you? Apparently, I'm posh. I think you are posh. Are, yep. Yeah, but that makes you scary. I would. I'm definitely scary. <laughs> We've got a special Super Bowl competition, and it is coming in hot. Check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I also should get bonus points for doing this in four inch heels. <laughs> What do we got there? That's okay, so it's a minute 23. Who's still yes. one? Still one. <laughs> it was good. The important thing is that the fishes are 
Exactly. exactly. And I won. <laughs> yeah, our fishies are okay. They're here. They're now our new uh, DBL mascots. You know, and that was our fishbowl challenge, not puppy bowl. Fish congrats, bowl. congrats. Congrats, thank you. You know what happened? I got caught up on the lock. We had to oh, swipe boy. ourselves in. Cool and story, I bro. forgot my password. Well, I think it was when you were showboating by stopping for a glass of water. I was trying to be like a marathon runner. Mm -hmm. That was a little much, Jeff. That was a little much. I'm going to show him. The that. tortoise in the hair. That's it. Yep, That's thank you. Da yep, <laughs> Daily Boss Live covers trending topics and entertainment. Tori Shulman, what's ahead on DBL? Coming up, a piano prodigy unlike you've ever heard. Heard. Listen to this. That was 20 year old Dion Fisher, and get this, he's never had a single lesson. The remarkable way he learned to play, coming up next. Hey guys, my back. We're going up to the hub. Um, Let's go up to the hub now. Let's see what Tori's what reading? reading. I'm reading a lot about you guys. Bob Tavares just got his hashtag genius t-shirt in the mail. Oh, this is exciting Bob stuff. Bear. Can you do me a favor, Bob, and take a snap pic of you yes. in the shirt? We'd love to see it. Send please, it to please, info please, at dailyglasslive.com. That's Correct. amazing. Phil already is wearing his, which yeah, is amazing. Yeah, I would love to see you guys wearing the shirts so we can put them on the show yes. and encourage other people to play so they can wear the shirts. And yes. then they tell two friends and they tell two friends. And y'all so tell 18 million so friends and we get huge and everything's wonderful. Phil Cohen says, winner, winner, gen genius shirt dinner. I think Phil has won another uh, round. I think Phil! we need to change that, yeah. Phil. Phil's gonna have Christmas gifts for all of his loved ones for next Why year. Why are they all the same? Don't worry about it. What's just, DBL? Don't worry just about don't it. Don't worry about it, they'll love it. By next year, they'll love it. Everyone will know what DBL is by next year. Oh my gosh, Everybody. are you kidding? Everybody. Uh, yeah, we do have a season two, and I did want to say someone was so excited that DBL keeps it in the... Sue Bruce, I love you, DBL. You bring the news before anyone else. I saw oh. Kelly and Ryan this morning, and they were just now showing the peacock and turtleneck See, story. See, this is exactly, Sue Bruce, why we love you. Sue Bruce! Because if you guys can point these out, because we know this happens every day. We watch too. And, you know, love to Kelly and Ryan. We beautiful, love them. beautiful group. They're fun. The duo is lovely. They, they Are have they fun. Jason and Tori? They have fun. No, they're not. They have a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, but we do get the news out before them and the Today Show and, and Good Ellen, Morning America. And, uh, and Ellen. You know, it's, it helps that we're live. I'm just saying. It helps that we're live. We do it without a net. Yeah, we do it without yeah. a net and we, we break the mold. We, we disrupt. Sure do. Here's and that's the mold. Just what do we to do? Get, <laughs> just to get you the stories first. <laughs> I'm sorry. Connor didn't Maybe like that at all. No, he thinks um, we're... Connor so, thinks we're getting big-headed. I know. Connor thinks if we're Connor getting, thinks that, then we know we, we, we know are. We're way over Phil the Cohen mark. would like his to be autographed. Um, we can do that. I would love to. We can do that. They asked me to autograph the poster when we first got here at Daily Boss Live, and everyone had like a quick way of doing it so their arms don't get cramped because they're used to it. And I was like... A seventh grader who signed her name like social security. It was like she was signing tax documents. It I was didn't like, know. We're not closing a house loan. I was like, Let's dear just get all, going. dear to Anyway, very excited. Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, daytime's only live show with the top trending and breaking news happening now. Time now for the extra shot. It's the story that made you say, give me another round since it's so uplifting. Today, it's this guy. Dion Fisher has so much raw talent, it literally stops people in their tracks. Watch this. Despite what your ears hear, you are not at Carnegie Hall. This is the 16th Street Mall in Denver, Colorado, and the man behind the keys has had zero piano lessons. Welcome, Dion, to Daily Blast Live. Now, Dion, you don't even own a keyboard and you've never had a piano lesson a day in your life. How did you end up playing piano? I started in my friend's basement overhearing him play some Harry Potter. That's how it started. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's hear one of your original tunes. Okay.
have to let us listen to the song that made you insta famous. <laughs> okay, um, the is... song that went viral. I know it's not Christmas, but we still need to hear it. guru Steve Gallagher who um, is an avid music lover in fact this is his keyboard oh, nice. um, so he was so gracious to bring this in for you but he would like to tell you something so after hearing you play and hearing your story um, uh, very emotional in there listening to you play and, and knowing uh, your story so you can take this home with you tonight and uh, oh. uh, <laughs> It'll be a little, a little easier for you to practice uh, in Denver in the winter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Promotional consideration is brought to you by... Jordan Pete, you are new to this um, online community and you wrote in this and by the way Jordan Pete wrote in one and I butchered it and he wrote although Tori butchered it I still like DBL I just want to apologize for butchering that on camera but this is what he wrote uh, now of course I can't find it. here we go DBL is my new favorite news outlet and I dislike all news outlets so lol go dbl so that's kind of where we want to be where you are tired and sick of the negative we want to give you positive but we want to give you information and remember what do, what do i always say connor he's not gonna know knowledge is what so it sounds so exciting you guys that is exactly how i feel if you're taught um things and you didn't know them before then you are more a uh, powerful citizen and you have more to say oh look it's michael dean Hi guys. Quick question. Did yeah. you post your thing? It's on Twitter. Oh great. Yeah. Back to me. Back to me. Um, so uh, <laughs> what we're trying to do is, oh by the way, everyone's just writing in about Dion Fisher. Let's just talk about Steve Gallagher for a second. Steve, if you guys, he's not on camera a lot. He's our audio guru and that was his keyboard and he gifted it to Dion Fisher and he got emotional and I got to tell you when we were watching, Everybody in the studio got emotional. That was a big moment for us. Dion doesn't have his own, so now he gets to practice whenever he wants. So Steve Gallagher, huge, huge ups to you, man. That was huge and uh, made us all cry. So thanks a lot for ruining the mascara. Welcome back to DBL. Let's take a look back at one fun moment from earlier in the show. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Then she had the nerve she to get mad at Kenya. Oh yeah, then she had the nerve at Kenya I know what's to coming. get mad at Kenya for saying that she tried to pimp out her daughter. <laughs> Honey, don't pimp out your daughter and then get upset when somebody says you've pimped out your daughter. <laughs> yeah, blood boiling cop. Yeah. Blood boiling cop. <laughs> I try to do that at work so I don't do it at home. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Anthony says thank you. You're yeah. welcome, Anthony. Yes. Uh, oh. Okay, we only have 10 more seconds. Oh, I had a present for you, Al. Oh, Stay tuned on Monday. Facebook Live. The stories never stop. We don't either. We're live on YouTube and Facebook. Keep the conversation going. Woo, happy Friday! Yes.
As we all know, Al is going to the Super Bowl, yeah. and we yes. wanted to uh, oh, give you. him uh, this hat. So rather than the nice, expensive one I have, <laughs> sorry. thanks. Appreciate it. I'll represent. Al represent. so much. I'll represent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When we first launched. <laughs> How do I look, guys? It's only guys? funny when he does it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> say, say you told that. Please help me and say you told that joke earlier. Oh, I didn't even hear you say that. I said that joke earlier. Do not write Jeff. Do not start a hashtag. <laughs> no, that was my joke for uh, first hour. But yeah, this is uh, my DBL hat. I'll be repping it in the Super Bowl. It's, so when I'm in Minnesota and it's freezing cold, you can still find me. So we imagine we'll, we'll get um, some phone footage of a blurry head yeah. and maybe that logo. And just assume it's me. We'll just assume. Blurry head Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, thank you. I'll enjoy, enjoy pushing our show. Um, we're going to move into show three here, which is super exciting. Hannah is our wardrobe person. She's going to do some last minute touches. It's oh, a last hi, look. That's what they call it. It's a last, last look. look. They're going to do a last look. and do another lingo here for the TV lingo. Oh, Nice. Do I have my badge on? See, this is what a last look would take care of. Yes. Hannah is, would say, give me your hat. Tori, last look means take off her. And my hair tie. Hat and winter coat. And my ugly face. And I'm Tom badge. Cruise. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be so weird if he just showed up. Are we singing a song that needs to be weird? Yep. Okay. Well, let's just move on. All right, we want to clarify song. Thank you. Um, Kelly, what's going on over here? We just gotten a flu update. Oh, God. Those are a lot of red states. Yeah, 16 more children died this week. Uh, bringing the total number to 53 just since All right, we'll bring the latest on the flu yeah. epidemic in the next show. Stay tuned. Welcome to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday. February 2nd, yeah, I was channeling my inner Erica Cobb. It's a packed show to end the week. This just in, Grammys backlash. Female record executives are standing up and speaking out. Plus, ladies, we're getting you pumped up for the big game from hot team nails to our DBL puppy prediction to affordable party planning tips. We got you covered. So let's get started with the top five trending stories happening right now. And I'm gonna toss it down to my boy, Jeff Schroeder, take it away. Thank you, Sam Shocker, looking beautiful today as always. That's right, guys, we are live, and I'm here with radio girl Erica Cobb, Biggest Loser trainer Jen Wiederstrom, and pop culture guru Tori Shulman. I'm Jeff Schroeder, and we're a trending news and entertainment show that is live and covers what is happening right now. Our entire DBL team is in our studio this Friday, ready to cover news the moment it breaks. And we are live in this just in. A group of female record, record executives are calling for Recording Academy President Neil Portnow to step down. It stems from the male Center Grammy Awards and his comments saying it is the responsibility of women to step up. Over a dozen women executives sent a letter saying we step up every single day and have been doing so for a long time. The fact that you don't realize this means it's time for you to step down. Mm. Please, ladies, I would love to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big problem here is that it's the president of the Music Academy and that the president's supposed to represent the full body as a whole. And these women are at very high level and they're saying you aren't representing us very well because clearly we have a situation where the Grammys were very underrepresented in terms of female representation. And it was something that needed to be addressed. The idea of him saying step up as if they're not working as hard is just insulting. Right, and him being, him being male and saying that to females, especially the time we're living in right now, I understand why women are upset. Yeah. But, but I do wanna say this, yeah. does that mean he's gonna, he has to be fired yeah, for I a comment? I couldn't agree more. I didn't take it that way at all. And Cobb, like, I always love your points of view, but I didn't see it as like, step up because you're not working hard. Don't you think Jay-Z or Kendrick Lamar, like the social issues that Kendrick Lamar has taken on and through, through his music, he has stepped up every day and women do too. I gotta tell you what, as a woman, I don't want a shortcut. I don't want an assist. I don't want you have to fire the guy to give me more exposure. I think there were great male talent this year that happened to just outweigh the female talent. It did not mean the female, ta female talent was poor. It just worked out that way. That's a good point, yeah. I, hey, you said it. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so Super Bowl 52, we're counting down to Sunday's big game. Only two more days before the Philadelphia Eagles face off against the New England Patriots in Minneapolis. And for the latest, we're joined now by reporter Pat Evans from our sister station who is braving the bitter cold in downtown Minneapolis. Yeah, Pat. Hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. <laughs> Pat, the story hey, continues hey. to be the cold, Let me buddy. tell you, you know what? 
It's the cold, babies. Let me tell you that. And I am not alone out here. It is a busy Friday afternoon. We've been broadcasting live for about a week out here. Take a look at this crowd here. These guys in the blue coats here, guys and gals, they are volunteers. Uh, they're a part of the 52 force, and they are virtually throughout the city giving folks directions and helping them find their way. It is seven degrees right now with a wind chill of about, oh, I think four or five below. Oof. But folks are walking along, enjoying a little <laughs> beer, a little wine. <laughs> Pat, you need to get beer going on. On immediately now we hear there are a lot of celebrity sightings going on what's the buzz my man <laughs> Well, I'm trying to be really good right now because Lester Holt right now is inside our warming booth right oh. in here, and he's doing an interview with our evening anchors in there. So I'm trying to keep it all cool right now. <laughs> nice. uh, the buzz around here is a lot of energy. The the airport right now is the busiest that it has been all year with planes landing. So a lot of folks moving in, helicopters and buzzing around. A lot of celebrity alleged sightings are taking place uh, throughout the Twin Cities metro area. So the excitement really, it's you feel it here tonight. You really do. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, Pat. Get yourself a drink and stay warm. Yeah, That's Pat from our sister station, <laughs> Care 11. I love that guy. He is. Can he just call in every day? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> well, we got to hook Al, our own Al Jackson's going to the Super Bowl. Yes. We're going to hook him up with Pat yes. for sure. Oh, good idea. I love it. All right, guys. We're counting down to the big halftime show. Justin Timberlake has been hard at work preparing for Sunday's big performance. And he's also out with a brand new music video called Man of the Woods. Check it out. We're on stage. I'm sorry, baby. I oh, like it. I could get down to that. I'm into JT. Yeah. You know, uh, Unanimous? It's really not a first listen, in my opinion. So three out of one's not bad. <laughs> three, out of, three out of four stars isn't bad, JT. <laughs> Justin is the latest in a long line of halftime performers like Katy Perry and her now infamous Left Shark oh, in 2015, yeah. or the queen herself, Beyonce, oh. when she took the field in 2014. Forever. Which was your favorite halftime show ever? I know what mine, when we were talking about this earlier, mine jumped out at me right away. Yeah. MJ, Michael Jackson, when he took the stage you know, and was, performed, and then he sang, We Are the World. We Are the World. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. We Are the World, and all the children came out uh, and per told them how to pronounce it. Right. Like, I remember all the, they jumped out of the corners of the stadium, like, which one's him? Where, I yeah, didn't he end up on that. the other side of the stadium? Yeah. yeah. I got to go old school, guys. Prince, when he sang Ooh. Purple Rain, and uh, it started to rain. Uh, God was on his side. I mean, there has to be, it's in Minneapolis, there has to be oh, some there, sort of Prince. There's got to be a Prince tribute. There's a great Absolutely. interview about about that because he they, they were like nervous to tell him it was starting to rain. He's like, we're gonna do it. He's like it was just, he just was happy it was raining. It I was, think JT will do him proud. How about you, Cobb? Do you have a favorite? I gotta totally. go 2001, Aerosmith, NSYNC, Britney Spears, and that then Nelly one. and Mary J. Blige joined for Walk This Way. That was iconic. Well, JT's got a lot to live up to. Yeah, Let's he hope does. he brings his big guns. I just, I don't know where I got that from. I'm into it. I'm sorry, it's everybody. Okay. <laughs> Celebrities are talking to social media, or taking to social media to show support for their teams for their teams in the big game this Sunday. Kevin Hart posted this Super Bowl prediction saying the Eagles will win 83 to six. <laughs> Don't put your money on that bet, guys. <laughs> and Pink tweeted out a very enthusiastic, um, I'm singing the national anthem and the Eagles are playing. Is this for real? What's up? Whoa. That was good reading nice. on that. That was really Thanks. great. If you guys don't know, Pink has a guttural, raspy, real down-home country voice, and she can hit those notes that Whitney hit. So I'm always, I listen to Whitney every single day before I get up. That's really embarrassing. But um, I think Pink could really outdo herself. Well, especially Olympics. coming off the Grammy performance, she was so emotional in that performance. I mean, it's again, it's a standalone, her and the mic. I, I bet she's going to kill it. You know, one of the big bets is, will it be longer right. or shorter than Whitney's, Whitney's, which was two minutes and 15 seconds? Do you think oh. she's going to go over? I think she's going to go longer. That's a bet. I, that's a great prop bet. I will yeah. have that Vegas. at my house. I think she'll go over because I think she she will take her time and be more dramatic about it. I hope so. So, Tori, you posted something as well, Pink yes. and you. Yeah, so I said, who are you rooting for? New England Patriots or Philadelphia? The Eagles. Well, I got this hoodie, and so I'm rooting for both. <laughs> it's an That's eagle. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Patriot, like, but an eagle. I was like, I don't get it. Erica, uh, you, you have one as well, right? You posted? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I went, um, they make it, well, I was made to pick a side, so I'm decked out in all green and cheering for the underdogs. I thought you were cheering so, for the puppy bowl me in too. that picture. Yeah, yeah. Jen, who was your, what was your tweet? I don't care who's ever playing on Super Bowl Sunday. I'm a Bear fan for life. Dub Bears, Dub Bears, Dub Bears, Dub Bears, Dub Bears, Dub Bears, Bears. And I used that nice Jen, uh, Grizzly Bear so I didn't have to use the Bears logo and get us in trouble. Now I'm next, and I feel totally ashamed of myself <laughs> for what I posted. 
This is who I'm pulling for Super Bowl no, 52. No, 31 24 Pats. Find out why today on Daily Blast. What were you thinking? Hashtag don't hate the great. Don't hate, don't the, hate the great. great. That's Listen, great. I'm a Bears fan. I'm a yeah. Bears fan, okay? We're doing it for the show. But you're going for Brady, and that's a little bit different. He's after you. You're supporting the man. Yeah, everyone's hating on Brady, and no. I love him. I mean, He's a class act. I, I love you, buddy. I yeah, love buddy. you. Good luck. He's, he's definitely watching. He's watching right now. He's Jeff, warming up. He's like, oh, man, I love you too, Jeff. All right. We are celebrating the big game with an entire show filled with Super Bowl coming in hot. Al, comedian Al Jackson. What do you have up for us first? Jeff, it, first of all, it's not a big deal, bro. Jen's just a real fan. That's okay. Oh. Yay! First of all, I have one in an Eagles jersey, so yeah. All right, uh, people are celebrating the Super Bowl in some wild ways. That's right. The University of Massachusetts has banned Philadelphia cream cheese. You heard it right. Philadelphia cream cheese until Sunday, and nothing says go Pats like a plain, bland bagel. Also, Hormel Foods has a 52-ingredient sandwich. Come on, guys. With everything from eggplant to almond butter. Yes, you heard me right. It's perfect if you have a lot of time a huge, and a huge appetite. Now, finally, uh, Montaleo's Bakery in Massachusetts baked a 500-pound cake made of 32 sheet cakes and over 200 pounds of sugar, which I'm sure is really good for you. It's flying into Minneapolis today to feed 2,000 fans. That's pretty awesome. So, DBL Nation, how are you celebrating? Do me a favor, send us pictures, drop us a comment, let us know. Back to you guys. Can I, can Thanks, I ask Al. our legal eagle really quickly? Yeah. Does Philadelphia cream cheese um, have an actionable thing? Because everybody knows that cream cheese is the nucleus of all great Super Bowl food. <laughs> You're, that's I exactly mean, right. How many dips? You're on to something. It Seriously. is the basic ingredient. Of most I'll tell dips. you one thing. If, I, if the Bears were in the Super Bowl and they were playing Philadelphia, I would not touch cream cheese. I just wouldn't. <laughs> just me. Daily Blast Live covers trending stories of breaking news as it happens. Sam Shocker, what's coming up? It's the video that's going viral right now. Check it out. Courtroom drama in the sentencing of Larry Nasser when a victim's father rushes toward the sexual abuser. You'll hear from that distraught dad. Plus, a Super Bowl 52 uh, party for under 52 bucks. We'll show you how it can be done. And you, the viewer, are our fifth host. So what part of the Super Bowl are you most excited for? The game, the food, JT. We share your comments live on air next. Hey everyone, it's Connor Ashley. So right now, trending on time.com, we have the Puppy Bowl. Um, if you never watched it, it's amazing. It is on Animal Planet. Um, I'm not sure why those links aren't working here. We'll just go over here. So um, the Puppy Bowl this year is going to feature puppies from hurricane um, areas. So. If you've been going to shelters and things like that, you've been seeing a lot of dogs from Puerto Rico from different areas where hurricanes have occurred. So the Puppy Bowl will only feature dogs um, from um, those hurricane areas. Um, so you can watch it on Animal Planet. Let me get the date for you guys um, on when it's going to be Bowl on. Day. Oh, Super Bowl. Sunday. <laughs> there All right, you go. Jimmy, what's up? We are still talking about the Super Bowl. As we mentioned, the show is, is the biggest day for food. And Toria gave us her $52 item that we can do. <laughs> We're giggling at Connor's giggling lack at of Connor. <laughs> lack of Super Bowl knowledge. <laughs> hey, the Super Bowl's always around my birthday, so I don't give a crap about it. It's all about me, honey. We digress. So shifting back to Super Bowl food, USA Today came out with um, how much food do we actually eat during the Super Bowl? And the Chicken Wing Report said that 1.35 billion wings are consumed for the Super Bowl. That number blows my mind. Um, we know that Tori went through her $52 Super Bowl game day party. So DBL Nation, please let us know what foods do you want to see being served at your Super Bowl party and what foods do you like to bring? Is it a salsa, a cheese dip? As Erica said, cream cheese is like the nucleus of Super Bowl food. Uh, can we just pan on Connor's face right now? Do you want to let everyone know when Justin Timberlake's live concert is going to be? What date? <laughs> Super Bowl. Super Bowl on the Super Bowl, which is this Sunday, I mean, February 4th. What, what time? DBL Nation, let us know how you are celebrating this Sunday. Same, honey. Welcome.
Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers trending stories live no matter where you're watching. And we're listening to you. It's time for Fifth Host, where your comments are part of the discussion. Take it away, Jeff Schroeder. Thank you, Sam Shocker. All right, if you can't tell here at Daily Blast Live, we're really, really excited for the Super Bowl. Really excited. And there are so many reasons why. Some of us can't get enough, or some of us can't watch the game. You know, I, I want to watch the game. Yeah. Uh, anybody? Anybody want to watch the game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nobody. They're waiting for the next one. <laughs> so some people want to watch the commercials? Yes. How about the halftime show? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And let's be honest, some of us just are in it for the food. Am I right? <laughs> That was the winner. <laughs> so we want to know what you guys thought as our fifth host. What are you most excited for? We'll get to your comments, but you can also weigh in live right now by heading over to dailyblastlive.com to vote. So let's get right to our fifth host comments. Erica. Jillian O'Flannery writes, Justin Timberlake's going to bring the house down. He'll defrost that icy Minnesota. <laughs> Jillian, how do I argue with that? <laughs> <laughs> Jillian, it's supposed to be a conversation. We all yeah. agree. That was just a statement that we all agree with. <laughs> we love your comments. Well, here we go. We got Tom Rollins saying, it's the Super Bowl, not the super commercials. I got to go with the game. Okay. Uh, Tom, you are B-A-N-A-N-A-N-S. Okay. <laughs> we, the game is fine, but... It's about everything else. This is an entertainment event. It's the food, it's the commercials, it's the halftime. You have to have it all. Put your hands together. I'll let you hands. keep the game. You'll let you keep the game. All right, Bradley Motor writes, commercials, the game, the halftime show. I'm pumped for the whole oh. enchilada. And guess what I'm most pumped for? That guy's enchilada. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see what our audience thought. Whoa, pretty divided. Yeah. You know well, why? Because I think they all voted for all three. They just picked uh, all three. That's, that's how most Super Bowl parties are. It's like a, a third, third, a third, a third. A third. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we cluster up. There's a cluster mm -hmm. by the food table. Yeah. There's a cluster like One that's the game. missing that nobody seems to mention and everyone does, the gambling. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heads or tails, Where? heads or tails, real fast. T tails. Tales never fails. Okay. Comedian Al Jackson with the Super Bowl story coming in hot. Jeff, I was just talking to our uh, uh, incredible stage manager, Stu, and he brought us something. He was like, well, you can't have Philadelphia cream cheese, but can you have Kraft cream cheese? Because Robert Kraft owns the Patriots, so if you're an Eagles fan, can you have Kraft macaroni and cheese? You're ruining you everyone's appetite. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying, something to think about. Now, everybody has predicted who's going to win the big game. Uh, Fiona, the baby hippo that has captured our hearts, weighed in. Take a look. Now we got the Eagles on that one now. Uh, April, the giraffe picked her team to win. Now let's see what she did. All right, y'all, it's tied. I can't look, so much drama. Uh, so let's see, it's up to Daily Blast Live to break the tie and uh, this dog that's kind of named after me, Davis Jackson is here to help us out. Uh, the puppy was recently adopted by DBL, for, uh, DBL producer Elise, I call her Elsie, but Elise, and she's gonna let Davis pick the, vi pick the winner. So let's see who Davis thinks will win. Sorry to spoil the game for you. You don't even have to watch it now. We already told you the Eagles are going to win. <laughs> Davis has never been wrong. He's also never been right, but he's also never been wrong. So you guys <laughs> check the game on on Sunday. Back to you guys. Oh, Thanks, Alan. Here's Davis Eagles. with us right now. Oh, hi, Davis. Oh, you're so cute. He's so cute. Thanks eh? for helping with our show today. Everybody's a winner with Davis. Yes. All right, Daily Flat Live is all about news as it's happening. Sam Shocker, what's coming up? Oh, Davis. Well, compassion all around for Saturday Night Live star Leslie Jones after she posts this gym selfie. It's the dating struggle that links her to millions of American women out there. Stay tuned. Tough. Hey. Yeah. Wow, that was a good memory. Yeah. Yeah. This boy has been so sweet. It's funny. We we pride ourselves here at DBL for always. Whenever there's an animal, a pet in need of a home, we find a home for it. Do, do, do. And he's part of that. You're long... so cute. You're so cute. I love you. But like he's been here for. <laughs> 
all day. He hasn't barked. No, he's no not he hasn't. Yeah. He's been sleeping in the chair. Sure. Sure. Someone has to take them from the, the staff. And that's what our Elise. Elise, come on out here. This is um, Davis Jackson's mommy. She adopted her. Davis Jackson. Him. Tell us um, him. why you named him Davis Jackson. Uh, well, Al, Al wanted me to name Al. <laughs> Al, he really loves Al. And I kept accidentally calling him Jackson. There's still a and I think maybe it just flowed. But I like the name Davis. I don't know. It's like strong and manly. I will but tell you what. Davis Jackson. Had I not had Hank, yeah, would you have gone for it? Yeah, this would this would be a very different. Yeah, I'm, I would be. I, I'll, this I'll looks really natural. Gotten, well, this is just a. <laughs> at least saw it right away. Such mm -hmm. a special dog. He's a. He's just and a also, sweetie. there's a he's bow tie. What's a dog he's wearing a bow tie? Dapper. Where's he he's going? Dapper. And and you guys connected so early. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. How has the bonding been since like it's what? Oh, awesome! A couple of I mean, he just he's he's a face snuggler, oh. and he's just he he does. Is that he your mama? He's so good. How big is he gonna get? They think like forty to fifty pounds. Look at his little puppy. I don't know. He has small paws, paws out. so I don't know, but because he's a terrier mix, so, terrier shepherd, they don't really know. I mean, boop, boop. I just hope he's, he's got some dandruff boop. too. Whole nother conversation. Yeah, yeah, why'd you why'd you decide to adopt him? Did you yeah. fell in love with him right away? Um, I did. He sat next to me and gave me those puppy eyes uh -oh. all day long. But I also have a really old Pomeranian who's gonna he's getting on yeah. his last day, oh, so I kind of wanted an overlapping yeah. dog. You know, what's so your Pomeranian's can, name? Rico. Rico. Uh, so are they getting uh, along? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think he he gave Rico a little extra oomph. Sometimes like, they can give a new life. life. Yeah. 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 So now Rico's like, oh, now I want to treat too. Home. You have a forever home. You have a forever home with your baby puppy. Yeah. On a bubble. Exciting. But he's just got a good person. Is anyone excited for the wrong for team? But you're still you're a still good dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you never oh yeah. Know, at least man. one guy I got with me. I'm from Patriots. I'm from Patriots. You're watching Daily Blast Live, your unique mix of news, entertainment, and fun. Now, on Fridays, we rate this video. Comedian Al Jackson scores the best and worst viral clips of the week with a little help from Jeff Schroeder. Take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Tori. It being Friday, you thought that was enough. No, no, no. Now it's mm. time for Rate This Video with everyone's favorite comedian, Mr. Al Jackson. Yes, Friday Happy just Friday. got a little yeah. better, huh? Happy Super Bowl Friday. I know. Ooh. This feels good, man. It's like a Al. national holiday. You upped your game, buddy. I look yeah. terrible oh, next to you. All right, cool. let's get going. Our first video leaves this guy in a snow lot of trouble. I like right, it. Check it out. Oh. Now, Jeff, I just love this guy because you know, like, at the end of this video, he's not claustro snowbick. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah, nice. With it. Uh, I, and I just think it's cool. Not only was he on a snowmobile, which is cool enough, he buried himself in snow. He's not claustrophobic. He's a real man. And because of that, he gets four sunglasses. Oh. Alan Mojis, let's go. Pretty good. Four. Pretty good. All right, Al. This Frenchie bathing in the sink is sure to make you smile. All right. Happy Friday. Oh, and no, I love this because, yes. Uh, in terms of Martin, yeah, you can see that his face changes. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> And because of this adorable <laughs> dog, you get three out of hard eyes Let's go again. Like All right. For basketball players, ball is life, yes. right? For athletes, hoop is life. But check this out. Uh, now, Jeff, there is nothing cooler. Like our own Jen Wiedersham, she can hula hoop, but this girl is the Michael Jordan of hula hoops. She's so cool. She's doing it in the snow. She's combining a couple different things, a lot of skill level, and she demonstrates it every single time on this video. And because of that, she definitely gets three and a half Al emojis. Well Ooh, done, my dear. Pretty good. Al, go to you're one. tough today. All right, up next, Superman's younger brother, whose slogan is up, up, and stay. Hmm. Enjoy. Now, Jeff. I just love this video because this is God's way of saying what you're doing is stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this away, from, take your toy from you. Uh, I do like that he attempted it and I do like that he lost the parachute before he was over the cliff. So because of that and because my man is still alive to tell the story, he gets four and a half. Al, star as a movie. Well done. That's and today's winner. Look, Go Eagles. he thought he lost. Now he's the big winner on Rate This Video. That's right. We are live. Did your producer Raquel Vinoueva with news at the moment? JLo just dropped a new track, and we have the first listen. Is this a caution? That I can't get enough for you and me? Could it be us? Could it be us? The song is called Us, and it features Skrillex. JLo has a big weekend coming up. She's performing at the Super Bowl concert tomorrow night. Now, Al. Please let me know if you see her. Back to you. 
Thanks, Raquel. Have people run amok with their emotional support animals? Mm, United Airlines seems to think so. The policy changes they're making after a peacock ruffled their feathers, huh? And get your nails did Super Bowl style. It's the nail art trend that's coming in hot. So someone wrote, um, I'm crying now, the puppy was so cute, and someone goes, he's so cute, I love his bow tie. There is something about... A dog and a bow tie. There's something about a formal puppy. Should yes, I see a bow true. tie? It's so easy. He's, I, I, yes. I feel like I should have. I feel like, I feel like if Hank like was wearing a bow tie, there would yeah. be like the frat guy at the party. <laughs> I'm wearing a bow tie. Maybe I can get a visor to go upside down and backwards as well. Yeah, so just so you guys know, there's an Etsy store. If you don't know Etsy, it's an online craft store called BB Babies with a Z. And they sell oh, pearls. Because it's colors. colored in the prompt. And um, oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. For, you can do different colors. So my dog Josie, who we want to make more, pearls? so she has two uh, sets of pearls called the Audrey, one oh. shorter than the other, and she okay. does wow. seem to act a okay, little cool. bit better. She I like kind of, you know what I would, she does. She's you know what I really want? And would ready for tea. I second. want. Uh, you said crap boy. Eat it. All of I want a collared a shirt. <clears throat> Where the col it's like a yellow shirt and the collar's white. Yeah. And I leave it popped up. Oh, of course. Oh, Barnaby, Barnaby has a polo that we pop. I want to pop the blue and white. Oh, oh yeah. My God. Uh, red glasses, a pop. I think he's a red. Shirt. Now, here's my question for you guys. So Sam's baby, um, Sophie, was a little scared of Hank, and I don't want I want Hank and Sophie to be like besties. So how can we make this happen? I think it's happen? a size I, thing. I think it's a size it? thing. Yeah, once she gets way, bigger than Hank, because Hank's bigger be than fine. her. Yeah. Oh, but Hank's the best. I know. Yeah, that'll happen. Hank She's would be a good tiny. guard dog and a good baby nanny. Pitbulls were actually made to be, not that Hank's one, but Pitbulls are made to be nannies. They were bred to be nannies for babies. That whole breed, they're nursing dogs. Nursing dogs. But even like no when growing up as a child. They so would stand guard. They were on guard. Very gentle. My, my, wow. my parents had a Rottweiler, Ilsa, and she would lay when my brother would do tummy time. Like, you know, Ilsa would sit on the ground with That's her baby, too. Yeah. Soon Sophie will be able to sit with Hank. I want her to ride, ride Hank like some kind of pony. <laughs> Hank would probably let Hank anything Hank would be happen. fine with it. He just right, wants guys. to hang out and feed We'll him. talk to you later. Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday before the Super Bowl. Yeah, fitness pro Jen Wiederstrom with some Super Bowl saving ideas. Yeah, you're going to want to listen up, you guys. So the average American spends $207 throwing a Super Bowl party. My girl to pop culture shoot guru Tori Shulman shows you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for under 52 bucks. Take a look. Do you have champagne taste, but you're living on a beer budget? Don't worry, I got you covered. Today I'm gonna show you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for only $52. We're going with shredded chicken tacos. Go ahead and grab yourself some chicken thighs. You're down to $1.99 a pound. Who's the chicken now? Taco seasoning for 49 cents. Whee! Ah, uh, home sweet home. Let's see what drinks I can come up with to get this party started. I have $5 for decorations, so I ran to the store and spent five bucks on brown cups and yellow napkins. Glue white stripes, not the band, onto the cups and voila! football cups, yellow napkins as penalty flags for any unruly guests cheering against your team. For the Super Bowl shredded tacos, first, brown chicken in instant pot on saute. Remove and set aside. Add onion and saute, add in seasoning, tomatoes, peppers, chicken, and top with lime juice. Cook for eight minutes, remove the chicken, and set aside. Shred chicken and put in pot to coat in sauce and turn off. Here's how you make the kickoff cocktail. Add four cups of cranberry juice into a container, three cups of vodka, two cups of triple sec, half a cup of lime juice. Now, who's ready for some football? <laughs> we are, oh my gosh. Tori. Yes. Thank you for bringing us the Anytime. deals. Anytime. Keeping it real, and hey guys, Lace is out. Lace is out, people. Right. Lace is out. Cheers. Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, too much. Woo! Flag on the play. <laughs> Back to you guys. Bye.
Perfect. Thanks, guys. How well do you know your Super Bowl trivia? Can you stump our co-hosts? We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our DBL Trivia Showdown. So have your DBL app ready or go online to dailyblastlive.com. <laughs> we don't want to miss it. Uh, okay, so who's Jen, Tori, uh, Erica, me? It, it became Friday last night at 6.01 p.m. last night. I actually don't have any. I'm always just too tired and not great company, So which, that me, which means I'll probably be having a drink with you later. <laughs> Jeff, Two drinks and we're the best Erica, company for each other. Jen, Tori. Okay, cool. Thank you. Two nice vodka and sodas long. and we're everybody's oh, best friends. God. I tell you what, yeah. And you said hey. you hadn't had any hey. vodka. Like, you've been cutting down. I have two Jeff pens up I, here. I, I, I have made a post about two weeks ago now, and I realized that I've been kind of just loosely drinking on a nightly basis, not getting drunk, but just kind of... You know, and I had to kind of take a look at what I was doing, and so I'd cut out alcohol every school night, and including Sunday nights, and so I, Friday, Saturday is the one I can have a drink, and it was great. And here it is, Friday. And here is my opportunity. Here it is. But I also have a martini, so it makes me feel fancy, A, and it drinks, how you drink slower. You slip it. You sip it. Yeah, that's a the good whole thing. story. But I am kind of excited about this weekend. I mean, the Super Bowl is always So it starts with Christine? Do you skiing or just to say Taking the train to Winter Park tomorrow oh. to meet my buddy up there. Oh, the train! What yeah. a great idea! Two hours, twenty-four bucks. You can't beat that. And you have no traffic. No traffic. Oh my you god! You just sit for sleep for two Everyone's hours. Like you What's your be yeah. on the road by three? Right, whatever. You get there, blah, blah, blah. So I'm excited. Man. I haven't no. skied in 13 years, so oh if I god. come back on Monday huh? body cast, <laughs> don't say you that. Don't, don't, that don't, don't, don't say that. Don't never say it's your last ride. It's Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers breaking news and top trending stories that are happening right now. We're live in the DBL studios where our team is busy tracking trending topics and breaking news. So let's get right to digital producer Kelly Schuberth with news at this moment. Yeah, Sam, you have to watch this dramatic moment from Larry Nasser's sentencing earlier today. A father of three daughters sexually assaulted by Nasser asked for five minutes alone with a disgraced doctor before he goes to jail. The judge said no, but watch what happens next. Would you give me that. one minute? I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system works. One minute. <laughs> The judge told the courtroom she understands the anger, but that people can't react with physical violence. The father was briefly detained, but has been released and will not be punished. Sam, back to you. Thank you so much, Kelly, that poor father. Well, let's go right to Erica Cobb, Jen Wiederstrom, Tori Shulman, and Jeff Schroeder for your top trending stories. Thank you so much, Sam. I just want to comment on that real quickly, just being the only parent on the on the panel, I'm not saying you guys would think any different, but I don't condone his actions at yeah. all in any way, and I know you being the legal eagle, but I, just coming from a parent's point of view, yeah. I mean, I don't know that I wouldn't do the same thing in all honesty. He had three kids. All three were abused by Larry Nassar. How do you even control your emotions at that point? Well, especially since, in a way, he unknowingly was complicit with the behavior. Right. There's guilt I'm, there. That's I'm right. driving you. I'm picking you up. I'm trusting with the man that's been doing this to you. And then it, maybe it's his way to right the road or just, I, or just a quick I straight I, emotion. I, that doesn't solve anything. I, I, I agree with that. But it's understandable. Eye for an eye makes yeah. the world blind, but I, I understand his impulse. Yeah. All right. Changing gears, now it's time for a segment we call You Be the Judge. Kanye West and Solange Knowles are both facing a lawsuit claiming that they ripped off Prince Philip Mitchell's 1970 hit, If We Can't Be Lovers. So, you guys be the judge. Listen up, listen real closely. We're gonna play a little of the original. Okay, you got it. Now let's play a little of Solange's 2008 song, F the Industry. Hey. 
<laughs> okay. Wow. Now let's hear a little bit of Kanye's 2007 song, Everything I Am. Here we go again. Common past on this beat. I made it to a jam. Now everything I'm not made me everything I am. <laughs> right when that started playing, the entire panel just laughed. So you guys be the judge. Do you think these songs are so similar that oh. they should have gotten permission before recording them? I might just speak first and say yes. But now, it's interesting about <laughs> trademark with music is it's really, really hard to do so. You can't trademark chord progressions. You can only trademark melody. So in some respects, if there's a certain amount of measures or bars, you can't do anything about it because there's only a finite amount of chord progressions right. in this world. But speaking of that, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. Then I do ridiculous. have a question. So what about... Um, like Puff Daddy or Will Smith who have, have specifically used tracks and they sample them. Okay, and, and so then you do pay. You pay and you give credit. Right. So for instance, Taylor Swift, Why not? when she did, um, look what me, you made me do, I believe, she um, did. Sampled. Um, sampled the I'm Too Sexy. Yes. Now because she's smart and she has good marketing t t uh, team, she listed him as a credit already on the album cover. So she's already thinking proactively about it. So, okay. Well, let's see what you guys thought at home. Wow, 90%. 90%. Way too That's similar. a landslide. This was set up for a landslide. What the other option was, no, they're totally unique. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she was winking at us. <laughs> All right, Reese Witherspoon is dro dropping some knowledge in the latest, ver uh, latest edition of Vanity Fair's Secret Talent Theater. Watch as she teaches us Southern slang. Tour slap up. That just means that you just, you made a mess of it, you just did a great job, and you tore it slap up. Goobers, those are peanuts. You're welcome. Bless your heart. How we feel about everybody is what we say about literally everybody we know. Bless their heart. So that got us talking about some regional words from our neck of the woods. We're going to try and stump each other. I'm going to go first. This okay. is my wife's word. Okay. Well, actually, it means two different things. It's toboggan. Okay, do you guys want to guess what that is? I sled, bob sledding, like yeah. sledding down the snow. Okay, I agree with all of you. <laughs> Erica, say sled. Sled. I agree <laughs> with all of you, but my wife seems to think, well, the South seems to think this is a winter hat. So no. I, yes, that's what they call a winter hat is you a toboggan. You say I'm going to put my toboggan on? Yep. Can you wear your toboggan while tobogganing? Yeah, that's a double trouble, but like, yes. Oh. <laughs> Erica, do you have one? <laughs> oh, my word is Trixie. Care Trixie. Take a guess. Is it like a sexy woman? Is it a breakfast? Some sort of fairy. Is it a poodle? It's a fairy. She, she could be a sexy woman. Okay. Um, I'm from Chicago, and I went to school at DePaul, which is in Lincoln Park. Ooh. It's a woman who moves to Chicago to look fancy. <laughs> That's yeah. so specific. Basically, yeah, she's like a real housewife of Chicago wannabe, oh. a post sorority girl. Oh. Are you friends with any Trixies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? Jen, what's your word? Um, do you guys got a bubbler here? A bubbler? Bubbler. Is that Why like a humidifier? I think we're going to make drinks. Nope, but it does deal with water. It does deal with the liquid. I know what it is. Water fountain. Oh. oh. Bubbler. There you, go. you go to the bubbler. You can make drink, not my kind of drink. People but literally drink. clapped. They're like, bubbler. Yeah. Exactly. Bubbler. It's more Minnesota yours? term, but I took uh, it with me from one of my roommates. Yeah. That's good. Uh, mine is Yiddish. It's the ungapach. Okay. I'm not sure if it's spelled correctly, but does anyone want to guess? Ungapach. Um, I'm guessing they're pants. Okay, uh, okay pants. I need a patch on my jeans. I need a patch on my jeans. Erica? It's a. A winter sport? <laughs> a winter sport. The answer is when you're over decorated, overly decorated. Like someone who has all these tchotchkes on their walls and they have all these like stuffed too animals. Fire. It's called, oi, that's so ungapach. I feel like when you get older, you're going to be a little ungapach. I am a little ungapach like, already. Little what if I get you with big earrings? I'm like, oh, those are so ungapach. Yeah, it's busy. It has yeah. to be busy. All right, no more ungapach. That's a busy <laughs> word to describe Never use that word. Action. All right, an update on a trending story we've all been following all week. Remember Dexter the uh, Peacock? Oh, yes. All right. He was turned down by United agents from boarding a plane at Newark Airport in New Jersey. Now United Airlines is changing its support animal policy, saying it will require paperwork provide, uh, proving support animals are trained to behave in public and have a vaccination form signed by a vet. Okay. Good for, I mean... I think this rule should have been passed a long time ago because I'm sorry with people for with pets, yeah. but people take full advantage of this and something needed to be done. Takes we say this a lot. It um, takes excuse a few me, really sour quick, apples. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Boy. Oh, boy. Excuse me. We have some breaking news. Oh. This Justin 
Okay, speaking of animals and emotional support animals, my husband oh, yeah. right now, okay, that's not my husband. <laughs> <laughs> And he just spotted this cute orange cat, and he said the cat was really sweet and really in control. So there you go, Al Jackson, who always claims that the cats don't need to be in carriers. This cat was very well trained. All right, I will say this. I hope he has his shots, Bill otherwise photo. he's not flying. Thank you, Sam. I will say yeah. that. I will he made say it through. Well, here's the deal. When you take your pet through the security metal detector, you do have to take off the leashes and the collars, and you have to hold them. And I hold both, and you have to walk through looking like an idiot. So that's what that guy was doing. Not that he wasn't an so idiot. But, but Sammy, did, did, Mark, did Mark see a carrier there, or was he just walking, you know, freestyle? I, I love that I'm sitting down now. Sorry about yeah, that. That's um, I, I didn't ask him that because it literally just happened. Oh, but yeah. he did say the cat was really well behaved. And uh, in fact, probably better behaved than some passengers. Uh, yeah. mm. That's what sedation does. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Football fans are gearing up for the big game in a glitzy way. We tried it. Let's take a look. A few years ago, my nail guru, Melly from Mainstream Nails, introduced me to nail art, and it's caught on fire. In fact, so much so, it's Super Bowl 52, and that is the trend that's coming in super hot. I'm not really cheering for either team this year. I think we should go with some neutral Super Bowl 52 nails. I've got my Super Bowl nails, but I'm not the only one who did it. I got it done too. Put it in there. Uh -huh. Go Patriots. I don't care about a guy getting his nails done, but he got the pets. He's smart. Go Eagles. Uh, wow. Look Here we go. Me and Al got them done. Erica got them done. Look at Look ours. At Look at the detail. At it's a thumb war. Yeah. And that is, that is freehand painting. That's freehand. Freehand. Yeah. And she had huge nails longer than Erica's, and she still could do it. Yeah, oh, yeah. she's she crazy talented. Long, she's long a nails. genius. Melly oh. Mainstream Nails. She's a, Melly's a wizard. And yeah, she is. And also a fellow biology major who changed her path. Oh, Look at it. Oh, yeah. nice. Very cool. Very nice. I have nothing Fun in fact. common with <laughs> Melly. All right, a lot more Daily Blast Live ahead. Sam Shocker, what's coming up? That's right. Coming up on Daily Blast Live, a musical prodigy you've just got to hear to believe. Trust me. Listen to this. You'll be shocked to learn he's never had a single lesson. He joins us in the studio still ahead. But first, open your Daily Blast Live app or go online. We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our DBL Trivia Showdown. Play along live with us next. Cheers, Dilly Jeff Dilly. Versus Al. Does anyone know what this whole Dilly Dilly is? Yes, it's Bud, Bud Light. Yeah, but it's their it? new slogan. Dilly Dilly, and you know what's interesting is because like it. it's paired so quickly with Bud Light that it's, it, I think it's brilliant. So every time the wizard goes to the king, it's a continued story. There's a wizard and he comes to the king and he says, I want three wishes. And he goes, I want you to make my throne out of Bud Light and this out of Bud Light. And they goes, Dilly Dilly, Dilly Dilly. And then the next one he's making something else out of Bud Light, but it's the same characters. I've never seen I it. I just think it's And they continue and it says, to be continued. And I think, so smart. It's like a soap opera, and then you start thinking dilly dilly Bud Light. It's like just do it or this Nike swoosh. Mm -hmm. You automatically think of Nike. So do you so think there's gonna be a dilly dilly Super Bowl commercial? Oh, I'm yeah. very certain of it. Oh, dilly dilly. Relax a little bit. <laughs> Wasn't that a that was that was an old timey song too? Dilly dilly. It was. Yeah. Oh, I think it's a jester song. Oh dilly dilly Hannah. Hannah. Uh, yeah. Dilly dilly. Dilly Hannah. I don't know. I don't really know the song. Wow, this so this dilly dilly, hurts. yo the. Jen, I like your hair today. Tell us about, yeah, your, tell hair. Us about your hair. Tell us about your braid. You know what? <laughs> I'm a copycat. I don't have original ideas often when it comes to fashion. And yes, Sam, this was just me and yeah. this was just Listen, me and Jen earlier today braiding her hair. Oh That's no! What we do when we talk in the morning. <laughs> 
No, I just Sam had it on earlier in the week, and I was like, What's that up? looks pretty rad. Oh, I feel very like I'm, Jeff's like, what yoga pants again today? Huh? Like I literally wear the same outfit every day. The tights are a different color, What's, and I want. I think having someone wear, else test it is a good thing. I wear the same uh, pants here every single day. It's true. I have the same thing. Smells, right? and you can tell. No, because no. listen, I get up early, so I just okay. So I get up early, so the pants are like by the side yep. of the bed yep. because I have like a dresser and then a little thing. That I uh, I throw them there. I put on my sweatpants. Yep. I go play with my kid. Then when I wake up early, guess what? I'm not going to my closet. Those pants are right there. And you wear, you wear them. You wear them. I do shower. Are these yeah, but you wear them for pants? 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the way home. Yeah. Because we're in this. I day. have them on. I literally, I have them on for 20 minutes. You should show up into the morning so anyway, production thank you. meeting I really in like a the robe. Braids. It's cool. I think that it's looks very nice. Very mohawk. It's very Robes cool. Robes and slippers. Yeah, I like it. It's punk rock braids. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll talk later. Watching Daily Blast Live, Super Bowl is around the corner. So to celebrate, we're testing your knowledge of the big game. It's our DBL Trivia Showdown. Now, we were inspired by this moment on Jeopardy that is trending everywhere. Take a look. I can tell you guys are big football fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom Landry perfected the shotgun formation with this team. Dallas Cowboys. Uh, do you think we should go to commercial? <laughs> yeah, probably Alex. Apparently God doesn't give with both hands and he stopped with Super Bowl NFL <laughs> trivia. So let's see if our competitors can do better in our trivia showdown Super Bowl edition. Let's do it. Today's showdown is between Jeff and Al and all of you, the viewers. So go to dailyblastlive.com and tap crew. vote now. <laughs> Questions will appear on your device. Let's start. The winning viewer will win a DBL hashtag genius t-shirt as displayed Ooh. here. Question number one. Which team is the only one to go undefeated before the Super Bowl and then win? Oakland Raiders, Green Bay Packers, or Miami Dolphins? Oh, I got it. Al? I will be the Miami Dolphins, 72. 72. Miami Dolphins 72. Is the Nick Bonacani. Question number two. How many people were watching Janet Jackson's wardrobe malfunction? 180 million, 120 million, or 140 million? <laughs> I just want you to Al? I was going to say 120. That's my guess. And incorrect. The correct answer is 140 million. Al's not in stingy because the answer is yeah. right there. Yeah. Question number three. In 1992, Thurman Thomas missed the first two plays nope, of the game one. because his shoelace broke. He misplaced his helmet or he twisted his ankle. Definitely his helmet. His helmet. The answer is he misplaced his helmet. All right. All right. Here we go, Sh switching gears and cameras. Al is up two to nothing. All right, I love it. Let's see the next question. The next question, please. Please, let's get there. Oh, you got to read the little statement. Oh, yes, he misplaced <laughs> his helmet and his team. The Bills lost 37 to 24 to the Washington Redskins. Question number four. Before it was the Super Bowl, Sports Illustrated called it what in 1996? Ultimate NFL game, football of champions, or super game? Jeff. I just wanted to ring the bell. Super game? The answer is super game. Yeah. Uh, two to one with question number five. In how many Super Bowls were no touchdowns scored? Zero, two, or three? Al. Zero. The answer is zero. Oh. That means the winner in house is Al. Al. But now let's find out which viewer won. The real winner is. Viewer number 071. Congratulations. Let us know who you are and happy Super Bowl Sunday. We are live. Digital producer Raquel Villanueva with news at this moment. Well, congratulations to Al. And right now, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want, is this Spice Girls reunion. Victoria Beckham just posted a photo with all the Spice Girls, proving once and for all that friendship never ends. And while we're on the subject, let's cue the song. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. 
I can tell you Tori knows the entire choreography so does Erica. Reports say they are planning a project, but it's all very hush-hush. But don't worry, I'll monitor this closely. Back to you. Mm. All right, thank you, Raquel. We've got a special Super Bowl <laughs> co competition, and it's coming in hot. We've all heard of the Puppy Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. Well, here at DBL, we have our version called the Fishy Bowl <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Carry a fish in the bowl through the studio obstacle course, pick up a football along the way, and deliver the fish safely into the winner's bowl without spilling any water. Ooh. Check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I also should get bonus points for doing this in four inch heels. <laughs> What do we got there? That's from the Okay, so it's a minute 23. Who's still yeah, one? Still one. <laughs> it was good. The important thing is that the fishes are safe. Exactly. And I won. <laughs> you win I some, you lose Sam. some. <laughs> Daily Blast Live covers trending topics in entertainment. Sam Shocker, you're the winner. What's ahead? <laughs> You should have stopped for that water break. <laughs> Coming up, a piano prodigy unlike any other you've heard. Listen to this. That was that was 20-year-old Dion Fisher, and get this, he's never had a single lesson. The remarkable way he learned to play next. Sam. Oh my god. Are you recycling or trying? We don't have recycle bins here. More you know we need to. I always yeah, ask. You, we need recycle bins. Where? There's a, there's a trash can is this big oh, that's in the back of the recycle bin. Wait, 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 wait. There's also... We need to recycle. Oh wait, there is a can. So... Casey wanted to make it very clear that we do recycle here in Denver. Um, Casey, what else do we do? We abuse animals here on the no. set of DBL. <laughs> Listen, Sam. Sam made sure of this. We were filming, and she was a little over the top. Where is she? Yeah, she no, she in? ran out because she declared there's no recycling bins, and then Casey oh, said, "Yes, there is." Yeah, so she was like very. She's like, "Don't drop it in there. Pour him gently into there." Did you, you know? like a little water slide? And then she's like, "If you drop him, I'm gonna be so mad at you." I'm like, "I'm not gonna drop the bowl." Like, you know what I mean? She was yeah. very, she's very protective. So I assume Sam's going to take the fish home and take care of them now from this point on? Is that what's going on? Well, I assume. What I was planning I on doing. that's happening. Sam's going to take them home and take I care lost, of them. so I was going to swallow her fish. Oh. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. He's Peter, kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. kidding. <laughs> He's kidding. We have fun here. Jeff doesn't even like fish. So, um, so, uh, how'd you guys do in the Super Bowl game? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even play because... Uh, I don't know anything about football. And much like uh, the Jeopardy contestants in that earlier clip today, Alex Trebek would not have been pleased with me. So uh, let's go over and take a look at the puppy. Davis from the Puppy Bowl. Patty, our producer. Auntie Patty. So. Do you have an Auntie Patty? Oh, Patty, what do you think? Are you upset that you didn't adopt? I already have two dogs, but I really love them. So why? Them. What's wrong with three? A house with two dogs needs a house with three dogs. No, that I... makes you crazy. Oh, no. I think, I think five dogs. Oh, then they have five dogs, dogs, three cats. That's my, only cat That's my own personal dog. limit. Done and done. Oh, wow. I just love you so much. Very cool. Man. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Back for more in a second. Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, daytime's only live show with the top trending and breaking news happening now. Time now for the extra shot. It's the story that made you say, give me another round since it's so uplifting. Today, it's this guy. Dion Fisher has so much raw talent, it literally stops people in their tracks. Watch this.
Despite what your ears hear, you are not at Carnegie Hall. This is the 16th Street Mall in Denver, Colorado, and the man behind the keys has had zero piano lessons. Welcome, Dion, to Daily Blast Live. Now, Dion, you don't even own a keyboard and you've never had a piano lesson a day in your life. How did you end up playing piano? I started in my friend's basement overhearing him play some Harry Potter. That's how it started. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's hear one of your original tunes. Okay. to let us listen to the song that made you insta-famous. Oh, okay. um, the song that went viral. I know it's not Christmas, but we still need to hear it. guru Steve Gallagher who um, is an avid music lover in fact this is his keyboard oh, nice. um, so he was so gracious to bring this in for you but he would like to tell you something so after hearing you play and hearing your story um, uh, very emotional in there listening to you play and, and knowing uh, your story so you can take this home with you tonight and uh, oh. <laughs> It'll be a little, a little easier for you to practice uh, in Denver in the winter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Promotional consideration is brought to you by...
Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. Let's take a look back at some fun moments from the past hour. Tell you what I want, what I really, really want. It's this Spice Girls reunion. We're not gonna sing. We were ready. Oh yes. my god. Yes. Ow. I quit the gym. We got one no. more. Great <laughs> opportunity, cop. Excuse me. One more. It's frozen. Frozen. Let it go. That's a little bit different. He's up. Okay. All, All right. right. Let's recreate it, Jen. What did we say there? I don't remember. Go Bears! I don't know. I think it was something like that. I forgot what we I said, I think too. it was Go Bears. Oh. All right, guys. The stories never stop. We don't either. We're leaving that with you up here. You're welcome. On Facebook and YouTube, the conversation. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Welcome to Daily Blast Live. It's fr fr Friday, February 2nd. It's a packed show to end the week. This just in, Grammy's backlash. Female record executives are standing up and speaking out. Plus, ladies, we're getting you pumped up for the big game. From hot team nails to our DBL puppy predictions to affordable party planning tips. We got you covered. So let's get started with the top five trending stories happening right now. I'm going to toss it to my favorite girl, Sam Shocker. Take it away, Sam. Yes, I'm Torchola's favorite girl. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. I'm here with radio girl Erica Cobb, everyone's favorite big brother, Jeff Schroeder, comedian Al Jackson, and I'm Sam Shocker. Sammy, what up? Hey, hey, hey. It's Happy Friday, Friday, you guys. Girl. Happy yes. Friday. So we right. here at DBL like are a trendy news and entertainment show that is live, and we cover what is happening right now. Check out our entire DBL team there in our studio, ready to cover news the moment it breaks. And we are live, and this Justin, a group of female record executives are calling for Recording Academy President Neil Portnow to step down. It stems from the male-centric Grammy Awards and his comment saying it is the responsibility of women to quote, step up. Now, over a dozen women executives sent a letter saying, quote, we step up every single day and have been doing so for a long time. The fact that you don't realize this means it's time for you to step down. Yeah, wow. tone deaf, but do you lose your job for that? I just really worried about, I, 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 about where we're headed. Where are we going to be in another year if, if we're setting the precedent now? Because if he steps down, now that means you can get fired for something right. that you said he's somebody the, didn't like. He's it, the president right. and he's underscoring the misogyny that we just that we witnessed within the, the award show. So then let's educate I, instead I, of fire. I think we need to get better on both sides, men and women, black and white, whatever you come from. Both sides need to get better. I don't think this is a man versus woman thing, although I think you know other people would disagree. We all need to get better. We all need to get better. Not women need to get better or men need to get better. We all need to be better. Is this a female think, versus male thing? I think at this point, yes, in some in a lot of capacities it is. It's pouring salt into an open wound because it was already an insult, the fact that women were so underrepresented in the Grammys. And then the person, the president of the Music Academy, who represents everyone, is saying step up, as if the women in these positions haven't worked ten times harder and been ten times faster to get to where they are. It's an insult, and I think that it's completely tone deaf. Yeah. And he has since apologized. Yeah. 
yes. because he said that that wasn't well, I don't, the context. I don't know how much time we have, but I'll tell the story, and I told it during the break to you guys. Uh, I was on stage one time, and I, and I was fishing for the name of a city, and a woman yelled out the answer, and I said, thank you, sweetheart. And one of my f uh, female friends that was a comic said that could be construed as really uh, insulting to call a grown woman sweetheart. But when I was growing up, that's how my father referred to my sister as a term of endearment. So that's how I heard it. So, like, I learned from that, and now I'd never do it again. But should I have never been able to perform again because I was uh, unknowingly condescending? I, I think there's so many different scales, but thank you for sharing that. And it was a teaching moment to you, it, and perhaps it was a, it's yeah, a teaching moment for the rest of my him. life. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're counting down, and we're going to switch gears to the Super Bowl. And of course, the big halftime show. Oh, yes, Justin Timberlake has been hard at work preparing for Sunday's big performance, and he's also out with a brand new music video. It is called Man of the Woods. Let's check it out. Sorry, baby. You know I try. But I'm a man of the woods. It's my pride. All right, Justin is the latest. that bar. Yeah, it does look like a fun bar, huh? Justin is the latest in a long line of halftime performers like Katy Perry and her now infamous left shark in 2015 or the queen herself Beyonce when she took the field in 2014 so let's discuss which was Ooh. in your oh yeah Michael they're showing Jackson. it right there they, they took mine wow. before I could even say it okay so we were going to discuss who our best performance was for Super Bowl halftime shows performers you say MJ Michael Jackson just popped in my head in this morning's meeting and I, and I think that's my most remember memorable moment sang, we are the world and all we the kids the came on the field I yeah I remember that yep, mine too what about you hands down 2001 Aerosmith NSYNC Britney Mary J. Blige and Nelly came on for yes. Walk This Way. That was iconic. Uh, that was 2001? I, yes, I know. Don't Cobb, you know. I'm sorry. It's, that was a it's, great one. I, th yes. I thought Cobb was going to say this. It's got to be Beyonce's performance. She literally turned uh, the lights formation? out in the Super Bowl. With formation? Uh, she literally shut the lights out in the yeah. Super Bowl. Like, Beyonce's performance was unbelievable. Bruno Mars was awesome as well. So was Gaga last year. I thought yeah. Gaga turned it out. I really liked her Me last too. year. Yes. Good job. All right, we are live, and this video is Justin. Justin Timberlake is shopping at Target this Friday. Yeah, Justin. <laughs> He's got a special surprise for a few lucky fans. Let's check it out. I do my Target run. Got Reese's Pieces. Shout out to E.T. the movie. Also, what do I have? Target limited edition vinyl of Man of the Woods. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sign five of these and we're going to give them to the store manager. Find the Super Target Come here right now. Find the store manager. The code word is Ardvark. That's, <laughs> That's a good, amazing. That's yes, a good promotion. It's an amazing way to start a riot. Exactly. <laughs> what are exactly. you doing? What are you doing? I, I guess think it's great. Aaron Paul was notorious for doing that during Breaking Bad. He's he, not Justin Timberlake. It's, Aaron Paul has millions of followers. I once went to a Walgreens trying to follow one of his tweets because he was there. <laughs> Don't the riot, for that. The riot yeah. thing is real. <laughs> The Target by us almost or accidentally mislabeled the Prosecco, and I posted it on Instagram, and I started a riot. <laughs> it was only three dollars a bottle, and it was mislabeled, and everybody was there. It was a really big thing. Sold That's out. Hilarious. Yeah. All right, celebrities are taking to social media to show their support for the team that they're supporting, obviously, for Sunday's big game. Kevin Hart posted this Super Bowl prediction, saying the Eagles will win 83 to six. It's a big spread, and Pink tweeted out a very enthusiastic um. I'm singing the national anthem and the Eagles are playing. Is this for real? That's what's up. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't sound like yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say okay. it's a little bit, you know, more rasp. Yeah, I think she's cooler her. than me, that's for sure. But do you think that she's going to be all decked out? Because she's a Philly girl. Oh, yeah, through and through. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She's going Eagles all the way. She's, I mean, Pink can do no wrong, but she's going to go green. And we're all going to dream, but our very own. Al Jackson will yeah. be there. I will. I will. It's, uh, I'm really sad I'm going to be missing the commercials. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Al I'm, Jackson? Ex I'm excited. Oh. Yeah, that, there was, they just showed a picture of me wearing an Eagles jersey. I'm just I'm, uh, mixed emotions. I'm such a diehard Browns fan, but I got to pick a side. So right, I gotta and it's go called green. the side that's going to be there on Sunday. That's right, and my Browns will never be there unless they buy a ticket and like I do. Erica, you posted something. Let's take a look at what Erica posted. Who's she supporting? Erica says they make us pick sides, so I'm decked out in all green and cheering for the underdogs. Oh, and she's holding Davis. Go yeah. Eagles. Why does what Erica I thought you were cheering for the puppy bowl. She takes such oh, good what? pictures. They're unbelievable. She's too perfect. Uh, <laughs> oh Jeff, gosh. he posted something. Let's see what Jeff posted. This is what I'm pulling for in Super Bowl. 52, yeah. 31, 24 pats. Find out why today on Daily Blast Live. Nice. Don't read the hashtag. And I posted to you guys. Did I'm you see in my the hashtag? Game. No, what was your hashtag? Don't hate the great. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
And then there's me. <laughs> Guess who I'm voting for? I'm cheering for. Uh, voting for. The birds, even the intergalactic ones, because I have me a porg. You see the porg in there? So I'll be cheering but for that's the, not a bird. the eagles. Caca! It's he's, a an, <laughs> he's an intergalactic bird. He's not a bird. A porg isn't an he's intergalactic. He's a hybrid does, does of he have wings? A, a couple different. That's, that can I not can, call him an intergalactic bird? No, you cannot. What would you call First him? First of all, there's a lot of different kinds of birds in the national football. There's seahawks, there's falcons. Oh. You can't just pick. Yeah, th which one? Ducks. The hawks. Yeah, you oh. can't just, you, you know, just Ducks. pick the eagles. Uh, you have to decide which birds you're going to support. You just the can't last time birds. I looked, Al, it doesn't look like there's multiple teams playing that have bird affiliations. I think eagles are the only wow. team with a bird affiliation. Wow. So, therefore, cheering for the birds. Okay. Ooh, All right. Wow. And for the latest, we're joined to you. now by reporter Carla Holt from our sister station, who is braving the bitter cold in the Super Bowl backyard. Hey, Carla. Hi, all of you. Good to see all of you. I have to say, it is still very cold here. Yeah, I'm the, still without gloves. Oh, and there's no. the fireplace ain't working behind you. I know. I'm without gloves, and there's no fire behind me. And to top it off, despite being a native Minnesota, this is a warning for all of our good, friendly visitors. I just slipped on the ice twice <gasps> in my attempt to get here. So it's been a beautiful day. That would be my <laughs> first warning to all of our friends who are planning to come here over this beautiful Super Bowl weekend. Make sure you take it slow and easy on the ice because it can be a little slick at places. Get right? ready, Al. I feel like it's so cold that yeah. the fire was like, now nah, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Uh, well, okay, like I'm going. I'm yeah. going south. Carla, tell me this really quickly. <laughs> I heard that there's a ton of celebrity sightings going on. Tell me the buzz. Yeah, there is. And in fact, if you really want to see a lot of the celebrities, you need to go to the Mall of America. Apparently, that is where they are going. That's also, of course, where Radio Row is, that Super Bowl tradi tradition of having all of the radio broadcast hosts gathered in one place. Only this year, it's a bit unique in that you can go there and you can engage with those broadcasters. And then you can actually see those broadcasters also interviewing the stars. So who we're seeing? Donnie Wahlbar Wahlberg, Ooh. Jenny McCarthy. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Eli Manning was there. So a lot of, of course, football people. Terry Bradshaw. Last night, Snoop Dogg was in town. You gotta love that. Buster Rhymes was in town today. And so a lot nice. of them are coming out, enjoying it. And of course, again, they're going inside into the Mall of America. Ooh, because that's the place smart. to be. Very yeah. smart. Carla, stay warm. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks, you, thank Carla. you. you and bet. look out for our very own Al Jackson this weekend, will ya? <laughs> okay, you? Okay, I Carla. will do that. All I will right. do that. Awesome. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, Carla. Daily Blast Live covers trending creepy. stories. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> As it happens, Tori, show me what's coming up. All right, it's a video that's going viral right now. Check it out. Courtroom drama in the sentencing of Larry Nasser when a victim's father rushes towards the sexual abuser. You'll hear from that distraught dad. Plus, a Super Bowl 52 party for under $52. We'll show you how it can be done. And you, the viewer, are our fifth host. So what part of the Super Bowl are you most excited for? The game, the food. JT, we share your comments live on air coming up next. Carlos, you nice little hangout. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that was awesome. So cute. That was awesome. Yeah, um, I think for uh, yeah, they look really cold. <laughs> is the it, looks, I'm yeah, it looks like it's, so it's gotta, you're gonna have to stick and move when you're there. Like you just, but I'm wondering, like, what's the Uber situation gonna be? Because I'm sure it's gonna be surge. Yeah, and also I don't know the road. Whatever. Once I'm down there, we'll figure it out. Alcohol lowers your body temperature, actually makes you colder, but you feel warmer. Well, your insides terrible, are warm. Terrible, terrible thing. Which your is, insides think, are warm as your body temperature plummets. It's right. actually not good to drink a lot in the it, cold. It's not. I, I went to a Bears-Packers game like on December something in Chicago. Oh. I got a beer for some reason. By the time I walked from the concession back to my seat, it had frozen to like Slush. three quarters of it had frozen on the top Ooh, of it. Slush. That's yeah. how cold that it was. That sounds like Mother Nature was helping you out. Exactly. Yeah. That sounds More delicious. Yeah. Why would you get something cold on a cold? I don't know. Well, because yeah. I had a big turkey leg. And no, it was okay. like, it, I wasn't going to have, have it with beer. You can have white wine with the turkey leg. Yeah. When you're nestled up to the turkey leg, yeah. that's keeping you warm. Right. So you can drink the beer. Yeah, I got to find, like find that photo. I like Maybe that. I want to see that. Exactly. Well, I listen, you're going to have a ball. 
all, but we do worry about you. That's why we gave you that right. high quality hat. And she said she uh, slipped <laughs> twice. I was like, oh no, I'm an older gentleman. <laughs> I'm gonna crack a hip and He's come, back. come back in a full body yeah, cast, which will be fun. Isn't it like fun, like right away the first reaction? It's funny when people fall. Well, it is. Yeah. It, not yeah. when you get older. Yeah, but yeah, not you get when older. you get older. Not when you there's get older. a point where there's a certain age when somebody falls, you just worry about their health. And you're like, yeah. oh, that man fell. <laughs> like, it's I worry not, like, for hilarious. him. You're like, <laughs> oh, wait. Well, if he comes back in a full body cast, we'll just put him up in the hub for the next. Yeah. I just totally feel. I feel like corner. I feel like I totally jinxed myself, and I'm gonna fall and like hurt my arm and be like, that wasn't so funny. That wasn't so funny. Now who's laughing? You guys. Do you think Jeff is a horrible person for laughing at old people? Falling, let us I know. didn't say old people. <laughs> I said my first reaction is to laugh, and I'm like, "Are you okay? Don't tell me you're not like that. Don't tell me you're not like that." When someone falls, is your first reaction kind of? I just, can't help oh, it. Yes. Even when See? I fall, I fell down my stairs. Tori and her husband were there, and I started falling. And then Tori's like, "That was pretty bad. Are you okay?" And it, I, I got hurt. But did you laugh? Did other people? I started laugh? laughing, and then it kind of turned to like a <laughs> ow, like crap. Yeah. What you hurt? Be careful. Huh? What do you hurt? Welcome back to Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers trending stories live, no matter where you're watching. And we're listening to you, we promise. It's time for Fifth Host, where your comments are part of the discussion. Take it away, Sam Shocker. Thank you so much, Tori. If you can't tell, here at DBL, we are really, 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 mm -hmm. really excited for the Super Bowl. And they're- How excited? Really, 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 really super- Okay. <laughs> super excited for the Super Bowl. <laughs> there are many reasons why. Some of us can't wait to watch the game. Can we get some claps for that? Yeah. Others are watching only for the commercials and halftime show. Oh, there's a lot of us here. And let's be honest, some of us are just in it for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Party. Ooh. Ooh. So where we was wanted that? to know what, huh? That looks really good. I was going to oh, say, yeah. where in the studio are those? I know. That's yeah. what so we want to know uh, what you, our fifth host, are more ex most excited for. We'll get to your comments, but you can also weigh in live right now by heading over to dailyblastlive.com and to vote now. Let's get to our fifth host comment, shall we? Ariana Steinway, so pumped about Justin Timberlake, you think he'll rock the 90s curls. He would have to <laughs> don a wig. Do you think he'd put a wig on? That'd be amazing. That'd be awesome if NSYNC came out and he did it. That yeah. would be awesome. I mean, I, I'm really. But do you remember when NSYNC performed with him? What I forget what award show it was. Yeah, it and was they really brief. Oh, it was not good. Listen, we well, say it over and over. We want one person to come out. I think everyone's yeah, united. Yeah, we want Janet. Yeah. But that was the year that Kevin Hart uh, made fun of Joey Fatone. Yeah. And it didn't go over it so didn't well. Go well. Uh. It didn't go over well. Yeah. No. Charlie Freeman writes, I ain't watching. My Jags got jugged by the refs anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. What era is he from? <laughs> That's like slang from the 40s. I liked it. We got jugged. <laughs> we got jugged. Sent out on a river boat. Charlie, I'm bringing that back. I'm bringing that back later in the show. You're getting a jug somewhere in there. I don't know oh where. And Barb says, so excited for Pink doing the national anthem. Hey, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you I excited? almost said H-E-L-L, -L and I was like, oh, I'm on, I'm on live TV, daytime, so I said, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for Pink, too. Okay. Okay. What's your All favorite right. part, Sam? Um, you know the what food, my favorite part is. Commercials? Commercials. That's it? Yeah, commer well, normally the halftime show, so if J Justin Timberlake has a great halftime guest, I'll be super stoked. So I will be watching to see who he brings in. So you're going to decide in the moment if Heck that's yeah, the girl. best moment hey, yeah, of I the am. Super hey, Bowl. Yeah. That's okay. right. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. And let's take a look. We got our viewers, commercials and wow. halftime. DBL, I'm right yeah. there with you. I kind of look like a ref in this top, like a chic ref, I just noticed. You really do. A ref for what sport? <laughs> <laughs> Daily Bus Live is all about news as it's happening. Tori Shulman, what's coming up? What's Compassion all around for Saturday Night Live star Leslie Jones. After she posts this gym selfie, it's the dating struggle that links her to millions of American women out there. And next, comedian Al Jackson rates this week's viral videos the cute, the silly, the ones that will make you smile. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, Connor, Ashley. So we're always tracking the top trending stories. This is actually a video an Instagram user named Oliver created. He um, essentially compiled photos of everyone's travel, hashtag Insta travel. And he showed that we're actually taking the exact same photos over and over and over again. And it's actually, you know, stifling our creativity. So our need to be perfect and to take these amazing photos um, you know, it's stifling our creativity because as you can see here, they all look the exact same. 
Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. You know, uh, when you go on Instagram, are you guys striving to take that perfect photo or um, are you trying to incorporate some sort of creativity into that? And I mean, this is pretty crazy. If you guys have any photos like this that mimic what we're seeing here, go ahead and send those in to us um, on our Facebook page. That right. is crazy. Kelly, what's going on? In yeah, so speaking of social media, you probably see on your feed today a lot of women and men wearing red, and you're probably wondering why. Well, it is actually National Wear Your Red Day, and a lot of people are wondering what are you dressing up for? Well, let me show you. It is Wear Red Day for Heart Month, and it's to raise awareness about heart disease in women, which a lot of people don't know is actually the number one killer of women. Over 500,000 women a year are diagnosed with heart issues, and so wearing red today, raise awareness about that, because it's usually associated with men, and as much as that is a problem, we need to raise awareness for the number one killer for women. So if you're wearing your red, you can post a photo on social media and hashtag Wear Red Day. Kelly, have you uh, seen anyone on your Facebook wearing more red than normal? Is it? Yeah. Well, I could keep going through Instagram, Twitter. It's on every social platform that you can hashtag on. Have I ever what? Have you seen red today? Oh, I've seen a lot of people around the office wearing red, parts of red. Not like a whole red outfit, but like red shoes, red bag. Yeah. And then one more thing about this is they're actually, the American Heart Association will be giving out prizes for if you post a photo of yourself wearing red and hashtag wear red day. It does not disclose what the prizes are, but like that's always prizes. a good surprise, a surprise prize. A prize, prize. Yeah. Everyone likes prizes, right? Everyone likes prizes. I wonder if any of our hosts are wearing red. What? <laughs> yes. And I, I, I do have a little uh, stripe of red here. You won't get a prize for that. Which picture? No, let's not look at that. <laughs> well, that's okay. And that's what Brett's looking at at work. Okay, guys, stay with us. We'll talk more in the next break. You're watching Daily Blast Live, your unique mix of news, entertainment, and fun. Now on Fridays, we rate this video. Comedian Al Jackson scores the best and worst viral clips of the week with a little help from Jeff Schroeder. Take it away, guys. Thank you so much, Tori. It being Friday, you thought that was enough. No, no, no. Now it's time for Rate This Video with everyone's favorite comedian, Mr. Al Jackson. Yes, Jeff. Friday, Friday just Friday. got a little yeah. better, huh? Happy Super Bowl Friday. I know. Ooh. This feels good, man. It's like a Al. national holiday. You upped your game, buddy. I look yeah. terrible oh, next to you. Year. All right, let's get going. Our first video leaves this guy in a snow lot of trouble. I like right, it. Check it out. Now, Jeff, I just love this guy because you know, like, at the end of this video, he's not claustro snobic. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. With it. Uh, I, and I just think it's cool. Not only was he on a snowmobile, which is cool enough, he buried himself in snow. He's not claustrophobic. He's a real man. And because of that, he gets four sunglasses. Al emojis. Let's go. Pretty good. Four. Pretty good. All right, Al. This Frenchie bathing in the sink is sure to make you smile. All right. Happy Friday. Oh, and I love this because, yes. Uh, in terms of Martin, yeah, you can see that his face changes. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> And because of this adorable <laughs> dog, you get three at a hard eyes emojis. Let's go. I like next. it. All right. For basketball players, ball is life, yes. right? For athletes, hoop is life. But check this out. Uh, now, Jeff, there is nothing cooler. Like our own Jen Wiedersham, she can hula hoop, but this girl is the Michael Jordan of hula hoops. She's so cool. She's doing it in the snow. She's combining a couple different things, a lot of skill level, and she demonstrates it every single time on this video. And because of that, she definitely gets three and a half Al emojis. Well done, my dear. Pretty good, Let's Al. Go to the last You're one. tough today. All right, up next, Superman's younger brother, whose slogan is up, up, and stay. Hmm. Enjoy. Now, Jeff. I just love this video because this is God's way of saying what you're doing is stupid. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take this away, from, take your toy from you. Uh, I do like that he attempted it and I do like that he lost the parachute before he was over the cliff. So because of that and because my man is still alive to tell the story, he gets four and a half. Al, star as a movie. Well done. That's and today's winner. Look, Go Eagles. He thought he lost. Now he's a big winner on Rate This Video. That's right. Digital producer Raquel Villanueva has the music news at this moment. That's right, we got a scoop on a superstar hitting the road with a famous friend. Here's a hint. Bruno Mars tweets in part, I, what if I told you I want to do one more U.S. tour and bring my little sister Cardi B? Fans erupted with excitement and even Cardi B replied, that sounds like a great idea. Details are set to come out any minute today and I'll keep you posted. Back to you. 
I think she's on board. All right, have people run amok with their emotional support animals? United Airlines seems to think so. The policy changes they're making after a peacock ruffled their feathers. And get your nails did Super Bowl style. It's the nail art trend that's coming in hot. guys so we are uh, just chilling and Tori's just maxing relaxing up at the hub why don't we talk a little what's up guys uh, you should probably put your as we come up the stairs hi guys <laughs> no it's nice in the hub it's like it very is. open it's very chill up here it's like a modernist minimalist uh house lots of open spaces yeah, i love what you've done with the place thank you so really... much i just i really wanted that ladder to go to nowhere just to make you feel i really feel like it opened like up the space the ladder to anywhere is possible so um, so don't yeah that's just yeah so bruno mars huh yeah what do you think about with that? cardi b i think that's kind of fun i love that the, the whole 90s like retro thing that they did i like loved on the grammys and i yeah. think that you loved it you did the yawn definitely indicated cardi b um yeah, so uh, but you and I have fallen a little bit in love with her due to her personality. Okay. 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 I can't do it. I'm okay. not. I don't have the RuPaul Drag Race competitor. She's so good. If you guys didn't see her on Jimmy Fallon, she was like out of this world kooky. And then on the Grammys, she was reading Fire and Fury, and she was like, "This man eats this a cheeseburger. <laughs> what? Is this is his life." Like she's very genuine and just like she, seemingly like really her. silly. We like her. It's part so, of the. Uh, she's got that real Tiffany Haddish like. Uh, yeah, Haddish. Haddish. Did I say Haddish? Yeah, but who you cares? Say Haddish. I, I say, say haddish. haddish. Let's, Let's call, call the, the whole, whole thing, thing funny. Off. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good too. That's that. really funny. No, but uh, great conversation so far. We were talking about Super Bowl. Someone brought up Prince as their favorite Super Bowl halftime, and was I forgot this? It was literally raining as he sang "Purple, Purple Rain. Rain," and I don't think you get much better. No, than that. and it was in Minneapolis. You know how much he paid to have that happen? That was a lot. Dear of God, money. I'm Prince, and God's like, just do it. Do, just do it. it. God turns out to be a huge Prince. God fan. likes a good halftime show. Oh, loves it. I think it's official. I oh, loves it. Um, well, let us know, guys. We, we're still, we still want to hear from you like what are you doing for halftime what are you doing for a super bowl i just bought a ticket so i'm going skiing tomorrow yeah, yeah so i'm excited and for you're that. a good uh, how good are you one to ten i haven't been in a while okay. so we'll uh if i come back in a cast <laughs> you'll know <laughs> Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. It's Friday before the Super Bowl. Yeah, fitness pro Jen Wiederstrom with some Super Bowl saving ideas. Yeah, you're gonna wanna listen up, you guys. So the average American spends $207 throwing a Super Bowl party. My girl, to pop culture guru, Tori Shulman, shows you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for under 52 bucks. Take a look. Do you have champagne taste, but you're living on a beer budget? Don't worry, I got you covered. Today I'm going to show you how to throw a Super Bowl 52 party for only $52. We're going with shredded chicken tacos. Go ahead and grab yourself some chicken thighs. You're done to $1.99 a pound. Who's the chicken now? Taco seasoning for 49 cents. Whee! Ah, uh, home sweet home. Let's see what drinks I can come up with to get this party started. I have five dollars for decorations, so I ran to the store and spent five bucks on brown cups and yellow napkins. Glue white stripes, not the band, onto the cups and voila! football cups, yellow napkins as penalty flags for any unruly guests cheering against your team. For the Super Bowl shredded tacos, first, brown chicken in instant pot on saute. Remove and set aside. Add onion and saute, add in seasoning, tomatoes, peppers, chicken, and top with lime juice. Cook for eight minutes, remove the chicken, and set aside. Shred chicken and put in pot to coat in sauce and turn off. Here's how you make the kickoff cocktail. Add four cups of cranberry juice into a container. Three cups of vodka, two cups of triple sec, half a cup of lime juice. Now, who's ready for some football? We are, oh my gosh. Tori. Yes. Thank you for bringing us the Anytime. deals. Anytime. Keeping it real, and hey guys, Lace is out. Lace is out, people. Right. Lace is out. Cheers. Right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, too much. Woo! 
Plug in the play. <laughs> Back to you guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's Friday and it's five o'clock hey, somewhere. Hey, cheers, guys. They couldn't even fake yeah, it. Yeah. Can I just say this to the group while you guys are like drinking? Can we do something to have Sam say cheer instead of vote? She keeps going. Which team are you voting for? <laughs> no. She goes, Erica, which team do you want elected? To? <laughs> no. She was gonna. Say, she goes. She was gonna place a bet, and she goes, "I'm gonna vote for them." Like meaning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place a bet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go okay, How well do you know your Super Bowl trivia? Can you stump our co hosts We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge <laughs> in our DBL trivia showdown. So have your DBL app ready or go online to dailyblastlive.com. And are Kanye West and Solange Knowles rip-off artists? Well, one person mm -hmm. seems to think so and is suing. You'd be the judge, DBL Nation. We'll be right back. Vote Eagles! <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, it's your, speaking of vote, it's your turn to vote. So go to dailyblastlive.com uh, slash vote on your iPhone or on your tablet or on your laptop. And then soon you two can play uh, Super Bowl trivia against these guys. Who's going up in this? In this uh, who's, who's playing? Yeah, who's playing? Who's going up? Who's going up? Who's competing? Man, that was as bad as who you're just <laughs> as bad as me. Oh, we, well, really? I'm going to vote $10 yeah, on the Eagles. You, really? Yeah, you are. I don't feel like... Yours was fine too. Who's, who's campaigning? Up? Who's campaigning? Who's campaigning against this? Who's who's what? But who is who's competing? They, oh, you I, think you meant, I thought you meant Jeff. I thought you meant the voting? Super Bowl. No, I meant the trivia. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I was like, what sport do they Once even again, go up? Once again. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. I come up and then yep. pop the bubble up here, and then now you see. Yes, I was talking about the see, game. See, it's only the second show. Usually, this starts happening yeah. around the so third show. So, why don't you apologize to me? On oh, I, I told it to Lexi for really the using line. the right terminology. I apologize. I apologize. I, apologize. Like, I was yeah, still in the mode of making fun of Sam for. Are you yeah. <laughs> so, Sam, I'm not like you at all. Why is that? <laughs> so you're talking about the trivia game, not the competition. Yeah, not the see, we thought we were talking about the game. I knew who the, the fridge game. was. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Super Bowl Shuffle. Yeah. Was it Ken Jeffrey? We're just yeah. here to do I just remember the word fridge. Yeah. 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 You know him too? Love yeah. yeah. Patriots 86. All right, yeah. let's think of a term. Yeah. Let's think of a term. I loved Joe yeah. Montana. All right. OK, I can sing the 49ers theme song. We are the 49ers. We will rock you till we win the fight. Wow. <laughs> wow! I didn't know that. It was like I, turned, I turned my chair into something <laughs> horrific. I was like, "Oh no!" That's the Niners theme song. Why do you know that? Well, you know because that? I grew up in the Bay Area, and my dad's oh, a Niners yeah. fan, yeah. so that was really Name some Niners. Yes, Joe do Montana. Have a wait, she's, wait, she's naming. She's naming Joe Niners. Montana. Chicago Bears. Jerry Rice, oh man, I've been out of the game. Young. Did it, did it, Joe Montana, did it, did Jerry did Rice. Did it, did it. Can't say him again. All right, guys, we'll be back in a little bit. So stay tuned, guys. It's Daily Blast Live, the only live show that covers breaking news and top trending stories that are happening right now. We are live in the DBL studios where our team is busy tracking trending topics and breaking news. Let's get right to digital producer Kelly Schuberth with news at this moment. Kelly? Yeah, Tori, you guys have to check out this dramatic moment from Larry Nasser's sentencing today. A father of three daughters sexually assaulted by Nasser asked for five minutes alone with a disgraced doctor before he goes to jail. The judge said no, but watch what happens next. Can't Would you give me that. one minute? <laughs> I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system works. One minute. Works. <laughs> the judge told the courtroom she understands the anger, but that people can't react with physical violence. The father, father was briefly detained, but has been released and will not be punished. Tori, back to you. Wow, Kelly, thank you. Now let's go to Erica Cobb, Jeff Schroeder, Al Jackson, and Sh Sam Shocker for your top trending stories. Thank you so much, Tori Shulman. I feel like we need to comment on that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he is a father of three girls, three gymnasts who were sexually abused by Larry Nasser. You two are fathers. Right. As, oh, a, all as a father, when I watch this and we're a Daily Blast Live and we're honest, I was like, he should have brought two friends to create a distraction to like clear the path. I was going right at him. So. But yeah. he still would have ended up at that point. Guess what? Then he ends up in jail, and I'm. Believe me, no. I have so much sympathy for it. this dad. But then he ends up in, in jail, and then what? His three girls have to deal with that as well. He wouldn't go to jail for that long. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I want to. I want to be honest too here. I, I agree with the judge. You can't do that. You know, everyone in every decision, you know, that's made in the court of law, you can't do that. But to speak f openly, having a child, having three daughters, if I had that. 
I, I don't know that I wouldn't do the same thing. And I, I can tell you, I, I can't imagine what our fathers would do, right, Erica? Oh, absolutely. I think that this is a very natural reaction, but at the end of the day, victim impact statements are very strong for both the victim as well as the person that they're addressing. That's part of the reason why he asked for it to stop so long ago because it's a psychological thing. It's something that you cannot respond to. I've done a victim impact statement and it was the most cathartic thing that's ever happened. Like I was able to move on and get my power back. Thank you for sharing that. Wow. All right, uh, moving on. Now it's time for a segment we call You Be the Judge. That's right, DBL Nation, you get to be a judge. Kanye West and Solange Knowles are both facing a lawsuit claiming that they ripped off Prince Philip Mitchell's 1970 hit, If We Can't Be Lovers. So, you ready, DBL Nation? Here we go. We're going to play a little of the original. I actually like that song. All right, I Dude. felt it. Now let's play a little of Solange's 2008 song, F the Industry. And now for a little bit of Kanye's 2007 song, so this was before Solange, Everything I Am. Here we go again. Common past on this beat. I made it to a jam. Now everything I'm not made me everything I am. I just oh, this, is, this is like if this happened in court, like your lawyer would just start writing like, oh my God, just to settle. Were, this exactly is, the same. What Kanye, what, what Kanye West said, Common passed on this beat and I made it to a jam. So he's the fourth one who actually stole that. <laughs> it was wow. sold three times. But that was exactly the same. That was exactly I mean, the same. it was no Ed Sheeran, but yeah, they might need to write a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that check's in the mail. That check's in the mail. Let's see what our judges at home think. 90%, yes, way too similar. We agree, DBL Nation. Yep, you agree with Erica Cobb. Mm. That check better be in the mail. Okay, so uh, where are we moving on now? What's going on now? We got three minutes. Okay, Chrissy, Te Chrissy Teigen and John Legend stopped by Watch What Happens Live last night, and they weighed in on the Real Housewives of Atlanta fight where Kenya <laughs> accused Kim of pimping out her daughter for tickets to one of his shows. Mm -hmm. Honey, the music ain't that great. I listened to it on the iPod. Nene said the music Honestly, was not great. I, I agree with her. <laughs> I think I think she would really enjoy the show, and I think it's worth a few hundred dollars to get it on StubHub. Yes, but um, I don't think it is worth that. Okay. Mm. He handled she that really with her. Yeah, he try, did. Try, she insinuated she was going to pimp out her daughter to get for John Legend Wait, ticket. Right, and then she got mad. Pimp out, what are you too, saying? Right? Pimp, yeah. She said, Please catch me what Jeff does up. Brielle, which is her 20-year-old daughter, have to do, or who does she have to? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do okay. something Band to aid. in order to get John Legend tickets. Mm. The mother tweeted that out. Then she had the nerve she to get mad that? at Ke Oh yeah. Then she had the nerve at Kenya to get mad at Kenya for saying that she tried to pimp out her daughter. Honey, don't pimp out your daughter and then get upset when somebody says you've pimped out your daughter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. No argument there. Yeah, I have nothing to say. Thank you so much, Erica Cobb. An update on a trending story we've been following all week. Remember Dexter? The peacock. How can we forget? <laughs> he was turned down by United agents from boarding a plane at Newark Airport, New Jersey. There he is. Now, United Airlines is changing its support animal policy, saying it will require paperwork proving support animals are trained to behave in public and have a vaccination form signed by a vet. Way to go, Dexter the Peacock's owner for ruining it for all the other dogs and cats. Uh, They're not ruining it. They're making, look, everything has to be regulated. Yeah. This, we can't just have people on a plane doing whatever they want. I mean, what if I want to get up and do push-ups in the aisle? Like, you, th we're I'm all I'm sure on, Jen a, Wiederstrom would approve of that. We are all in a confined space, and bringing on an animal that has not been properly vetted, li literally and figuratively, can be dangerous for the uh, for the passenger. It's and dangerous. If so and if Sophie got bit by some animal, God, God sure help that, Sophie God help yeah. that, you're going to bring animal. Sophie into this. But I'm saying okay. it's going to happen, and it has happened. Well, it, was, it, was out of it was definitely out of control. 
all. It wasn't the peacock that ended this for everybody. It was all the people who took advantage of the situation in the first well, place. So that I don't wrong. blame those people that take advantage of the situation because you know how many dogs and cats die when they are stowed but under under. How many dogs and cats die when they're boarded while you leave for the weekend and come back? But wait not a minute, as many. wait a minute. Board I think we pet. might be missing a, a big people point here that. because That's they're not, not saying problem. you can't travel with your dog or cat. It's the fact that service animals, ESA animals, can travel pretty much unregulated up till now and you can still bring a pet on for $75 each way. So it's not that you can't bring your pet on in a carrier. It's the pets getting on for free and having ESA oh, required. Right. Oh, so but they're, just, they're just another fee now. But cool. Yeah, but now right. you need to get the shots and the proper, you can't just go online and say, hey, my pet's a service animal. Here we go. Now right. you have to go through the proper steps, which, right. which right. you have to do. Great. Okay. All right. Grace, you're not happy about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Football fans are gearing up for the big game in a glitch way that's right Erica Cobb you tried it out so mm -hmm. let's take a look a few years ago my nail guru Melly from mainstream nails introduced me to nail art and it's caught on fire in fact so much so it's Super Bowl 52 and that is the trend that's coming in super hot I'm not really cheering for either team this year I think we should go with some neutral Super Bowl 52 nails I've got my Super Bowl nails, but I'm not the only one who did it. I got it done too. Put it in there. Uh -huh. Go Patriots. I don't care about a guy getting his nails done, but he got the pets. He's smart. Go Eagles. Wow. <laughs> you guys. Did you see mine? Yes. It, look at the detail. Look at the detail. Unbelievable. It's freehand, folks. That's not a free, sticker. Right. That's freehand. Now, Jeff, are you going to have Super yours Bowl logos. on through the Super Bowl? You guys keeping it on until Sunday night? Considering we filmed that on Wednesday and I had to go the last two days with this on my finger, yeah, why not? Yeah. Definitely. It yeah. is gel. It's gel, so you're going to have to have special measures to take it off, just so you know. And I have custom <laughs> chipped nails. Do you want to take a look at the chips? <laughs> it's a true story. They're chipped. All right, now it's time for our top feel good stories of the day. Tori Shulman has all the videos that are making TV nation smile. Yes, it's the final day of the official royal tour in Norway. Today, Will and Kate bundle up in their winter woolies to watch the national ski team hit the slopes. Meantime, meantime in London, Meghan Markle had an adorable mishap at an awards ceremony last night. Take a look. The second prize of the evening is awarded to an individual who has endeavored to achieve excellence in their chosen sport or adventurous challenge. <laughs> we, we've got different notes. <laughs> Okay, here. Is this it? Here we go. Uh, I think mean, so. <laughs> Thank you. But at least one thing went right for Megan. She still got to leave the event with a prince. Right now, Rihanna is in Senegal calling on world leaders to raise $3 billion for children's education across the developing world. This morning, she met with French President Macron after challenging him on Twitter to help her efforts. You go re re. And there's a brand new baby sloth at the Denver Zoo. It doesn't have a name yet, but the sleepy newborn has two toes and is spending lots of time snuggling with mom and dad. Coming up in Daily Blast Live, a musical prodigy you've got to hear to believe. Listen to this. shocked to learn he's never even had a single lesson. Yeah, he joins us in studio, still ahead. But first, open your Daily Blast Live app or go online. We're testing your Super Bowl knowledge in our DBL Trivia Showdown. Play along live with us, coming up next. Hey guys, so now is the time you want to go to dailyblastlive.com slash vote, or just go to dailyblastlive.com and tap on vote now. Either way, it'll take you directly to the voting, uh, where you will soon be able to answer questions about the Super Bowl and compete to win your own hashtag genius DBL t-shirt. Now, uh, it's a whole new set of questions and a whole new competition, so now is the time to log on. Um, am I on? Okay, great. 